Americanism, not globalism, will be our credo, then we can be assured that other nations will not treat America with respect, the respect that we deserve. The Amer what is up, people? The internet, it is me, Real American Politics, back in with a new video, and everybody, here it is. Election night in 2022, the final election night live stream for the year 2022. This has been a fun year, and here we are. Today we're joined by several guests today, starting with, of course, James. Hey. And uh, Tyrone is in the chat. I don't think he's, I think he's muted. And then we got a new ch uh, person here today, Poster Tubbs. You may know him on Twitter. Hey, uh, I'm not really a YouTuber of any sort, um, but I am on Twitter. I, you know, I'm mostly known for election takes. Um, some good and some really bad, but yeah. <laughs> Starting with, but hopefully this midterm is going to be mostly hey. good. So nice to meet you guys. Yep, this is a phenomenal chat. Now I've we, me and Tubbs had some beef in the past. It's done, bud. So he's, it doesn't he's, matter. Yeah, it's we we agreed to disagree on some stuff, but overall we agree with like ninety percent of things. So I'd say like ninety-five to ninety-nine yeah. percent. So that's that. So everybody, this is a big election night stream. If you voted, thank you so much for voting. If you didn't. Stop watching, get out and vote, and then come back and watch. <laughs> so, yeah, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a fascinating night. It's gonna be a matter of how big the wave year is gonna be. That, that's at this point, that's what it is. That, that's all we can really assume at this night. I mean, the exit polls were just a disaster for Democrats. I mean, I know it's not everything, but yeesh, that wasn't good. Not good whatsoever. Now, starting tonight. We do got two states at 6 p.m. Eastern, the great states of Indiana and Kentucky. Not really any important Senate races or anything like that, but there is a couple House races that do indicate the national trend in the past. So they are good indicators to show how the night's looking for Republicans. So that's kind of that for my intro, my spiel. Um, anybody want to make any comments before the shit okay, show Okay, I'm ends? back. Has the, uh, has the stream Yes. Yep. You're late. I'm late. Shit. <laughs> no. Speaking of Kentucky, Charles Booker is going to be winning in a landslide. Oh, yeah. It so true. Yeah, Todd Young Rand is Paul is like, such an G unpopular senator. G and Kentucky, Kentucky, is, a blue. Kentucky yeah, is a blue state, and they will vote out the GQP. Yeah, I mean, you, you remember 2019, uh, we, even though that has... I, yeah. I'm, assuming, I'm assuming Buckley Eye is Tubbs. Yep, that's poster Tubbs. Of course that's me. Hey, so, yeah. yeah, this is going to be interesting. I think there's really... Hopefully you remember who I am, Tom. <laughs> of course I do. Of course right. I do. So there Everyone's... is... So, yeah, just Everyone's... like I said, um, the results of Indiana, Kentucky, they're not everything, but there are some historical precedent to how certain counties in eastern Kentucky vote. Like, if they're more Republican than 2020, uh, that's going to not be a good sign. Also, place like Lexington, Louisville, if they're close... Yeesh, that's not good. But it's not everything. It doesn't mean if Republicans do bad there, they're going to do bad nationally. It's just usually indication of, you know, how the national environment is. And we got our first super chat of the night. Probably going to be a lot of these tonight. General Hydra for $5. Who is Joe Kent? Republican running in Washington. Who is Joe? <laughs> Joe Brandon. <laughs> Joe Brandon. Uh, let's see here. Special needs election. Oh, my God. For two pounds, I voted Pelosi. Row, row, row your vote, blue tsunami. <laughs> oh, man. Wholesome DJ Aftershock for two. It's all over. Leon plus Wyatt Tomlin landslide win. So true. That is true. so Bob, true. Bob Lada and um, Diana Harshberger are DOA. There's no way they even... They're, they're not going to get over, like, two votes. Now, before we get really into the crusp of this uh, stream, we got to discuss the shit show happening in Arizona because I think anybody with a brain would re realize what the f what the hell, what what the hell is this bullshit happening in America? But now, the good news is I don't think it's gonna really matter because Republican turnout has just been really good for Republicans in Maricopa. They're already outvoting Republic or Democrats by a lot. It's not looking too good for them, but it's still indication of like, okay, we still have a lot of issues with 
our systems in America. Uh, it's ridiculous we're still doing this crap, but it does it doesn't appear it's going to really matter in the state of Arizona. But what's your guys take on that? I, I mean, I just hope it's... I, I, I just want the results to be counted faster so that we know. Yeah. You know, who's winning Arizona. Yeah, there's there's no freaking reason it should take freaking 80 hours just to count, like, two votes. That That's ridiculous. And I hope that doesn't like, happen. Uh, Fran France is a nation of, like, 40 million people. 60 million people. 60, 60 million. If they can count every... If they can count an entire ass country, the state of tech... The, so, the short... The state of Texas is larger than France yeah. in terms of population, size, and density. If they can count everything in two to three hours, there's absolutely zero excuse Arizona takes anything more than, like, before the end of the night. Yeah. Or, I mean, like, is or, or even the Brazilian elections recently. That was a tight election. and well, they, they, we knew we won. Yeah, Brazil's like, a nation of, like, 200... 20 million people. It's oh, actually Brazil. not that much smaller than America. Brazil is, is Brazil is. I think it's a sim I think it's actually larger than the continental U.S. and it's and they have a really high population and they counted it. They counted it very quickly. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I was referring to population. I, I have some words to say about Brazil, but knowing YouTube, it wouldn't allow me. So there, you probably know my opinions on Brazil. That was. Uh... That was a that was a national international tragedy. What happened? Yeah, there. that was horse shit, but. Well, Lula's, Lula's, Lula's awful. So hopefully, <laughs> Lula is living proof that anything involved, anything to do or involved with a public union is terrible. So I'm just true. Gonna say it. So I say that I say this as someone with left-leaning economic policy as myself. Public unions are just awful. All right, uh, people are talking about New Hampshire. What this is is these are the midnight town votes. There's like five votes. It, it's not really much. It's just there's so little people. You literally cannot base it. It's just five votes. You can't and base anything off you, of. You it. meet some of these voters. Like you look, like a couple of them did interviews. There's some of the biggest boomer cons known to man. It's like who cares? <laughs> it's the no, of a lot of New, New Hampshire, Hampshire voters. A lot of New Hampshire partisan Democrats in New Hampshire who have not voted Republican in like thirty years or ever, like will vote for people like Chris Sununu. Yeah, it's just how it is. Yeah, because they're like freaking boomer cons that like you know they probably voted for Bush, but then after that they didn't vote for any Republicans. Those are the type of Republicans in freaking Dixville, I think it's called, Dixieville. Dix Dixieville. Yeah. Dixville. Let's see here. Mm. Uh, big trouble in Arizona. Um, I think it cancels out with the turnout. That does not look good for Democrats here's what's, at all. Here, here's what's going to happen. Sure, the sure the percentage of Democrats voting is increasing, but based off of all data we've seen so far, especially with early vote with independents breaking for Republicans, the Democrats' percentage might increase, but their margin is going to remain the same, and an increase or decrease is going to be by a negligible amount, because even though their percentage Turnout, is going up, look... independents are going to break for yeah. Republicans sure. at an even larger percentage. So regardless, sure, there might be a slight boost in amount of Democrats turning out, but that's irrelevant because independents are breaking for Republicans in mass. That is yeah. it, that cancels it out and compounds further on Republican and, gains. So and, anyone saying that any of this, like like anyone saying any of this to do with Trump or what, like you you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I mean at this point, I mean it just you look at yes, the percentage, like you said, it's getting closer, but Republicans are still netting votes. They, even when the Democrats increase percent by two percent. Republicans netted like 5,000 votes. So at this point, it's Arizona does not look good for Democrats. Nevada, I think, is off the table. Both the races. Nevada is off the table. Yeah. Did you see so, Ralston I, like, it's, eating it's, his words? Yeah. He's so Ralston, Ralston, yeah, Ralston is pretty like, good, but um, mm -hmm. now, He just hates Laxalt. Yeah, like, he, Ralston, I, I don't like, understand why he hates Laxalt so much. I mean, I mean, because Laxalt's, like, dad. I mean, something to do with his dad or something. Yeah, I don't his, know. His, 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 it what was, a, like, I think what his dad was, like, the senator from New Mexico. Yeah, and he had a yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, his illegitimate father. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's... Because Laxalt was, um, what's his name? It was his illegitimate son. Like, Laxalt's his illegitimate son, I, I think mean. it was, like, Paul Laxalt or something, right? No, no, no. His, his mom's name was Laxalt. It was his father's, uh, like... Pete something. Fun fact, Laxalt is actually a Basque surname. Um, 
cringe. Basque is like, yeah, I think it's like northern Spain, but they have like their own dialect, and it's like completely unique to any other language in the world. So that's cool. Yeah. So I think overall, um, yeah. So polls both the close in Kentucky. I I just want to see how some of these rural priest uh, counties vote. Because they, Dominici, that's what it, who it was. Dominici. Yeah, that's what his name was. So I want to see also how a place like Mar- Marine, uh, I should say Indianapolis votes. I mean, it's not going to be a close race, but if India is like I'm close, interested. I'm interested in seeing how Gary votes. Well, that's going to be later. That's going to be later. So that's going to be uh, 7 p.m., I think it is, Eastern. I th- could be wrong, but... What, like Gary, Indiana? It comes out around the same time? No, it's different. Does. No, it does. It's different. Gary, Indiana is a different time zone. Oh, yeah, that's right. They so are. So, we're not going to get Indiana's a... first for a while. So, but I just want to see... Really interesting. I just want to see how a place like Louisville, Lexington, Indianapolis, and these Burb counties vote, because that's where the elections are going to be won or lost for Republicans. Let's see here. Uh, uh, one or... Uh, one... By a huge amount Let's or see. one by a small amount. Yeah. Really. So wholesome DJ Aftershock for five. Have you heard the new Lib Hopium on Twitter where people are saying that Dems tend to work, tend to slash will vote during the evening since they get off work? That is such a cope. I mean, like, that. yes, there is some studies that say they do vote later, but there's some studies that say otherwise. But people that say, oh, they're going to vote, like, later, it's like, maybe. But not, you don't enough, know what you're talking about. not in the margins they need. Not, they don't have enough, so. Um, why is Kirk dreaming about Arizona? I think I think he's overreacting and trying to get people out to vote. That's what I think he's trying to do. That's 100% what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. When does anything uh, cool happen in Indiana? I mean, it's Indiana. That's where Mike Pence is from with freaking Garfield, so. Garfield. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, pull yeah, the clothes. Um, hopefully we get results quickly because I don't want to do this BS where it's freaking rural Indiana and nothing comes in. Now, I wonder about Vigo. I think Vigo County is its uh, Eastern time. I like. I know this is a midterm, but this is still a bellwether county. And it is. I think it is Eastern time. Yeah. So, so we should experience. get some results. This is again. I know it's not a presidential race, but this is still a county that's been one of the biggest bellwethers in the country. So. Special needs elections for five pounds. Every Michigan congressional district is going blue. You Michigan voter will be vindicated. He will become the next Nate Silver. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Can you just imagine freaking you Michigan voters like right? So would that be like Marlinga, Kildy, Slack Connection? Yeah, pretty much. Like every seat Gibbs loses by 15. All that good stuff. You missed for the four thirteen there, um, and he thought that like even at, even after like it was obvious Trump would overperform in Miami Dade, he thought Biden would win Florida. So I, I would not take him seriously. Yeah, uh, Jesse Smallwood for five. My family and I all voted Indiana's ninth straight R, except for Todd Young, who was the biggest rhino in the Senate after Murkowski and Romney. Yeah, that's reasonable. I just for the Senate race, since this is uncompetitive, I I wouldn't vote for Young in this situation. I really wouldn't. Is it is it uncontested? Like there, Young is little. There's a Democrat, probably. but it's like he's gonna get crushed by like forty points. It's like who cares? Yeah, he has he has scandals and stuff as well. So we got our first poll closings in Indiana. So and in the great state of Kentucky, there's some parts of Kentucky that should report soon, hopefully, because I don't want to be here for six hours and. Nothing happens. Uh, Barris yeah, I mean, is, uh, what? Go. I was going to say that, I mean, normally they report, like, pretty quickly. Yeah. They usually do. I just want to see how a place like Vigo. Isn't it Hamilton? That's the big burb in Indianapolis, yeah. Hamilton County, that's a big one. Hamilton, Hamilton County is, like, the Victoria Sports District. It's, like, a suburban county. Yeah, this is a big one. I just it's like see, Delaware I just want to see. I just want to see how uh, Republicans do here. Yeah, Fort Wayne. I think that went to Trump, right? I think it went to Trump by a couple points. Yeah, it went, I think it went to Trump by 11. I don't exactly remember, but I think it was around 11. Yeah, hold on. I'm just going to pull up the New York Times stuff from... Oh, we do got results, actually, now. Okay, breaking news. We do got some results. 
Let's see here. I'm sorry, folks. Try to get this straightened out. Okay, here we go. Main browser. Boom. All right, so this is 2020. Uh, Fort Wayne went to Trump by around 11 points. So there's that. Um, according to People's Pundit Daily, they um they called a bunch of races already. Jim Banks, yeah. Greg Pence, yeah. Hookin, yeah, yeah. All the obvious ones in Indiana and Kentucky. We're cold already. I just want to see some results first. Hopefully we get some. Hopefully we get some results. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. So, yeah. so I'm on. I'm. I just logged back on Twitter, and um, they this guy who's basically a partisan Democrat, uh, and who thinks Democrats would keep the House until last week, is saying that Colorado's eighth, which is a swing um, district, is pretty much gone, and it's four plus five. And he says that Colorado seventh is barely hard to flip. Which Colorado seventh is like Biden plus fifteen. Yeah, that's a hard running. one. That's a hard yeah, one so, to flip. And that's not going to flip. So if that's like uh, even semi competitive. Republicans are having a good night, yeah. and now we're gonna know early because if I heard Virginia tenth, Democrats are in big trouble. Wexton's in huge oh, trouble. Big, dude. big trouble. Big news. Yeah. Hun, no, seriously. Hun Cal may actually pull it news. off. It has just been revealed that the Democrats are set to lose the Senate in the 2022 United States midterms. Wow, what a well, shock! What a, what a shock! What a shock! What a shock. If, if I will say this, I don't think Hunk Hell wins because it's just such a blue seat, but I think he gets within five. And well, if he gets within five, then not only is obviously Gloria completely done, but Spamberger's done too, in my opinion. Yeah, now here's the thing. That from what I've heard, it's it looks like Wexons is not getting the turnout loud in at all. It, it looks like it's all coming from the rural parts of the county or district. If that's the case... Oh, boy. Because this is loud, and obviously it went to Biden by 25. This is where Wex and the Girl votes from. If places like <laughs> Fatwater, what? CNN exit poll, view of Donald Trump, unfavorable 60%. <laughs> favorable bullshit. 30%. That's bullshit. Like, they have, like, Biden at, like, minus 9, but, like, Trump at minus 30. That's, like, not Yeah, not this is happening. why I don't trust, um, I don't trust exit polls this early, so... Let's see here. Um, uh, Brett Jacobs for five. Hey, Rap, why do the three northernmost counties in your state, Douglas, Bayfield, and Ashland, continue to vote Democrat? Also hope Evers loses big. The reason is there's a bunch of, like, old-school Democrats from, like, Dane County where Madison is. They moved up there in the during the uh, summer and stuff. That's kind of the big reason. There's a bunch of boomer Democrats up there. And they're not really changing their voting patterns. Now, will trend Republican just, it's not going to be that fast. Uh, General Hydra is a poll by race. Let's see went over that. General Hydra for five. Oh, I put wrong name of Joe Ken. He is, um, he real name is Joe Ken. He Republican Washington against the Antifa Democrat in House represent. Yeah, I saw that. So yeah. my election night stream is better than Rap and Red Eagles. This is fake Yankee perspective. Real American politics has the best election night. So stream. true. So true. So yeah, we're not getting any results yet. God darn it. <laughs> Why do they do Wait, this? Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Whatever. Let's see here. My final prediction for the house is five, uh, 537R to 1R. 1R due to gerrymandering in Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's the, it's the GQP gerrymandering. Yes. They, they got, that's, that's why um, Liz Cheney got primaried out, and it's Harriet Hagan, and it's the GQP gerrymander of Wyoming. So yeah, that, that's GQP essentially what's happening. That, that's totally what happened. GQP happening. fascists are a threat to democracy! Uh, let's see here. Steve B. for two anecdotal evidence or reports. Virginia 4th Democrats are not turning out. Is that Spanberger's district? Uh, no, know? that's um, Donald McEachin. I, that's a stretch. I would say that's a bit of a stretch if... Yeah, but, that's a safe Democrat district. But if he's anywhere in trouble, oh boy. Ooh, oh, we know that black turnout is going to be very low. Well, so the exit polls has only nine percent of the electorate as black. So, uh, yeah, uh, no results just yet. It looks like I don't know why they're scratching their asses when it comes to this, but whatever. What site are you guys using for the map? New York Times slash PPD. That's the best place to use it for. How is Mastrano looking? Look. If he pulls off the upset, the Amish deserve a gift basket. That's all I will say. 
if, if Mastriano wins, it's proof that you should never take the polling industry seriously again. And like, if he does it, which I, I don't think he does, honestly. Never doubt the freaking Amish ever again. <laughs> the Amish will make Pennsylvania like the new Florida, if that's the case, which uh, we'll Who see knows? if they turn out. Who knows? They're like, it's Mennonites. Mennonites are the ones that, you know, they, they still don't vote that much compared to what they should, but. Hopefully we get, like, a huge Amish turnout and, like, Republicans win because the Amish. That would be funny, but hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. So nothing yeah. yet. Does the New York, Amish kills the Democrat. Does New York Times have a governor's map? No, they don't. I don't know why, but... Some you can could, you could view the governor's races individually, but you have to go to another... You have to go to, like, another site to actually view the governor's races, like, all together, which that's, makes no sense because yeah, they normally dumb. do... Have that is really, really, really dumb. I don't know why they do that, but whatever. GOP almost up a million. Yeah, Flor Palm Beach is probably gonna flip at this point. I, I have a hot I take. What? Actually, hold on. Okay, what is everyone here's craziest prediction of what? Like, like, what is your absolute? It's probably not gonna happen, but I'd be fucking happy if it did. Um, like, wild. Ill Illinois said it flips. She's so underfunded, it may just happen because 2020 is weird. Or 2022. That's my hot take. But it's not going to happen. Yeah. What, what is your... Um, is it? I missed it. What is, what is your wild card? Um, For Senate or for... Literally any. Anything. Like anything. tonight. Oh, I have... I mean, I... I actually haven't thought about that. Um, although I was just talking, I was just talking about the twenty third district. Um, Arkansas fourth for John White. Oh my God! No, not I will, that. Sure that. I will, that, I will be happening. embarrassed if John White <laughs> wins because I am actually a native of Southern Arkansas. Isn't Can you imagine a John White versus Neil Kumar congressional race? And it almost happened. I, it no, almost no, John, no, 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 John White versus Neil Kumar for Senate to replace Bozeman. Oh, God. I, that, I would, that would be the funniest uh, race ever. All right. I would donate my life savings to John White. Yeah. So I got another super chat. Garrett Floors for $2. Based off what we see, can Republicans still flip? Um, flip what? I think they're going to flip Nevada. That's, I think, a guaranteed. And we got results. Yes. We got results in the state of Indiana. Whitley County. 70% of the vote's going to Young. In 2020, how did Whitley go? Ooh, that's interesting. Young's actually underperforming Trump here. Huh. Is this early vote? I'm pretty sure. Indiana's early vote. Yeah, this is early vote. It's only 24%. I thought that said like 50%. So we do got our first results. It's not a lot, but it's something. It's a county adjacent to Fort and Fort Wayne. We do got some results in Kentucky. Fleming, Kentucky, around 5% of the vote in. Rand Paul's up by 33 points. I wonder how Trump did here. Fleming, yeah. Trump got 50, won by 58. Okay. What? Oh, it is early, only 5%. So, so far, bro, early votes. It's 5%. Chill out, bro. Yeah, I know. 14% in Knott County. Yeah, so these are early votes. 36% lead for Rand Paul in Knott County. This is part of Kentucky that I'm watching. This is going to be important. So, again, it's early vote. So far, it's Rand Paul down by like 18 points, but it's fairly early. Uh, I I'm wouldn't... not going to start giving a shit until it's like 30%. Yeah, I'm not going to really care because it's 14%. I, I just want to see how southern, uh, southeastern Kentucky votes because that's kind of a you know part of the country that there's a lot of down-ballot Democrats still. And if they're voting Republican by more than Trump margins... Yes. Wait, was this a Kentucky County? I yeah. just got... I'm in a Zoom call with a bunch of other people, sorry. Yeah, Kentucky County. Uh, you got a couple. Uh, yeah, so it's just early. Very early, so... Also, also uh, like, the latest information I see is that Democrats have a 5.5% lead in Palm Beach right now. Oh, that's like bad. Early vote. That, that is may, bad. They may that's, lose it. That's like... I mean, if they lose Palm Beach, that would be, like... Going to laugh my ass off Palm if Beach. we win every one of my okay my friend okay Tubbs what is your wild card hot take of the night? Uh, any wild card? Yeah, any wild card. Literally, you're just the most wild card. The one you want to happen, but you know it never will. Um. Oh my God, there are a lot of these such examples. 
I think one of them would be like the Mike Doyle summer Lee race. It's 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 possible that it flips, but it's such a stretch because it's such a blue district. Another one would be that's a bit difficult. Another one um, would be I don't know if this even counts as a wild card, but New York Governor obviously, uh, Rhode Island I don't Governor. I think that's a wild card. I think that's like a pure toss up. <laughs> right, I will say though, I convinced three of my friends and. And their families to go vote for Zeldin today, so I was like plus twenty. They're they are large Dominican families. Okay, so we and, that's based. yeah, and actually it was twenty two. All right, so we, um, oh sorry. And one of my friends, one of my friends, I have a friend who lives in Staten Island, really great guy. Um, he told me that there are literally blocks worth of lines of people lining up and they're they're all wearing like zeldin shirts or zeldin hats or like trump hats or whatever like um matiakalis is that her name yeah maliotakis maliotakis, maliotakis. yeah they're all like zeldin or maliotakis or trump gear and it's like the italians are out in force tonight <laughs> oh yeah i think zeldin so, is gonna I, get I, like i, I think, think zeldin is getting win. I think Zeldin gets seventy percent in Staten Island. I, I don't know if he wins, but yeah, wild card would be look. Wild the, card, I, I, I don't know about any wild cards in this stage, but yeah. All right, so uh, I every, think oh, I think that um, Zeldin wins purely because nobody in the Bronx is going out to vote right now. Um, we got we do got some major news from the exit polls again. This is early, but it is related to the Supreme Court. A majority of voters give a favorable opinion to the Supreme Court of the United States of America. Hmm. Really? That's that's, supr that's surprising. Ooh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Ooh, that's not a good sign then, because remember, this was supposed to be November, and it's twenty seven percent of. Oh, it's November. It's just everyone going out to vote because they hate Roe. <laughs> Yeah, so we're it's if that's the case that they have a favorable opinion, ooh, that's not a good that's that's not a good sign because that would mean a lot of these abortion voters they may not be this ninety ten block we originally thought. I I guess you could say that Dim's dreams got aborted tonight. Boo! Oh come on, it was mildly funny. All right, anyways, the more my, my what's your wild card? Oh, I got uh, some rap. super chats. General Hydra oh, okay. for two. Who the heck is Young, the Indiana senator? Um, Garrett Flores for two. Why are no states marked yet? Because it's very early. It's just, you know, a couple of states. Sullivan County's in. That's It's very early, but things could change. There, now, is, also another, yeah, there is also another Young, Jeff Young. <sighs> are you ready to see him win? Oh, God. So, um... But yeah, my my hot my funny thing is I know it's not gonna happen if the Illinois Senate flips Republican because the Republican was so underfunded nobody knew who she was but they're like you know what she's a Republican she must be like a Mark Kirk 2.0 <laughs> that would be funny if that happens but that's not gonna uh, happen that would be interesting, interesting. I, th I think you know what my um, most desired win is Washington no actually what. Maryland governor. Oh yeah, that would be funny if that happens. I want Cox to win. If Cox wins, and then next year, like Youngkin picks up the state, like the state legislature majority in um, Virginia. Um, frankly, well, I'm pretty sure Cox would just go like full scorched stars because realistically, he would not be winning again. Especially if 2026 is not going to be such a heavily red wave year. I, if I were Cox, I'd just go. I just I'd go completely crazy on what I want to do. Um, you have a Republican Maryland. <coughs> you have a Republican governor in Maryland and Virginia that are both decently conservative. Where are all the Nova liberals going to go? They're going to go move to another state like Colorado or um, like one of the Northeast states because they're not going to go to Pennsylvania. They're yeah. not gonna go. They're not gonna go to North Carolina. They're not gonna go to any southern state. All right. So we got our super chat. Citizen ninety eight for ten. Dems lost tonight because too many of wrote in democracy on the ballot. <laughs> well, here's an interesting thing. Some exit polls again. The biggest issue. I I'm having some issue with the exit polls right now. They're kind of over the place. But the most important issue. Democracy is not in the top five. It's not even in the top ten. 
It's, it's not even in the top 15. It's not. Look, I'd like to point out the only the only poll that had democracy at first place was won by MSNBC <laughs> at 23%. Yeah, I mean, the fact of the matter is every single major vi- issue that people are voting on, they're going Republican. I, I mean... MSNBC is just shamelessly biased. Let's MSNBC see. is the funniest to watch on election nights when a Republican wins. And even when Republicans like lose, like in you know 2020, it's still funny because they cope that... They cope that they didn't win by enough. Like, I'm not even kidding. Oh, boy. So, top dog obedience for two. Hottest take is Schumer losing. I think that's a stretch. Uh, I, don't, awesome. I don't think yeah, Chat, give us, your, give us your wildest predictions, Let, chat. Let yeah. us know what you think. I am interested in knowing what you guys are thinking Let's, right now. Hot take is the Florida's 23rd uh, district is close. Let's see here. Austin, Austin the American for two. What will the Dems blame they lose big Russia? They're setting up Russia and Russia and Bernie Sanders. They'll blame Russia and Bernie yeah, Sanders. Yeah, that's for about right. I will. I will be reading off um, non super chat predictions for the craziest. By the way, so so we got oh, yeah. more. Also, look at what um hottest what, um, my hottest take is Mastriano winning. Oregon governor going red. Washington Senate flips. Mastriano upsets Shapiro. Hawaii governor flips her. I haven't seen Florida nine. Um, Charles Booker's a horrible candidate. Wow, you're telling me just now for the first time. <laughs> um, Pinion wins. Fetterman winning. Connecticut Senate closer than expected. Oh my lord, everyone's flooding the chat. <laughs> oh god, why? The fact that there are, um, on the subject of Pennsylvania, the fact that there are unironic uh, Fetterman Mastriano voters is just like baffling. Yeah, that hurts my brain. Uh, let's see here. Devin the Armstrong for two Canadian dollars. Watching the rep stream in my political re- lecture right now political science lecture epic um yeah so if you're watching make sure to subscribe like share with all your friends <laughs> my hottest take fetterman's lump comes alive thank you <laughs> oh man okay so we gave more results Very early. Uh, a right. lot of people really a lot of people really want um smiley to win all right, so I hope got, she does. Okay, we do got some results. Um, I'm calling Indiana, Kentucky for Republicans. I don't think there's much to say there, but... What do you mean, Char- Charles? Trump, oh, 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 we got a super chat. Trump's yeah. vice president in 2024 must be John Kennedy or Vince McMahon, and I will accept no answer. Vince McMahon? Oh, Vince, my... Vince McMahon, yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah, I think... Yeah, it's a $5 super chat from Very Vitty. Thank you so much. Uh, Minnesota will stay blue. That's going to be a close one, depending on the weed party. I think it's going to be dependent on how much the weed party gets. Moral going 80 for Rand. Hmm. Hmm. Is Kentucky earlier vote like Indiana? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they have like the 6 p.m. poll closing. So we got results from Lexington from Anderson. Oh, it's 97 votes. Really? That's all my hot mean? take is that Oz wins by seven points and Deal barely wins. Interesting. <laughs> so Anderson County, where is that? That's really hottest bad. take. Brandon resigns. <laughs> <laughs> Unironically, if like if Republicans get like two hundred and fifty five plus. Hello? Did we? Did we lose everybody? Uh, hold on, my my thing just died. Whoa, okay. Sorry about that, folks. My audio died. Okay, there we go. We're back. We're back. Hello? My... What the heck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I want to read this super chat out. Okay. Uh, uh, rap. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. Okay, uh, rap. Um, I think James should read off this next super yeah, chat. Yeah, James. You... you, uh, you just... Well, okay, so I... I was very biased in this race, so I just did it based on how many people asked for each candidate, and more people asked oh, for us. shit. That's literally all. That's literally it. Yes. Th- nothing else. So if you don't know what the Super Chat was, it was uh, Echo for Two, Thoughts on the Giant Tire Project, endorsing Oz. Yeah, what is that, James? What the hell? That was... It was that was literally it. That was the only reason I did. I like I want to, you know, I am I have a lot of bias in that race. So I just didn't I didn't want anyone to think I was biased. So I just did it based on how many people asked for each. Okay, we ha- we're having no audio. We're having no audio. Whoa, what? Weird. We've got audio. Uh, 
It doesn't. We've got like... audio. I just checked the stream. Okay, we have audio. Okay, that's weird. That is really strange. Okay, so we have audio. I think. Hold on, let me let me listen to the stream. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good. We've got audio. We're fine. Yeah, I think we're good. Um, yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Sorry about that, folks. Will you make a Discord server? No. I'm down with servers. General Hydra for five real American tell dude that his abortion joke is funny as hell. I think he meant you. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what about that. Yeah, audio was weird for Someone a Someone in the chat told me that Redline Politics is dooming again. Why am I not surprised? Well, you're telling me just now for the other time? <laughs> There's a reason why I mute that guy. I don't have him, I don't have him blocked, obviously, but I have him muted for a very good reason. I he used to follow me on my old account, and the only reason he unfollowed me is because I said he was really annoying one time. I was like, "Dude, you're like 15. Please shut the fuck up." And he fucking blocked me, and he hasn't followed me back since, or followed me since rather. Oh boy, so nothing yet for the exit polls. Nothing yet. Um. Huey Long 2024. Oh, boy. If only he was alive. Yeah, Blake Masters for President of the United States 2024. Perhaps. Please. Yes, unironically yes. American. Caesar. He'd be a strong candidate. He's from a swing state. He's you know very conservative. Um, 2028, maybe, if Trump runs again and, um, and wins in uh, 2028, so free seat, then... We, we, in 2020, it's going to be interesting in that scenario. I think 2028 would probably be like like Blake six years, um, DeSantis Masters. Hopefully, that'd be epic, actually. If we get I it. think it would also be like Carrie Lake in it, which, I mean, she'd be like uh, she's in the position. Two terms. She's going to run two terms. She first. already announced she's running for two terms, which is good because she is way too valuable in Arizona, yeah, frankly. for now. Uh, people are saying that there is an amendment in Kentucky. Really? Yeah, it's the it's the amendment for your mom. But, okay, hold on. I gotta make sure everything's good. I, uh, do we have an amendment? I wonder. I don't remember. People are saying Kentucky. People are saying amendment. Okay, my dad wouldn't vote because he believes it's rigged anyway. For the love of God, tell your parents. Tell your loved ones. Tell everyone it's not about whether or not it's rigged or isn't. Well, for, spoiler off, like, spo like first off, spoiler, it's not rigged. But second off, it shouldn't because, uh, like, he shouldn't do that because he thinks it's rigged. Since regardless, um, it like the more votes there are, the crazier they have to do the fraud. Okay, so we, we, it just, just exposed the script. Okay. Amendment two is action abortion amendment. An amendment that would that would state there is no right to an abortion or any requirement to fund an abortion in the state constitution. Currently, sixty six percent said yes. <laughs> we love Kentucky, don't we, folks? Oh wow, man. A, a a southern ish pro life state is pro life. I'm very very surprised. I, know, I thought it was gonna be a pro choice state, according to that crappy poll. You see that map before that had freaking like. Well, which state was it? Montana? No, like no, you don't understand. Kentucky's a pro-choice state. That's why they're sending Charles Booker to the Senate. Lol. Well, I think the thing with state difference between southern states and states like Kansas is that a lot of these, like, plains and rocky states are kind of libertarian. And also the wording in the Kansas abortion referendum was god-awful. Let's not forget that. It was literally worded like a leftist meme. Yeah, so... Um, Muffin Man. Bro, it sounded. It, bro, it read off. It read like some shit out of Star Wars. Yeah. So, um, Muffin Man for five. Trudy has a chance in Missouri. A lot of working class support plus Weedman on the ballot. It's not gonna do much. So, yeah, nothing's really happening yet. But yeah, that's a good sign for um, the pro-life stuff, if that's 66% already. Which again, it's going to change because... Look at Clark County, Indiana. What county? Clark. Where is that? I have no fucking idea. It's, like, it's, uh, it's southern Indiana. Whoa! Trump won this county by 19. Currently, Clark is going almost 50% for uh, Todd Young. But wait, it's 1%. Come on! 
You need to wait until a lot of the votes are in, and even then, don't wait until it's like a hundred percent in. Like, LTV remember, like, will convulse in, on stream. Yeah, like, don't forget, like, in 2020, everyone thought that Ohio was going to go to Biden, and then it just didn't when all the votes were counted. So, just just saying, it goes both sides. Obviously, I remember. Did you guys see? Did yeah. you guys see the video, of, like the NAACP guy crying? like crocodile tears on stream because it's like the gqp fascists are gonna rig democracy not every ballot's gonna be counted <laughs> so true did well did y'all see that that was stupid when i saw that i thought that was a parody but nope it was real hot take baltic wins but masters loses no yeah no that's not happening that's not happening. I actually have a mutual uh, a friend of mine who thinks that will happen, and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? If Bolduc wins but Masters loses, I would be very, very shocked. That's yeah, sweet. now, like, we're on set for, like, 320 to 350k total election day votes. Um, all the people I've talked to from firms have all said the same thing. 300,000 is the magic number for Masters to get out of the woods from fraud territory. Hey! So, like, Fort Wayne is in. Hey, hey, not no, not the F word. We mean, you know, be careful. You gotta be careful with that. The um, the arbitrary line, which has been set for Blake Masters to securely win his race without any funny business happening, is oh, no, 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 no. Just he, if he reaches that, he wins. <laughs> also, uh, Fort Wayne is um now in. Yeah, so it's a two percent. Yeah, this is early vote. It plus only three percent, so it's not really much. You can't really go off of this because it's really nothing. I'm half tempted to start another another big time rush riot on stream. Oh my God. So yeah, we're we're about uh. Whoa, th oh, 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 oh. Stop. Thirty minutes away. <laughs> from the hell the OGs remember oh, this? God. Thirty minutes away before Georgia, Florida, South Carolina. Oh, we got it. We got a super chat. Yeah, see here. Uh, Joe yes, Major that James guy. Uh, yes, that James guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Thoughts on Andor? Haven't watched enough. So yeah, nothing's really happening. I'm kind of bored. Yeah, I think we'll have to wait till 7 p.m. poll closing to so yeah. get much more. That, that's probably what they're waiting for. There's probably like they're probably getting some of the early votes done, but they're waiting for like Gary to come in. Huey Long will uh, super chat. Huey Blitz Long Creek. will live and will win Blitz in Creek. a landslide. Blitz Creek for two. Huey Long will win in a landslide. You will see. Hmm, maybe, maybe. Yeah. DeKalb Are you guys County. ready? The Kalb County is in for Indiana, not Georgia. Indiana. Uh huh. So th thirty-two percent in. It's around, you know, thirty-eight point win for Young. Again, it's just so early. You can't really make any assumptions off of this. Because it looks I was, like what? How was Trump doing in the early vote in in Indiana in twenty twenty? Because I, I know that um, I know for a fact that um, Trump won the early, very first uh, early votes came in from Indiana and Kentucky. A lot of people were doing. Paid for Texas governor. I'm. I have very, 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 very specific choice words for you, and none of them are remotely positive for that. For Andrew Tate. That guy's a meme. Um, let's see. Opinion on Trump's jab at DeSantis. That wasn't really a. J I, I think it's more of a warning shot, but that's my opinion. I don't really care. It's. it's yeah, like it's not I, really I was. Important. I was annoyed when it happened, but I've moved on because it's like I'm an adult. Let's see here. So um, Kentucky... look, here, here's the okay. Look, here's the truth of the reality. Regardless if DeSantis runs or not, Trump's going to curb stomp him. Only, only like DC politicos honestly think DeSantis could beat Trump. These are the same people who said Ted Cruz would beat Trump, and then their asses were proven sorely mistaken. And these are also the same people who were throwing, who were like splitting it up between people like Rubio, Cruz, um, Christie, like. I'm sorry. No, there's no way in hell Ron DeSantis beats Trump in our primary. And if you think else, what, like, here, here, okay, okay, I want, I want to address something a lot of people say. People talk a lot about how DeSantis is an effective governor. Like, yes, DeSantis is an effective governor. I also have something for these people to consider. Trump has permanently changed, not only is Trump permanently, like, DeSantis is the result of Trump endorsing in Florida. Florida going red is the result of Trump getting directly involved in suck up, up, sucking up the Obama votes. This is a known fact. Also, consider this. Trump is directly responsible for the repeal of Roe v. Wade, and he's also going to be responsible for the destruction of affirmative action. Two very big, like, 
obviously the first one was Carter. Second one was what Obama, right? Like you can list all these things about DeSantis being an effective governor. You're right, but I'm sorry, Trump has done way more to influence and change how the na- how the National Republican Party works and how the re- like we are in a we are in an Obama Trump voter Republican Party. DeSantis with a Trump endorsement could get most of those people, but in a direct one-on-one against Trump. No. Trump wins every single time. Running to the right of Trump won't work. Running to the left of Trump won't work. It's a literal fucking cult half the time with older voters with Trump. You're just going to have to wait for Trump to write out his four years. I'm sorry. That's all. No, My let's... take on all of this is that uh, I, it's 2022. Let's wait for the midterms. We can bitch about the 2024 primary. If there even is one, which I don't know if there will be a serious primary uh, after. That's just my opinion. Yeah, I don't think anyone's primarying Trump. The fact that... Oh, Cogn- Liz Cheney. I agree. Liz Cheney's no, going to primary him. I think, I think I Liz Cheney's going to try I, to I, primary him. Let me rephrase that. Anyone anyone relevant. Because <laughs> obviously Cheney's going to try to relevant. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be funny because you're going to have Hogan... Or you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have Larry Hogan and you're gonna have Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger running, but like DeSantis, Cotton, Cruz, Rubio, Team MAGA, they're clearing the way for Trump. So all that's gonna do is just div- it's gonna divvy up the Rhino neocon vote. Yeah, it's gonna be like a shit show, but we all know who's gonna win. It's just a shit show for second place. Yeah. That's all well, it would be hilarious to see like Hogan and Chain to debate. But oh yeah, my I, God, you know, what like, would even debate on? Like Hogan it's gonna or... be like it's gonna be like Trump versus Cheney versus Haley versus Baker versus Hogan. It's like, Haley is not running if Trump does. He even said that. that. Haley Mark, is Mark's not running. Man. Mark Sanford will beat Trump in the 2024 primaries, clearly. Mark Sanford is a very, very popular politician. Multiple Georgia precincts are keeping voting polls open until uh, past 7 p.m. One Pennsylvania precinct will stay open until 10 p.m. Yeah, well, that that was Liz Durham. They ran out of ballots. (laughs) They ran out of ballots. So, I'm not really surprised. (laughs) I will be right back. I gotta deal with some real-life affairs very quickly. So, yeah, so far we're looking uh, pretty boring. Pretty boring results right now. Nothing really fascinating. But no, Tyrone, I agree with you. I, I used to be, I don't know if I've always held this opinion, but as of right now, I I don't think anyone's beating Trump in a 2024 presidential primary. I do think that if it's Trump versus DeSantis, it will at least resemble a real primary. Whereas if it's like Trump versus anyone else, it's not even going to be a primary. It's just going to be a joke. It's like going to be a coronation. You get what I mean? Yeah, well, he left the chat. But point is, I, I think it's going to be... Um... No matter what, Trump's going to be the nominee. I, I don't care what people say. Oh, this poll from Florida has DeSantis up by two points. That means it's over for Trump. It's like, no. No. He needs to be up by, like, double digits. And some polls do have him up by a lot. But it, it's not... There's no real consistent, like, um, statewide 2024 polling. So I'd, I'd hold off until, like, mid-2023... And if Trump is still consistently above fifty percent, or even in the mid forties, then he's going to be the nominee. That's yeah. that's my take. I think it's just a matter of you know who he runs against, and I don't think it's going to be it's going to be Trump versus like freaking Liz Cheney and who knows uh, Austin the American for five Liz Cheney slash Spencer Cox twenty twenty four third party. What are the results? Could Trump win states he normally couldn't? Oh yeah. Well- he I think, would... well, the, I mean, the problem with Liz Cheney running as an independent is it would just cause moderate Democrats to abandon the Democrats and vote for Liz Cheney. It wouldn't be, no Republican would cross, like, very, at least very few people who would vote for Trump would cross over to vote for Cheney. Let's see here. Uh, Ghost Dog, 814 for $5. I had Culver's for the first time on October 29th, 2022, and I could see why you speak so fondly of it. Their chicken tenders and fries were great. Thank you so much for it. Yeah. Go Culver's. That's a good place. I've never place. had Culver's. Um, it's I have of, had a lot. It's one of those you have to have like once a month. So I, I don't know if there are many Culver's in North Carolina. I actually grew up in the western part of the U.S., even though I currently live in North Carolina. So I probably never had a Culver's uh, nearby. The closest Culver's to me is an eight-hour drive either, I think, to North Carolina or Ohio. So Yeah, I, I think it's, you just can't have it like 24-7. You have to like once a month. It is expensive. That's about it. 
So yeah, people are saying the Indiana votes old mail-in votes, and the fact that Republicans are up in Allen County, which is Fort Wayne, in the mail-in, that's a bad sign for Democrats. Real bad sign. But we just gotta see what happens. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like that Republicans... Oh, wow. In-person voting in Pima County, Arizona. This is the Democrat part of the state, right here. Pima County. A, sta a county Biden won by 100,000 votes. Currently, Republicans lead in-person voting by 15,000 votes in Pima County. Wow. Wow. Oh, I also have the... I, sorry, I should also have the in-person Clark County results. Um, 25, it's, um, 21,395 Democrats, um, 389, 300, or 38,980 votes for Republicans. Um, yeah, it's looking, for, that's pretty good, that's pretty good sound for Republicans. If they're doing that good in Pima, and I go, I know it's in-person voting, of course it'd be more Republican, but the fact they're doing that good in Pima County, that's not a good sign for Democrats at all. Really isn't. I would really be worried if I were Democrats right now. Republicans are winning Maricopa Ide by 50 points or so. Or 49, right? Yeah, that, that race is over, I think. R -R yeah. RR 330 for two. Zeldin slash Lake 2028. I think Zeldin's going to be VP eventually. I think he's going to. That's Youngkin Lake. DeSantis I... Lake. DeSantis Youngkin. Those would be good tickets in uh, 28 or 24, depending on what happens. Potentially. Yeah, so, I, I think so. Let's see here. Okay, we got a county from Monroe County. This is, I think this county went to Trump, or Biden won it by around 30 points. Currently, it's going to the Democrat by around 38, but this is mail-in. Oh, boy. If this is only mail-in votes and they're only up by 38, ugh, that would not be a good sign for Democrats if that's the case, so... We just got to see what happens. We, we just got to see what happens in some of these counties because it is just early vote more than likely, but it's not that big as it should be. It should be a massive early vote lead. So I, I don't think it's that good so far, but again, we just got to see. All right. Um, exit poll data. It could, some more things are coming out. Biden's approvals underwater. Yeah, it's not looking too good for Democrats. Uh, why do people think Arizona will flip? Because early vote was a disaster, and election day vote's been an even bigger disaster for Democrats. Nice. Louisville is in. Louisville? Yeah. Okay, that's a big one. That's a So it's 12% of the vote in. Yeah. Booker's won it by 28. I think Booker won it. Uh, Biden won it by 20. So again, if this is early vote... I would not be that confident. I would not. Yeah, it be. was it was it was fifty nine to thirty nine. I yeah yeah yeah. That's not good if that's early vote. But again, we don't know. I, I just don't know for certain if this is early vote or not. But we just got to see what happens. Red tsunami, so true. It's looking pretty good for Republicans right now across the board. It's looking pretty good so far, especially if it's early vote. Uh, more rural counties are coming in. I want to see how the Kentucky thing's voting. Yeah, it looks like the pro-life amendment's going to win. A good-worded abortion question is going to win easily. <laughs> Remember what they said that, oh, abortion is so popular in America? <laughs> oh, and, and uh, in District 9, the uh, Democrat is leading. <laughs> District 9? In Indiana. Indiana District 9 on New York Times. <laughs> Oh, because Monroe, it's the only county in. Yeah, I know. But it's, yeah, it's so just it's funny really, to see. Can't Matt, extrapolate Matt results. Fife is leading. Yeah, Matt Fife is leading. Uh, Booker winning. Blue wave. Blue tsunami. So true. This is like a blue mass flooding event. So true. Uh, yeah, so it's looking like... Yeah, this is New York Times, for those wondering. I'm using New York Times and people spun it daily. For the live results, but very early. Nothing really is happening as we speak. We're 10 minutes or 20 minutes away from Florida, which should give us one big batch of votes right away. And we're going to see how lopsided Florida is. <laughs> oh, man. We just got to see. 
What website should I use? I would recommend New York Times if you have it. That's the best way to watch it. From what I'm hearing, Hawaii may, may end up with counties being Republican. Really? I don't believe that. I think the most blue counties were like Biden plus 15, so I don't I don't mm, think so. No, I, I don't see any that's even Biden. The closest one it looks like is... Oh, wait. Yeah, it was, it was the closest one was like Honolulu. Biden plus like 22. It was yeah. 27. Biden plus 27. Oh, that's Biden plus 20. It looks like 22 for a second. Let's see here. 1.8 thousand viewers. I think YouTube's having a moment. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Or maybe it is true. Who knows? So more votes coming in. People are going to start coping about, Oh, Louisville came in. It's like, yeah, whoop de doo Charles Booker, according to uh, political election predictions, is 28 plus 28 in Louisville early vote, which is really bad. If true. It, this is early vote? Yeah, that's according to political election predictions. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, that's bad news. That is real bad sign. 2,000 views. Uh, if you if this is real, smash the like button down below and subscribe. Uh, 940,000 vote lead for GOP in Florida. That's about right. But it's not going to come for a little bit, so... We just got to see. We do a little bit of scene. We do a little bit of scene. Um, this is really going to be another 1994, isn't it? Yeah, I'm starting to think so. Who's Trump going to have his VP? I think it's going to be... Ooh. It's probably going to be uh, either someone terrible like Elise Stefanik or someone really good like Mike Garcia. I, yeah, I'm feeling. I think that's about right. It's either going to be like top two or top five representative or like complete trash that's my opinion i, I, I mean i've heard i've heard at least stefanik be talked about a lot same with uh, kim reynolds let's see here heard... oh. why is kim reynolds is being pushed for both trump and desantis as vp so that's interesting let's see here oh why is new hampshire um why is it blue because there's some midnight towns that vote there's like five votes in that city it's not really a not really that big of like a thing it's just there there's some votes and that's about it why the 1994 comparison because serious shot republicans they sweep everything uh vini vita for five they were smart republicans would demand guam statehood in return for puerto rico statehood there's not enough people in guam i don't think there are it's i think it needs sixty thousand to be a state okay they do they barely do then uh, 2. Yeah, 6. Guam has one hundred. Guam has one hundred seventy thousand people, and let's see here. Trump could pick Noam. I don't think she will. I don't really think he will after the whole corruption stuff. But Noam fell yeah. off. Yeah, she. She wasn't. I. I was right. <laughs> I was right about her. Yeah, you need good. a. Si yeah, you need sixty thousand residents, and Guam has one hundred seventy thousand. So. Guam could apply for statehood. That could happen then. I mean, but I, I don't think it would, I don't know. Puerto Rico's probably get statehood eventually. It's a matter of, you know, but if they break away before at this point. Well, every single referendum is like overwhelmingly in favor of statehood as it, compared getting, to independence. It's getting closer though. It is slowly getting closer, yeah. but. Well, I mean, it, the, like, the independence is never, I don't think that's ever popular. I think it's just depending on whether they want to stay a territory or a state. Yeah, so it's not really that close. Um, yeah, so right now we just, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for the uh, 7 p.m. Eastern poll closings. So we get Florida, Georgia's the big one, South Carolina, Vermont, and the Greats in New Hampshire, of course. One of the most critical uh, how Senate races this cycle in New Hampshire. So, uh, let's see. Puerto Rico is about to be is about the only place that makes sense in the state. I mean, yeah. Let's see. Here. Guam yeah, would be a state. Yeah, uh, with the Korea stuff, that could be true. With the geopolitical stuff, that could be a good point. Guam is mainly Democrat. Well, they voted Republican, so I mean, I, they they shifted heavier Republican between pre the 2016 presidential election yeah, and 2020 because they. Yeah, they help because they hold that straw poll every year. I I laughed when I saw that freaking shift of like twenty points Republican. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, both independence and territory status are in the majority. True. 
I hope Ron DeSantis is a crappy mark. Eh, no. I want DeSantis to win fairly easily. He's going to win by a lot. It's just a matter of how much. Like, if you if you want him to underperform because um because he's weak for twenty four, um, you're gonna be disappointed. Also, you're cringe. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What about Alberta statehood? Never gonna happen. That's never gonna realistically happen. Yeah, Canada's not just gonna give that up. Well, it's I mean, more likely that Q- Q- Quebec becomes its own country, which yeah. almost happened in the 1990s. Uh, let's see. Imagine Good support for it is uh, decision desk has five votes in New Hampshire again. That's the midnight town stuff. It's not really. It's not any shenanigans. It's just tradition. They always do that. One house seat is called. Wow, I guarantee you it's what, freaking Kentucky 5th? <laughs> I don't see any it called on New York Times. Uh, it's probably going to be on... Yeah, it's right here. So it's going to be on, deci- on Decision Desk, they called a couple. Yeah, so Republicans are already at five House seats. Let's go! <laughs> uh, sucks that Guam still voted for its Democratic governor by 11 yeah, but a voter Republican by, like, six, so. The same dude who forecasted Virginia governor in 2021, who, within, like, 0.3%, um, is saying that Spanberger's campaign is, should be having a meltdown right now. Oh, so yeah, that's pretty good. Trouble. They are in deep trouble. Uh, we'll take West Canada. They will cope and seethe. No. Projection to Santa's plus 11 or 10, uh, 10 or 11. Yeah, I could see that. Maybe a bit more. I mean, the Palm Beach numbers. Oh, if that's true. Oh, boy. I have it as like Rubio plus 13 and DeSantis plus 14. I don't think he breaks 15%, although we'd love to see Republicans uh, like Rubio and DeSantis break 15. I don't see that happening this year. Yeah, it's kind of a stretch, I think. I, I mean, it could happen. Absolutely, it could happen where, you know, depending it how. It could. They- you know, Palm Beach, you know, Broward, if they all flip, which is a good shot of it now. Especially Palm, Palm Beach. Palm Beach, yes. Broward, no. Yeah, Brow- Broward. I mean, Broward is... Now, Broward's Broward. close. If Broward is close, though, we have discussion to have be made. If Broward is close, a Florida Democrat should not invest in that. Uh, Florida is, like, going to be the reverse California in, yeah, like, it's 15 gone. years. Yeah, it's gone at that point. If that's the case, it's just gone. So, yeah, I gotta get the governor elections right here. I don't know if you, like, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was, um, Democrats spent $72 million on Val Demings. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Well, well it took you me. long enough. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, like both. I said, I was dealing with family stuff. My sister was asking me who to vote for. Okay. I'm sorry. When I get the opportunity to tell someone not to vote for Beto, I will absolutely take that. <laughs> I hate Robert Francis O'Rourke! <laughs> That's been Fuck that Irishman! <laughs> Fuck that Irishman! Oh my god. I have a question. Everyone talks about DeSantis' margin of victory, but nobody talks about Abbott's margin of victory. Well, because... I think Abbott's... Go ahead. Oh, no, go. Go. No, I think Abbott's margin of victory will be pretty similar to DeSantis's. Some people think DeSantis wins by more... I think they went about by a similar margin, like 13 to 16 points, something like I that. Think, I think that DeSantis is going to win by 11, and Abbott's going to win by, like, 12. I think DeSantis wins by, like, 14 and a half, and Abbott by, like, 2012 Romney margins, which is, like, 15 and a half, so... Please, yeah, for the love of God, I don't want Abbott winning by anything more than, like, 12... Why? It's because you don't like Abbott? I don't like Abbott, and if he wins by anything more than an uncomfortably... by more than an uncomfortable amount for a safe state, then I'm sorry, but that means he's going to run for a fourth term, and he has been an absolutely terrible governor. The only reason the abortion ban went through in the first place was because of state representative Briscoe Kane. God bless him. And you trying to push that through with the 2020 and the 2019 sessions in the state legislature. And Abbott 
only went along with it because the the entire right wing of the party was trying to get him to do it. We need a governor who will take the his own initiative, and that's why I want Troy Nose running for governor in twenty twenty six. Yeah, I've I've heard it said, being said a lot that somebody like a Youngkin or a DeSantis basically makes the legislator do things. Whereas like with Abbott, and also to a lesser extent people like Ducey, like the legislature makes them do things. Right, so, so that's why I don't like Abbott. Abbott Abbott only gives a shit about being governor. He doesn't actually give a shit about passing policy. He just wants to look cool okay. and be best friends with Trump. Let's see here. Uh, Venny VD for two. I think I hope I said that name correctly. Should Ted Cruz run in twenty twenty four? No, no. For Senate or president? I I think he's gonna be next. He's gonna get an obvious Supreme how about, Court. How about how about Cruz not run either way? Because Cruz is a terrible candidate. He underperformed in 2016. He underperformed in 2012, and he underperformed in 2018. He actually overperformed Romney in 2012, but that was what that was like the exception. Sorry. Oh, he overperformed Romney, but 2016 and 2018 he underperformed Trump. I agree. I agree. Almost lost. Like the best thing Trump could do is um, get Cruz out of there. And endorse Be- endorse Beth Van Doyen or someone good. How are your Van Doyen? Yeah. Not Chip Roy. I yeah, don't Chip want Roy, Chip Roy. Roy is he ruined his career. That was stupid what he did. No, what Roy's did not. Do? Roy's not even. An, well, I mean, neither. Well, Van Doyen and Roy aren't. Not neither are native Texans, but Roy is just not Texan whatsoever. Wait, what did Roy do? I forgot. He's a big time DeSantis shill. Ah. Which he can go fuck himself for that. I have no okay. I have nothing against DeSantis. DeSantis is good. The Trump DeSantis beef is all full it's all fake bullshit. People are drumming up. The GOP donors remember DeSantis wasn't even the first choice for GOP donors to go up against Trump in twenty twenty four. It was Youngkin, but then Youngkin showed he was actually extremely dangerous to establishment policy. Um, so they were like, no, Youngkin should just stay by himself as governor of Virginia. Yeah, um, so they all, yeah, so no, they're all co- yeah, so they all decided to coalesce behind DeSantis, but I don't see a way where I, I don't, I, I don't see DeSantis running. I'm yeah. sorry. I, don't I see think DeSantis. he's, he's going to stay. I, li- I like Chip Roy, but I mean, I don't think he'd be the best candidate. I, I mean, I don't know. There are a lot of people who could run for Senate. I, I don't mind Chip Roy. I don't. I'm indifferent to the DeSantis thing, uh, personally. And I will uh, crawl. Ac- I will crawl across glass to vote for to vote against Chip Roy. Oh man. I mean, Chip Roy's always been really conservative, but I mean, you, you remember him in 2021, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. He was like, just terrible. He he's always been like that, like, and he's always been really conservative, freedom caucus guy, but kind of you know, um, his own he thing. He 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 counter signals to Trump against Trump way too much. Yeah, he. I, I don't, don't know why he, why he's doing that. Does he really think it's helpful? Does he really yeah, think it's popular? Apparently, apparently, that's not smart. It's just. Well, I mean, Chip Roy's not very smart. Not so. true. Chip Roy's like not liked by the establishment, which is something. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so we're five minutes away from poll closes. We're gonna get full of results, like, immediately. I mean, that's gonna be, like, ready? five seconds after. Bam! All the count votes are done. How are you ready for, uh, Florida's second district to look like Al Lawson's winning because the blue half of the district gets counted What first. if he's losing? What if he's losing? Oh my god, if he's losing the blue half, then there's it's going to be a very bad night for Democrats. Cause, oh, like, that's no, really she said the thing! She said the thing! Who? Like, said the thing. Oh, she said that during the primary! It doesn't matter! It's just funny to mention. I know, but it's like, yes, sometimes it's clear if it's hurting campaign. But it's like, in her situation, it's like, no, it's not going to hurt her. It's not like jinxing it. But I just find it funny. Let's see here. I don't think DeSantis runs in 2024. Uh, Florida still needs about four more years, maybe in 2028. Yeah, I agree. I, I think just solidifying, you're going to be the president eventually. That's my opinion, but... What needs to happen is DeSantis needs to do heavy campaigning for Trump throughout his primary so that DeSantis will be Trump's running mate. And then 
we have Trump DeSantis. Trump DeSantis is the best ticket for 2024. It appeases yeah. everybody. Um, they play off of each other very well. Um, DeSantis might not look. DeSantis doesn't have charisma as much as Trump does. But Bush, W didn't have charisma, and people still fucking voted for him. So Biden has like negative charisma, and somehow he still won. So yeah, Biden Biden has like the opposite of charisma, and he still has an authentic vote like fan base. The only people who act, I can't, the only person I can't think of who has an actual person like okay, the only person I can't. The only person I can think of who doesn't have an actual fan base and everyone just kind of vote, supported them for the sake of supporting them was Hillary. No one actually likes Hillary. Come yeah, on. that's true. No, there, well, there is a there is a demographic that really likes Hillary. Well, yeah, my mother likes Hillary. My mother literally worships Hillary, which is fucking hilarious because I think Hillary Clinton is like the epitome of what is wrong with American politics. So, I think I think most people agree with that, but. Yeah, so I think overall we're, um, so what What do you guys think about uh, DeSantis and Nick Dane? That was just a warning shot. Give me a break. It was a warning. Shot. Yeah, no, it was a warning shot. I, I, my opinion, and it's probably different from you guys, I thought it was cringe, but it's not a big deal. Nobody cares. I don't care. Like, I think it's cringe. I think it was unnecessary, but it's like it's a warning shot. I don't really care. It was it a one-on-one. On one. People aren't going to, like, your average voter is not going to see that as a big thing. That was like... That was the for an Trump. audience. It was an audience of one, is what it was. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's Trump in like an average Tuesday. Yeah, that's just Trump. I mean, a lot of people like or I mean, whenever Trump says something stupid, I'm like, whatever. It's just Trump. Like, I I don't even bother like getting worked up about it. Like certain people uh, on election Twitter do. It's just like whatever. All right. So, it's only. Oh, go on. Go ahead. Are, no, go 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 go. go, go. People are. I dumb. have nothing to say. All right, so um, we're two minutes away from poll closings. We're gonna see real quickly about Florida, Georgia. If Florida's as bad as it seems like, this is gonna be the first indicator. Like Indiana, Kentucky, it's been very slow, but they're waiting for the rest of the county. They're waiting for the rest of uh, Kentucky and Indiana to count, but it, it looks to be a good night for Republicans if it's as bad as we think it's going to be in Florida. So, we're one minute away, everybody. We're one minute away. We got Indiana, or, hold on, I think the rest of Indiana, correct? I'm correct, yeah. The rest of Indiana, Kentucky, the rest of Kentucky, Florida, Georgia, or part of Florida, all of Georgia, all of South Carolina, Vermont, and the state of New Hampshire. Vermont's one I want to look at because if Trafalgar's anywhere in the ballpark about the race. Oh, man. So we're about to get our first major poll closing. Like actual big boys of this election night. Not some bullshit, you know, oh, 1% of the vote in Indiana with like two votes counted. Florida's looking like GOP Cali. Yeah. Oh no, bro. You know who Ooh. else is going to Oh no, bro. Do you know who else is going to lose their election by a last yep. night? Here it is, folks. Polls have officially closed. It's 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And here I'm we... gonna go pop in my voice chat, like I said I would. My friends uh, want me to, right? Okay, bye. Alright, so we lost um we lost him for a little bit. Um, so, we're, it's just us three for now. Hopefully we get Mr. Yeet in here. He's been busy with some stuff right now, but hopefully we get him. But I yeah. wonder if we're going to get Blumpf in here, because Blumpf wanted, uh, I don't know, I think well, he's on Yankee screen. We, we got breaking news, without, we got breaking news. South Carolina was just called for Tim Scott. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. Of the and Vermont, Vermont was just called for uh, Welch, not a surprise. I so, thought Trafal Why did Trafalgar have Vermont clothes? Who like, what knows? With that? Who knows? That yeah, that was that was such a confusing poll. I saw it and I was. I thought it was, was a misprint. I thought they meant like sixty thirty or something like that. Congratulations to Nikki Scats on winning another term for the South Carolina Senate. 
Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> they didn't even wait for South Carolina. I love how they waited for Kentucky and Indiana, but they called South Carolina. Bam! Like that. I mean, it's electoral juggernaut Charles Booker. Yeah, electoral yeah, jugger juggernaut Charles Booker, who was only leading the Kentucky, like, uh, Louisville early vote by, like, 28. Like, that's a real electoral juggernaut. Oh, man. I can't believe they called that right away. Bam! Right there. I mean, there's still zero votes, but, I mean, his opponent was, his opponent was, like, a apparently racist. <laughs> Since Scott always goes up against, like, the most random candidates ever, who have, like, no campaign. Yeah. I tried to, I tried to look at her campaign website, and I could, and you can't go on it for more than two seconds without being, without, like, a pop-up that does, that you can't close asking to, for money to view the rest of the website. Are you serious? Is it, like, Yeah, and when I went on her, yeah, I went on her campaign website, and I, and like, you can only look at it for two seconds, and then you have to, like, donate money to look at it. Uh, we also got poll closings in the great state of Virginia. I forgot about Virginia. Thank you so much for mentioning that to me, Chad. Okay, this is the first, like, actual competitive, yeah. like, not statewide race, but house races. So, we expect that Jen Tiggins is going to win by how much is a question. We expect the Virginia 7th race to be very competitive. Uh, and we expect that uh, Jennifer Wexton wins the 10th district, but she could actually be in a much closer race than expected, or even possibly lose. So, yes, so it'll be interesting. Virginia 10th, this, this is going to be the first sign if this is a red tsunami or not. Yeah, I expect uh, uh, Vega and Kiggins to win. Also, the New Hampshire districts, too. Those are close. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a big one. That's going to be an. And also, Florida. Um, okay. Florida, don't let me down. Oh, yeah, also, there's re there's results from uh, from okay. District 12 now, and Liz Johnson is in the lead. For where? Georgia. Georgia. First bit of results from the great state of Georgia. It's 9% of the vote is in, and Liz Johnson, Liz Johnson. is leading the count. Liz Johnson. She's Who the Democrat the... against Rick Allen. Who the hell are you? So I don't no... know, some random... Some random. You have to. It's on the house oh, map. We got results. First results from Georgia for the Senate race. Richmond County over fi fifty point lead for Warnock right now. How much did Biden oh, win that county that's by? Augusta. Augusta that's by thirty seven. This is early vote, so that's noted. 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 Yeah, was... So. Yeah, I expect that to get closer as the. Um... Election day vote comes in. That's 37% of the vote is in. So, not too much to be said. But it is a very, very blue county. So, who knows? Let's see here. Warnock surge. No. No, please. I beg of you. So, yeah. We're getting some votes slowly but surely. We're going to start getting some votes now. Um, nothing in Florida. Just yeah, I can't believe they didn't call Florida right away. I'm shocked. So yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good so far. Nothing yet though. It's over 0.1% of the votes, and it's over. So true. Brown. Yeah, the early vote means it's over. Uh, in a very blue area too. Yeah. Like so if true. if Warnock is only overperforming um, Biden's margins by 13 in the early vote, I don't know if that means that Walker wins for sure. But it means that this is going to be a long night. People That's all I know. People are saying Broward is in. I'm not. I'm not seeing Broward anywhere. I, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, me neither. Um, I don't see anything either. Hmm. Oh wait, yeah, it is in Florida's District 23. It's 59 to 40 right now. Oh no! For Democrats. Oh, uh, that's... Joe Budd is at 40. Jared Moskowitz is at 59. That is not good because that's early vote. Wait, early yeah. votes in where? In Florida, twenty uh, third. It's not. Does that mean Moskowitz could lose? Because I'm actually oh, being in a. That's not Go a good ahead. sign. That's the first sign that this is bad news for Democrats. Because this is early yeah. vote. They're only yeah. up by nineteen. In in the Biden plus thirteen seat. That's yeah. not good. Also, Georgia's first district got some numbers, and Buddy Carter is at eighty nine percent, and Wade Herring, the Democrat, is at eleven. 
We're finally starting to get some votes here. We're finally starting to pick it up a little bit. Now we got Pierce County, 57% of the vote. This oh, is finally... also the... Uh... Also, I forgot. I just want to say that the District Twenty Three is forty nine percent of the vote in. Huh? It's like half. It's like the vote in Florida District Twenty Three is half in. Okay, noted. Um, how are we looking at this? So Moskowitz is losing by nineteen. I I, I don't think that Moskowitz loses outright, but I think the race is closer than expected. Oh, also. Also remember that Moskowitz, by especially by Florida Democrat standards, is actually a really strong candidate. So if he's barely winning, that's that's bad. That's not good. So we're gonna be waiting a little bit because freaking people can't count votes. I guess. Hooray! Also, house race, house races in um in the Atlanta area in Georgia are starting to Georgia report, six. Uh, Georgia Bob, six. Yeah, Georgia Bob six Christian is not competitive. Yeah. But it's, it's Georgia enough. six is not competitive, but it's important. Ooh, Georgia seven. Georgia 7th, wait a minute. Whoa! Only 8%, though. Currently, McBath yeah. is winning by 8 points. That's pathetic. Uh, and that's that early, though. It, where is that, that is from? That is really bad. Where Although, is that freaking... Is that from, like, Barrow? Hal Rogers was just, was just called. Hooray for Hal Rogers. Hooray! That's the first contested call for the House. So we're seeing nothing really out of... People are saying Decision Desk has it. Huh. You were saying Decision Desk. I I gotta probably pull up Decision Desk now. So, yeah. I don't know what's up with my uh, thing. I'm not getting it. So let me just uh, switch to this for a second. Uh, just... Apparently, Chris is up by two in Pinellas with like sixty percent reporting, which I don't know if that's that great. But Pinellas is Chris's home county, uh, so I want to see the um. I gotta get the results up first. That's like early vote too. Yeah, I don't know where this numbers these numbers are coming from. There we go. I'm back. All right. Sorry about that, folks. I just have to. Do something real quick. Use NBC News. You were saying use NBC. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Senate. Sorry, folks. I have to bring this up. It's taken much longer than I originally anticipated. So, um, Leon said, uh, a good friend of mine says that DeSantis and Rubio are ahead in Miami Dade, and this is early vote. Oh boy. Yeah. So, That's what I'm seeing with the Miami Dade early vote is that Republicans have been ahead. Yeah, um I'm I'm gonna see Marco Rubio's up by um six. Uh how much is this? And uh Maria Elvira Salazar is up by eleven. Carlos Jimenez is up by uh twenty seven points. And no, Ron DeSantis is up in Miami Dade by eight and a half. Eight points. Jesus. That is insane. Also, uh, Al Lawson um, is in the lead. <laughs> Finally got some results. There... Oh, boy. This is not going to go good for Democrats whatsoever. Yeah, Broward is 63-36. So, yeah. Which, in 2020, oh, it was 64-34. Yeah, so Broward, so Broward is Broward... only 25% for Chris. And this is only early vote. We know that for a fact. This is a county that broke for Biden by almost 30. Yeah, he may win it. <laughs> he may pull it off. This is already a disaster for Democrats right off the bat. We're not plus 52 in the Fulton County early vote. Uh, that's not... How much was Fulton County in 2020 for Biden uh, overall? In Fulton, I'll check. it was around 46. It was 72 to 26. Are you guys seeing Miami Dade right now? Yeah, Ro we, I, we Miami so Dade's gonna it's flip. Lead, it's, yeah, Miami Dade is leading for Rubio by a decent margin with sixty-seven percent. Okay, so let's see. This is pretty funny. Not the night. That's a terrible start for Democrats. That is. Uh, bad. I think we can. I'm calling it for uh, Ron Ron the Sanctimonious. Yeah, so we. I'm call calling it for wrong. De the wrong to say demonious and for, little Marco Rubio. For the Senate skin. race, we can officially Real. declare uh, Mark Rubio will win the Florida Senate race, and for the governorship, we can declare that 
Ron DeSantis will carry the state of Florida. New Hampshire, Vermont, okay. also go Republican. Yeah, and also, uh, also, um, what's the bluest state I can think of? Um, is this Vermont, actually? Yeah, Miami so. Dade. Rubio's winning by seven. Jesus. Anyways, yeah, they're both I'll, winning it by the I'll same be margin. I'll back off now. I'll be back later. Oof. I mean, Rubio and DeSantis are winning it by the same margin with, yeah, 60, with like 67% of the votes, and like, that's massive. Like, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to flip it back for Democrats. Yeah, this is not a good sign for Democrats whatsoever. And the numbers I saw for... Go on. No, I was just going to say, the numbers I saw for Val Demings was that Democrats spent $72 million (laughs) on her race. Yeah, Rubio's going to win freaking Miami, it's happened, Red Miami... It's it's officially happened. Uh, Hannah, guys, I have 100,000 mail-ins. <laughs> oh, boy. So, Broward, that's not a good sign. Very early vote, though. Very early. So we can't really say much. Um, God, the New York Times map this year sucks, in my opinion. Yeah, I, it's not as good as it normally is. Oh, yeah, look at uh, Florida's 25th district. For 25th? like the House results, yeah, twenty fifth. That's Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Let's see here. Whoa, only th- only fifty nine percent of the vote. Yeah, this and this is like a she, uh, this was pretty heavy for Wasserman Schultz last time. Okay, so we're f- this is our first actual evidence that oh shit, this isn't going too good for Democrats whatsoever. Yeah. Also, I think it's uh yeah there's uh there's now votes in I think Hillsborough County, um because I, I see Kath, uh, Kathy Castor's district is being uh is being reported now. Monroe is in. Uh, it looks like Duval is gonna flip. Yep, looks like Rubio is gonna win Duval fairly easily. Yeah, oh hey like Poopley. Oh yeah, I should be expected oh, Rubio right, wins Duval considering it was a Trump. Bye. <laughs> Wait, what happened? <laughs> Why do you pick Poopley? Yes. Um. Uh, so. Bro. Okay, people are saying check Fulton. Check Fulton. Okay. Where is Fulton at? Right here. So, yeah. Warnock is up by 52 in Fulton, but this is early vote. So, it is all early vote. That's the quick disclaimer that people should quickly say. It's all early vote. And, <laughs> man, this is just... This is going to be a massacre in the state of Florida. This is Also, a- uh, Stacey... Stacey Abrams, from what, from what I've seen, like in Fulton County especially, is under is underperforming Raphael Warnock by a significant amount. Yep, there we go. Officially, it has officially flipped. M- Miami Dade has officially flipped to the Republicans. Wait, I'm gonna play a special song. Uh, wait, wait, I'll, I'll just. No, no, no copyrighted crap here. Oh God damn it! You mean the Yovaya Vatar song is copyrighted? Yes. You really think so? Ah, damn it. So that's great sign for Republicans. It's Jover. We're knocking shambles. Um, how, wait a minute. I want to see how Taylor Green is doing. Oh, Flowers is winning. Okay, is that a we're, joke? We were at, the resistors were right. The oh, is that a joke? Is Under one percent of the vote, Flowers is winning by twelve yes. percent. It's over. It's Joe. The GQP has been defeated. Mark, we can project Marcus Flowers will be the next representative. Yeah, it looks like Floyd County is the only one reporting in that district. Uh, let's see here. Virginia district. Virginia 10th. Hunt Cow is winning by 56%. That's less than 1% did, though. Yeah, it's 1%. Only we, we really can't do uh, but much. But Virginia is like and, the election day Vegas first, also right? Um, I don't Virginia is... Virginia is election day first, right? Because I remember in 2020 when Trump was winning Virginia, and we were all shocked. I, and I was yeah. like, it's it's a little bit different. It depends. It depends on the county. How bad? Also, New Hampshire's going? second district is reporting now, but only one percent of the vote. But it's Ann Custer's at seventy six percent. While proper that's Burns probably freaking. We could probably check the Senate race. Uh, we do got votes yeah. in the Senate race. It is from Merrick, Merrimack. That's not a surprise. That's gonna be. Ooh, let's see, Merrimack. Yeah, so this is a county that Trump, Biden won by 10. Um, it's Jover. Walker going to run between the tackles and go for six. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good for Republicans in the state of Kentucky, or I should say the state of Georgia. And they called Kentucky. It's Jover. 
It's Hooray for Rand it's, Paul. I, I really, I, but the resistors told me that Charles Booker would make it competitive. <laughs> resistors' we, hardest more, hit. Oh, if man. we if we give more money to Charles Booker, they'll rescind the call. Yes, so true. <laughs> Ron DeSantis winning Tampa. Is that true? He uh, Pan- only Penilis is in. So I mean, I I saw some stuff in the early vote that there could be a potential Republican victory in Hillsborough, but nothing. I didn't see anything like definite. So yeah, it's not looking. I mean, you look at the counties that are are in. DeSantis is vastly over or yeah overperforming Marco Rubio by a couple points. Uh, let's yeah. see, how's Walker doing? He's doing pretty good actually. He actually is doing pretty good considering this. I believe it is the early vote because George is weird with their uh, voting patterns. But yeah, holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, holy so, what? Whoa. Big, big news. Uh, Charlie Chris is only up by 13 points in the Orange County early and mail-in vote. Oh. Is that Orlando? That's, that's Orlando, Orlando right? Of the oh vote. my gosh, that's a blowout. Oh, boy. It's also 65% of the vote. You were saying, so. look, look at AP. I may just do that. Let me just uh, bring up the AP. Oh, yeah. Looks like um, DeSantis is leading Hillsborough. Okay, let me pull this up. Oh, yep, yeah, DeSantis is, in fact, leading in her Hillsboro. Where? where? Where's the source at? Where is uh, it? New York Times. New York Times. But, he, uh, but he's also losing Pinellas. Charlie Chris is currently leading in Pinellas, but DeSantis is winning Hillsboro. Yeah, where is this freaking Florida race at? I can't find it. Uh, just go uh, on to New York Times, and then do States, and then do Florida. because he, Here's he, the he link if you need it. Okay, found it. I found it. All right. Yeah, there we go. I, I found it. There we go. So, this is what we're looking at. So, currently, in Hillsboro, DeSantis is carrying it with the early vote. It's huge. That is massive. Wow. Hillsboro's voting to the right of Pinellas. Jesus. I think that's just because Charlie Chris yeah, represented prob- much of that's Pinellas. Probably that what would be just such a meme, but I also think that a lot of boomers in Pinellas County vote early compared to, like, Hillsboro even, so... Yeah. But... Oh, well, something interesting is Rubio's losing Hillsboro, but DeSantis is winning it right so now. There is some, there are some Rubio, uh, Rubio, are, that means uh, DeSantis supporters. That is oh, cursed. God. I, imagine, why, who, who, why would you vote Deming DeSantis or yes. Chris Rubio? Yes. Either one doesn't make sense. Yes. It's, that's the answer, James. Yes. All right, we're going to turn off this freaking I think, crap. like, a... There we go. Go. Okay. Early votes going really good. This is actually going really good for Republicans. Like, way better than I thought. What about Duvall? Oh, that's a massacre right now. Look at that. Duvall is voting for DeSantis by four and for Rubio by, let's see, by three. And this is early vote. This is just early vote. Absolute disaster for Democrats in Florida. This is the death of Democrats in Florida. <laughs> we think Palm Beach County flips right. Palm Beach, I think, is gonna flip. If if Broward is this close with just early votes, yeah, this is gonna be a there's, long night. <laughs> there's definitely potential. Yeah, oh, more counties just came in in Florida. Oh, this is how uh, Florida counts votes. Thirty-seven percent in, and we're not even twenty minutes in. Right. Also, St. Lucie. Wow, what a first world country looks like. This is how a first world country counts their votes, everyone. Yeah, and Brazil's votes are up. coming in the second district of Virginia. Yeah, Higgins up sixteen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I gotta go first early uh, vote though. Also in St. Lucie County, Florida, um, DeSantis is leading there by a safe margin, which Biden, which um, Trump won only by a lean margin. Actually, it was a tilt margin. Let's see, Orange County. Yeah, it looks like Orange Orlando may flip. There's a chance Orlando does flip. <laughs> I don't. I, I think. It, I mean, it looks like it's going to be competitive, but I don't think it'll. Let's see here. Ah, oh, gotta hide the bots. Found the bots. There's some bots in chat. Get out of here. Get out. Get out of my house. All right. So yeah, so far looking very good for Republicans. Very, very. Very good. Um, 
DeSantis takes Pinellas. More votes coming in. It just gets worse. It just gets worse. DeSantis is going to win Pinellas. Just oh, not like man. a landslide like other counties, perhaps. Oh, man. So, we're about, you know, I'm glad that these counties are actually reporting, like, bam, citrus, 70% in. Bam. Georgia called for war knock. No, it isn't. Freaking 9% of the vote, and it's mostly from Atlanta. whoop de frickin' do. But yeah, I want to see. So, 56% of the vote. If that is early vote, that is a bit of a underestimation for Warnock. Um, yeah, a lot of these votes are early. That's the problem. You can't really do much analysis when they're this early. So also yeah. Also DeSantis won won back up Pinellas County, so he's now leading at Osceola, Hillsboro, and Pinellas. Oh my he's gonna win he's gonna win the Orlando area. He's gonna win it. Well he's already winning Osceola. He's winning by Sentinel by four. Hey, remember when everybody said that um oh DeSantis is gonna lose in twenty twenty two Death Santis, remember that? <laughs> hey, look at this, Seminole flipped. So to Osceola. The only county that may hold this may be Orange. Maybe. If your Orange is barely holding, then, like, I, I think no matter who the nominee is of the GOP in 24, Republic, Florida's borderline safe Republican. Hey, who is this? Hey, who is this? Me? No, no, no. Who, who, who just joined the chat? Mess in a... I don't know. Who is this? Paleo Web. Oh, okay. Hello oh, yeah. There. Hello, Paleo Web. Yeah, it says peas me in parentheses in the hey, chat. Turn down the audio there, guys. Sorry about that. You got to turn that down. All right. There we go. So, got another person that joined. Hooray. Check. Also, uh, look at the look at the difference between uh, Rubio and DeSantis' vote share in Osceola. Let's see. Osceola? So this implies that DeSantis is doing better with Hispanics and Rubio. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Wow. Well, is it a Demings district? Uh, no, Demings district was um Orange County. No, not, that's um, a Darren not, Soto's district. Okay. Yeah, this is like Darren Soto's district is Oscale. Wait a minute. Hmm. I gotta check. I thought that was Demings district. No, Demings district was um like it was it's like solely Orange County. Orange County. Yeah, it was only in Orange County. Okay, we got votes for Vermont. Um, it's within thirty. I mean, Vermont, I mean, not much is going to happen there. Yeah, if it's within, like, 10, I'll laugh. Um, do we have more exit poll data, I wonder, hopefully? I don't know. I haven't seen any. James, you're supposed to know this. I, I have, well, I haven't James. seen any. So. <laughs> Damn it, James. So, yeah, we're going to get results in Ohio and North Carolina. We're going to get some results. So it's looking pretty good. Looking like a big night for Republicans. Is Levitt up already in New Hampshire? No, she isn't. That's a lie. You're fake 2 news. 2% in right now. Um, Al Lawson is winning by 20 with 25% of the vote in. Are they going to call it for this one? <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a time zone. <laughs> yeah, half of the district isn't even in yet. Are you ready for Rebecca uh, Jones uh, to win? Leon County is where all the votes are coming in. That's where uh, Tallahassee is, I think. So that's yeah, that's not that's not the good then. If it's just for, if it's just uh, Tallahassee. Yeah. Are you ready for Rebecca Jones to win? <laughs> She's gonna defeat GQP Matt Gates and restore sanity to the Florida Panhandle. We're so ready for a Marcus Flowers, Rebecca Jones so team to true. take back Washington. Mar Mar Marcus Flowers, Rebecca Jones, 2024. You are speaking my ticket, sir. So true. Okay, um, Levin is gaining, yeah. So it looks like we are we are looking pretty good. It is early, so we can't really make a final assessment. Why? Hey, With what? less than one percent. With less than one percent of the vote, and um, Russell, Fl Russell Fry is down to Daryl Scott. But it's it's like one hundred votes. Hmm. Anyone want to play um, Uno with me? No, we're playing freaking. We have an election night. <laughs> we have a big election night, dude. Oh yeah, we're gonna play Uno instead. Votes before Unos, folks. Anna Polana. Whoa, wait, what? 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 What did I hear about this? 
What district is that? Did I hear that correctly? Let's see here. Hosea White for two. Hunt Cow leads by five points, 2% in. It is a bit early, so I can't really make any judgment about that. Yeah, Florida's already at R plus nine for DeSantis. Uh, Florida 13th, where is that? Florida's 13th. I forgot, where is um, that? That's in Pinellas. Uh, that's Pinellas. Right. That's, um, Luna yeah, is, oh, the Republicans losing by two. With 71% in. Yeah, Eric Lynn is leading. Oh, no. That's bro. just weird. Oh, no. And this is in, I, I this think is that in what happens is that the, um, the um, in-person votes save her, but that is not the best margin for Luna. Yeah, that's not um, good. Yeah, because DeSantis is leading there by four, and Rubio is leading there by two. <laughs> the DeSantis Val voter. <laughs> that hurts. Oh, Luna just took the lead. Never oh, mind. Oh, she did? She just took the lead? Where? I don't see it. I need to know who the Dennis DeSantis voters are. Luna up by 1%. Right, this this map kind of sucks there, guy. This map is not updating for me. That's kind of a bummer. Okay. Nancy Mace is down right now with 1% of the vote in. Inshallah, it continues. <laughs> Trust the plan, mates. Ernie Andrews, 2022. So, yeah, this, this is, like, broken. Whatever. Okay, so... We're about to get results in the state of North Carolina and Ohio. All right, let's see if they call for Bud and Vance. <laughs> They're not going to. They're going to wait like six hours. Then they may are you ready for? Are you ready for the Tim Ryan to be Ohio's next senator and Sherry Beasley to be North Carolina's next Tim senator? Tim Ryan is the second most disgusting Senate candidate this entire cycle. <laughs> I don't know a single Democrat that actually likes him. Uh, name the first. The Fetterman? Fetterman, obviously. True. Okay, fair enough. Fertite! Oh, quiet you. John hey. Fetter woman. More like John Fetter non-binary transgender. You know, John Festerman. John Fetter Festerman. All I'm gonna say is marriage is between a Fetterman and a Fetter woman. <laughs> oh, God. So I gotta... I gotta get this up. I don't know why this governor map is not... You know, I, I hate... This is the one thing I have about New York Times this year. They don't freaking have it nice and easy for the governor's races. Oh, no, bro. You know who else isn't nice and easy for the governor races? Oh, quiet, you. At oh, this you. point, I'm pretty sure Ronda Sanders is going to do better than Jeb Bush's. Ronda Satan. Okay. Ronda Chad. Okay, come on. Ooh, I mean... Ooh. What? Who are you booing, rap? I don't Me know. Or, or both of us? Oh no, bro. Okay, I got this back up, everybody. Sorry. I got. Uh, we have to use CNN. I'm very sorry. We have to use CNN. They're the only ones that have a decent freaking governor thing. So, we got South Carolina that should not be that competitive. Okay. So, we're going to look here. So, yeah, freaking Tampa is going to flip. That is. I never expected Harrellsboro to flip again. I honestly didn't. Before, of course, Seven. the cycle. Um, and now polls have closed in North Carolina announced. and Ohio. Yeah, polls have officially West closed. Too. In West Virginia, okay. So we got more results oh, yeah, coming in. Uh, yeah. Let's see. God, this is actually... When CNN has a better election results than you, you know you screwed up. Um, let's see, the Senate is about 63% in. So Kemp is doing a lot better than Fulton. I'm not really surprised by that. How much is uh, how much are uh, Kemp and Walker losing Fulton by respectively? So Kemp is in, is losing it by around forty points, forty three, while uh, Herschel he's losing it by around fifty two. Wow, like nine point improvement. That is like a nine point difference. So there may be more Kemp or uh, Warnock <laughs> voters than I thought. But yeah, I don't think it'll be enough to save Warnock. So we got necessarily. So North Carolina should have a big vote dump right now. This is going to be the state that we finally, you know, we finally get something. Because Florida, it's kind of inclination that yeah, this is going horrible for Democrats already. If they're losing Duval, if they're going to lose Orange County, I mean, 
or if they're losing Oscar Yolo, which Biden won by, which was fifty six forty two. So like, what's that? But is that Biden plus fifteen sixteen? Yeah, that's not good. So New Hampshire, it's going to go Republican, obviously for the governorship. Senate race, we just got to see. That's going to be the close one. Osceolo may flip. So will Orange. DeWine W. That's not a surprise. Looks like Crest is up 8 in Palm Beach with only 69% in. So nice. it could flip. All right, so we have a projection to make. Ohio's governor's race it will be Republican. That's not a really... Wow, what a surprise. Wow. Hooray for Mike DeWine. Boo. Hooray. Um, South Carolina, we can also make that call, I think. I think that's fair to say. Palm Beach has come in. People are saying, "Yeah, it has." It's fifty six, um, fifty four, forty six. Wow. For Charlie Chris, so that could that that definitely has potential to flip. Yeah, that's going to be interesting if that's true. It, oh, I mean, it's New York Times, so I assume um, it's true. You guys are pronouncing. Yeah, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong. That's my mistake. Also, I don't think it's possible for um, Orange County to flip to DeSantis, but it is 53-46 with 91% of the vote. All right, so Virginia's second, 11% in. Kiggins is up by 18 or 16. Osceola. Yeah, yeah that's my mistake. I I am really bad with pronouncing. I'm just being honest. I'm terrible. It's, it's Osceola, pretty Osceola. much. Yeah, I'm just not that good at pronouncing stiff. Okay. So New Hampshire, we're not getting much in. Not really at all. So who knows? Ohio. It's Ohio. The great state of Ohio. So yeah, we're looking pretty good. Overall, so far tonight, it's looking pretty good for Republicans from what we've seen. Now, things can absolutely change. We just got to see. I'm just waiting for North Carolina. There's going to be a big vote dump there. I, w- I think it's going to be an early vote, right? So don't freak out. It's early vote. It's going to be early uh, vote, but it's going to be like... Yeah, it's going to be overwhelmingly Democrat then. Well, what if, like, what wins it? Yeah, look at... A, I mean, Florida District 9. Um, Darren Soto is only up by 8. District That's 9? That's pathetic. And he's against... Also, like a and, uh, and Max, Max, Max Frost Whoa! is only up by Max Frost is only up by 20. Okay, these are some fairly Biden-friendly seats. So let's look at this. For example, in Florida District 9, all right, that's pretty much all in. I think we can make the, or no. 79% in. Florida 10 is more in. It's 87% in, and the Democrats up by around 20 points or so. Okay, how much did the seat vote for, uh, let's see. Did it vote for, for Biden? I'll check. I'll check. No, I Hold got on. It. It, voted for Biden, it. it voted for Biden by 32 and a half. Holy shit. That's around a 10, 12, 12 point shift towards Republicans. So do some basic math. If that's nationally, if that's a national swing of 12 points, ooh. You're talking. That would be a, wouldn't that be like an R plus H generic that's ballot? That's about an R plus H generic ballot, if that's the case. That's a bigger than like how the national environment was in 2021 with Virginia and New Jersey. Wow. That's... Or in, or in tw- I think it's bigger than 2010. So, talking about Virginia, 17% of the votes in in House District 10, and Hung Cow still leading by two points. That's going to be a close wow. one. Uh, let's see here. Duvall is going to be blood red, it looks like. Um, I mean, we, we don't have to say much more about the Florida stuff. It's it's Jover in that seat. Oh, uh, yes. North Carolina is finally coming in. Okay, the it's House finally districts. coming in. Uh, this is a Senate race. This will be early vote. So don't panic about, oh, it's, we're down in frickin', you know, Wadaga County or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Beasley's currently Wadaga. winning, but, like, Lake County and, like, Durham are currently the the big ones putting wow, votes. Wow, Beasley's um, winning Durham. I'm very shocked. Yeah, yeah the suburbs, Ohio. like, really haven't come in yet. Yeah, these are early vote anyway, so it's like, okay. Yeah. We're, we're going to worry about and it. And Charlotte came in. Just wait for the rest of the state, because, like, wow, West North Carolina Democrat. is not reporting at all. Wow, it's Democrat? I'm shocked. Look at my it's shock actually face. not very good for Beasley, if I'm honest, considering this is an early vote. Yeah, and it's, not, like, mostly... Yeah. It's Wake County, which is a county I may or may not be familiar with. Which is, like... In, can, how much is uh, Beasley winning Wake by? By Wake? Uh, she is winning it by... Wake. Where are you at? Uh, she's winning it's by 38. 30%. 38%. That's not that good for yeah. early votes. And it's 45%. So it's around 55% of the electorate's election day vote. Okay, that's... <laughs> Wasn't Biden at like seventy eight percent for early vote in twenty twenty? It was six. 
I was, thought so. Yeah, I don't know. The Legend of Zelda, so true. Um, so with what's happening in North Carolina, you look at the house races, there are some important ones. North Carolina won. Don Davis is beating Sandy Smith by 18 with 25% of the vote in. And it looks like it's only the Democrat parts that are in, in that district. Yeah, like um, Greenville's coming in. That's like a college town area. Um, expect that to like decline. Okay, that is not the... Uh, let's see, Ron DeSantis winning Jackson by 11? Wow! Rubio's winning by 9. So I want to assume he's that far off. Let's see. Yep, Duval County is going to DeSantis by over 11. This is... And also, if you, uh, orange, orange flipped. You know, orange guys, flipped. Uh, we got breaking. Orange news. flipped. Orange officially flipped. Orlando's going over Republican. Looks like. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! It looks like. I, I don't see it. This is the landslide of the century. No, I, I mean, is orange flipped. Orange, Seminole, and everything in the Orlando area is going blood red. Looks like Tampa's going to flip. I mean, again, could this change? Yes. Is, is there a chance for some early vote? Maybe, but. It's not looking too 73% good. Seventy-three percent in the also, same as the lead is still a big deal. Yeah. Also, uh, Leon. Also in Leon County, Charlie Crist only has a nineteen-point lead. I think that's where Tallahassee is, and he only has a nineteen-point lead. Oh, that may be. Oh, oh that's twenty. That's about twenty-point lead. Okay. So that's not looking too good. That is not looking too good for Democrats whatsoever so far. Again, that could change. That could absolutely okay. change. So, New yeah. York Times still has Orange County as Chris. Okay. Florida ninth. Soto is up by eight points with 84% in. This is a Biden plus 17 seat. So th- we're seeing a trend here. It's about a nine to 10 point shift to Republicans in all of Florida for all these house races. That's what it's looking like. Yeah. Apply that now. Oh, wow. The, the 28th is 62 to 38 right now, and that was like. That was like Trump plus three. Yeah, yeah, that, that was. These are not good numbers at all. Did DeSantis win by twenty points, uh, or am I crazy? He's gonna win by a lot, way more but than I thought. But is it gonna be like? Oh, he's up by DeSantis eleven against Chris. Than, okay, everyone, I have a question. Do you guys think that DeSantis wins by more than Newsom? That would be amazing. He may. I mean, we the Panhandle's still not in, and a lot of Republican counties are still not reporting, and there's a lot of it's early vote. Do some basic math. <laughs> Plus, I'm pretty sure the panhandle has not come in yet. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that's pan- like, yeah, no, it doesn't close till 8 o'clock. Cl- like, when 8 o'clock hits, all the networks will fall in. All hell breaks loose. Or immediately statewide, and that's Hold when on. it really starts to get good. So, uh, good news, everybody. Okay, this is funny. Hung Cow is winning Loudon. Yeah, but I think it's early. It is very early in that district. Yeah, it is early, and early results in Virginia generally kind of favor Republicans a bit more. Especially in federal races, unless I'm mistaken. So, yeah. Kemp is doing better in rural Georgia than DeSant, uh, than Walker. I'm not really surprised. Kemp is doing better. I'm not really that surprised. I'm going to laugh my ass off if... Uh... Hold on. That's so, yeah, there... It what the hell is happening in North Carolina? It's early vote. That's all early, early vote. vote. It's literally just Charlotte and Raleigh. Yeah, that's not. There's really you can't correlate on that. Well, uh, Bud, Bud gained like three points, so it's ticking up. Yeah, so all the Republican stuff is coming, and you could tell these counties. And like, Appalachian, North Carolina is finally reporting. Yeah, let's see. And Ohio's coming. Vance up eighty two eighteen, <laughs> even though it's just coming. early vote. Yeah, this is a complete disaster so far. I mean, <laughs> we're we're seeing about a nine to ten point swing in the generic ballot right now. Based on some yeah. of the house seats I'm seeing, or uh, nine, nine to ten points swing in the generic ballot towards Republicans, so about an eight point generic ballot. For so Anna Polina Luna R with. Plus... Oh, sorry, um, if, I mean I was just gonna say if it's an R plus eight generic ballot, that would be really big because that's. Oh, you're talking I... about a lot of states flipping. Beto O'Rourke is is expected to announce his bid for 2024 presidential race tomorrow. Are you serious? <laughs> Oh, no, he's uh, kidding. He gonna primary so, Biden? For, for everyone assuming about Anna uh, Paulina Luna, uh, with like 90% in, she's up by 6, according to New York Times. She's probably going to win that seat by like 8 to 10. I'm actually surprised she underperformed. I thought that the 15th was likely, and that the 13th was safe, but I guess not. Hold on. 
Oh, in the 13th, yeah, in the 15th, Worley up 14 points. Oh, yeah. Ohio results have come in. Uh, Franklin County okay. and Columbia. County. Okay, that's a big County. one. That's a big one. Okay. Um, oh, my God. We're going to see... What? What um, in the world? Santos has a 50,000 vote lead in Miami-Dade currently. Yeah, that's... And it's only going to get gr bigger. It's I, only going to... Yeah, Stark, Stark County came in. Uh, it's a Ryan uh, DeWine County right now. Which is where Canton, Ohio is. Vance probably takes it. It's still early out there. Yeah, it is quite early. Um, for some reason, Bob Lada is up, even though Wyatt Tomlin is clearly going to defeat. <laughs> so yeah, we're looking we're looking like an R plus. I think if this holds up, this is an R plus seven generic ballot. If this is holding up, I mean, you, how can anybody say that's not a good that's not a good sign for Democrat or a good sign for Republicans? I mean, I I think the expectation was that um, Democrats were gonna get massacred everywhere, but in Florida they would get just annihilated by like insane historical margins. This right? Is, this is even worse than I thought. I mean, the same this is not like a Jeb two thousand and two landslide. This is like a W nineteen ninety eight landslide yeah. from DeSantis. The state's up by fourteen without the panhandle in. And with this is mostly early votes, right? Yeah, there's still there's some counties that are fully in. I think, for example, I think. My mother just walked in through the front door and started crying. And I heard my dad ask her, what's wrong? And she said, that thing is right. Democracy has died. Democracy is in peril tonight. <laughs> Beto's going to okay. lose. So, this okay. is beyond Here, security. Please here's me. my proof that we're in a big wave. So DeSantis is winning Lake County by 33%. This is 92% in. So most of the votes are in. Okay. Compare that to 2020. Trump won it by 20 that's a 12 to 13 point shift there. Or 10 point shift at least. 10 to 13. Yeah. Historical white liberals. So we're we're looking at I think an R plus seven generic ballot. Yeah, and Lake is uh, Lake County is like Trump country. Yeah. It is like it is it is a county that like Trump more than other Republicans. So that's very yeah, good that's for Rubio. And, and you look at the you look at the net votes. Live. You look at the net votes, the Sanders. Did you just say where gamers live? Hey. Uh, retired boomers live. Okay. Uh, uh, didn't Lake County the, vote for a uh, Laurel Boomer too? I don't know, but point is Lake County Voted for Trump by forty two thousand. DeSantis is up by almost forty seven thousand in Lake DeSantis County. DeSantis is up fourteen yeah. points average right now. DeSantis is going to win by a larger uh, margin than Newsom at this point. Also, uh, Osceola County just flipped to uh, just flipped to Rubio. It's happening. Yeah, and, and, yeah, now, and now and now and now Rubio is leading by. Almost ten. He's getting. He's um at nine point eight, and DeSantis is at I think is that twelve or three, oh, twelve or eleven. So we're looking. I mean, this is way better than I look. I I thought this was gonna be a red wave, but this is like a red torrent. I mean, a red massacre. This is a red biblical flood. So true. So, and but again, it. All the early votes in, in Palm Beach County and Christmas all we can hope for. Seven and a half okay, days. Palm Beach may flip. Palm Beach may actually flip. All we can hope for now is that 2024 is going to be our 2008. It may. I mean, this is just I a filibuster proof majority. Well, I never thought that House margin we can pass so much stuff. Look, Imagine I, if we have a Senate lead of 70 points but, in 2025. Do people understand this? Orange County voted for Biden by 24, okay? And look at this. He, DeSantis is winning by 8. But Seminole County, DeSantis is winning by 4. Trump won, uh, lost by 2. So he's doing way better in Orange, where Orlando is. So, what did you say the margin was in Orlando right now? It's Plus eight. DeSantis is winning Orange County right now. That's where Orlando is by eight. On New York Times, it says he's losing. I'm on CNN because screw in ah. New York Times. Yeah, DeSantis just got another little bump in his numbers, and now it looks like, yeah, it's 56.2 to 43.2. Can we yeah. just appreciate how Ron DeSantis killed an entire political party? 
Yeah, it's, no, it's, 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 it's DeSantis uh, mainly, but also Trump, Rick Scott, and Marco Rubio. Yeah, I actually posted more. a tweet about this. That's like, uh, also, you're the POV, you're the last thing the Florida Democrats ever see. And it's like uh, DeSantis, Rubio, Scott, and obviously uh, Trump. And also, DeSantis is at 3 million votes now, and he's at exactly, and he, he, he's passed a 13 point lead. He's, this is going to be, he's going to win by probably 20 points. Oh, like he won it. He won it, I think, by less than a percent in 2018, and now he's at like R plus 13. Remember when everybody said that DeSantis was unpopular and was in trouble? Wait, where that mixer poll, that one poll, the Matrix, the listener group, Chris plus three last week. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, remember? Remember that poll really early on where they miss where they misspelled Chris, Charlie Chris as Charlie Christ? Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Like Chris plus 13. Let's see here. Uh, Gamer Max for five. DeSantis has killed March for Our Lives and replaced it with March for Our Freedom. R plus seven is better than ninety four. Yeah, this is. We're looking at R plus seven generic ballot. This holds up. I mean, that I I thought R plus five. I thought R plus eight's better. The best case scenario. That may not be enough. It, I mean. Hey, Rap. Didn't I say we would have an R plus six point five to R point seven generic ballot? No, oh, quiet you. Uh, 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 Igno come on, acknowledge it. I said it, I said it. I will never yes, acknowledge Yes, you did it. say it. We're acknowledging you. I I'm not acknowledging you. You're fake news. You live under a rock. You <laughs> live in Wisconsin. Okay, fair enough. But point is... You live in a place worse than a rock. You live in Wisconsin. Uh, people are saying hey, Chris... they had good burgers there. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Chris West is winning? Georgia second? Wait. He is, he's leading. Whoa! Oh my gosh, 52 to 48. 10 of, 10 What's of the in? What's in, though? Okay, uh, that's 10%. A, it's Republican parts of the district, okay. When, uh, yeah, it's gonna be also, close, though, I think. Also, Summit County is in in Ohio, and it's also a Ryan DeWine County. Oh, of course, there's also, He's only a 53 to 47 also, world percent in. Also, Lorraine County, which was like Clinton Trump County, is voting heavily for Democrats right now. But well, it's only early vote. vote. Ohio's yeah, one of the literally one percent. Bad news. Update: DeSantis is now ahead by fifteen points. Oh my! I never Insane. thought this is gonna be my biggest. You know, I, I'm gonna share a black belt. You guys ready to hear it? No. Bad news for Don Bolduc. Uh Hassan wins Bristol. Uh, Gene Shaheen only won the, uh, which is a town in New Hampshire. Gene Shaheen only won it over uh, the Republican nominee in 2020 by six votes. So that's not a very good sign for Bolduc. It's 8% and we can... We oh, don't it's 8% in? Right there. Oh my god, it's 8% in. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a big indicator. Wait, 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 wait. That town is 8% in? That's no, the state like. is 8% in. I know, but that's still like the town Which, is in. What township is it? It's like Bristol, New Hampshire, which is oh. like a pretty... It's not a good sign, but we'll see. Well, where is I it? still have hope. I'm Let's kind of, see. I'm kind of smooth brain when it comes to, you know, townships. Manchester, here we are. No, wait. I'm dumb. Okay, whatever. I'll find it eventually, but... So, yeah, Florida's blood red, man. Florida's gone. That's not a shocker, really. But this, the margins is kind of the shocker. Not that they're winning. Yeah. Florida's a 23rd district is starting to tighten. It's 56-43 right now with 66% um, of the vote in. That's going to be, wow. I mean, that was the one race I was seriously reconsidering after hearing their Joe, vote numbers. I mean, yeah, could Joe Bud win? There's a serious shot. Yeah. But to be close. Ten minutes until the panhandle comes in, ten minutes oh. until they call Florida. Oh, God, that's going to just be... <laughs> Yeah, why, why haven't they called it yet? DeSantis is at almost a 14 point. The panhandle isn't in, they wait till the panhandle yeah, comes to call they, it. Because you never know, like, there's. Oh, Tallahassee may have something, but. Oh, no, Tallahassee's in. It's like the know, Matt Gates district. I, I know, I'm just saying Tallahassee, like, you know, like, oh, we, we Gates found. Gates will win by a million points. Trust the plan. Yeah, we may lose it. Who knows? Um, So we're looking decent. Oh, yeah. We get results for Mehmet Oz in 10 minutes, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm now looking forward to that. James, your day of reckoning has <laughs> arrived. And there's gonna... Like... Also, I'm like, gonna most of Michigan comes in in 10 minutes. Michigan. <laughs> I think Pennsylvania and Michigan are the big ones to look out for. 
Yeah, Maestriano is um, really concerning, and Dixon's going to be interesting. Well, what if he actually pulls us off? Maestriano? Maestriano? Yeah, yeah, I've been saying I think Maestriano is going to win. He's going to win by a very, very small margin, but I do think I, Maestriano I is going to win. I would be very surprised if it's within four. Okay. And I'm for- look, look, with the Trafalgar poll, with him down by six, if this is an R plus 10 generic ballot, he's going to win by like two points. Okay, I'm looking at some vote numbers in New Hampshire. This may be a bit concerning. There may be some issues here. Yeah, um, I maybe I was I. You think I was unfortunately right? Or I'm starting. Not? To, yeah, it's okay. So Littleton, New Hampshire, if the the map broke. Point is, it's voting for bold uh, has it by five and with the Biden by two. I mean, it's ninety five percent in. I mean, it's not everything. I mean, there there could be things that happen, but okay, wrap. Rap, rap, rap. Look at Virginia's 10th. Why? What happened now? 17% in. Hunt Cow's up by 14. Wow. It's it's still going to be anybody's game, I think, there. Okay, well, CNN just broke. (laughs) CNN's broken. Thank you very much. All right, the first district in Ohio is coming. Steve Shabbat is leading by 14 points. Good news. Oh, yeah. If he's winning already... Big, big news. You know. <laughs> also, uh, Madi- Madison Gizio to Gilbert is down right now to Amelia Sykes. Holy God. Hey, Holy if, you, God. if you're on New York Times, look at the um the shift from 2020 map for the Senate. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. Okay, that's impressive. All right, all right, look all right. right. Pably, Paleo, I gotta ask you, uh, PZ, Pably, I gotta ask you too, because I asked the other three earlier. Okay. What is the wild card you guys think won't happen whatsoever, but want it to happen regardless? Like your literal hail mary, everything against the odds race is one for us. Honestly, okay, like Governor. Virginia ten. <laughs> you want I mean, home Yeah, you Vietnamese always stick together. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm not even Vietnamese. I know you're Filipino, and then that's the joke. I guess the other Hail Mary race would be Washington Senate. Wait a minute, you I just what? I just realized you know what I want. What? I, Paleo Zoomer knows what I want. He and I are on the same page, so. Yeah. I just Easy. read Maryland. Cox for Maryland. Maryland <laughs> shall uh, not fall. Okay, so is New Hampshire really going to Maryland? Be the ne- no, Maryland needs big Cox energy. I oh, hey, Cox is going to lose by twenty five. You not. Optics Cox check. is going to lose by like 25. <laughs> but Cox he's is gonna... going to lose by like 8 or 9. Hey, have some optics no. here there, guys. Have optics. No. Cox is going to lose by over 20. But it's oh, not going to drop. Oh. It's going to be closer than that. It's Florida's right. currently R plus Look, 13. I have, friends, I have friends who do contracting in Baltimore and Hartford counties. He said that there were Cox signs everywhere. I feel I we can all agree the ideal scenario for uh, Maryland this year would have been Hogan running for Senate and then Hogan and Cox campaigning together because Cox really seems to have energized the role voter base. Whether or not that's actually going to have an effect on who goes out and vote from the suburbs, we have yet to see, but based off of what I have seen, the suburbs will actually vote for Cox just because of how terrible Westmore is. So, a big also, issue here. Okay, we have... Also, I, well, go on. also DeSantis is at 13.9 lead now. Yeah, and the panhandles would have come in. I mean, it just... I, this is shocking. Well, what's happening in Florida? I mean, Florida, you shocked the world. Florida in 2010 was blue as fuck. Yeah, like, Rick Scott only eked out, like, what? Half a vote? Yeah, he eked out, like, half a... He had eked out half a point in 2010. Yeah, oh. I'm sorry. I said half a vote. I mean, half a point. Uh, yeah, half a vote. Okay, nothing on Ohio yet. Nothing important, at least. You know, Chris Sununu is currently losing by twelve, while Boldick's losing by thirty-seven. Yeah, that's that's forty-one percent just... reporting in North Carolina, and we're still down twelve points because of early votes in Maylands. Uh, let's see here. New Hampshire Senate will be a key race. It's not looking good for Boldick. That wait, I will say. Wait, look at wait, look at New York Times Highlands County on the governor race. For what? Uh, for New York Times, um, you mean the Highlands yeah. County? Highlands County. Look at who they're Which voting county? for. Which state is that? 
Florida. Florida. Where's I noticed the, the same thing in the Senate map what too. What the? That's yeah. that's an error. Okay. No, it's a libertarian. Libertarians are winning <laughs> Highlands County. It's, I it's love reporting errors. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I just flipped to DeSantis. I told you. But all all the libertarian all, all the libertarian votes stayed there. And just flipped to DeSantis because they added new votes. And they have called the ninth district of Virginia. Tanner, what a surprise! Hun Cow is close. Okay, he's down by fourteen, or he's down by six with forty-one percent in. There's a shot here. Yeah. Um, apparently, Spanberger is outperforming in Culpepper, which is pretty worrying. That's strange. They are freaking the fuck out right now about Walker. Bruh, it's 23% in, and most of it's from Atlanta. Everybody needs to chill for like five milliseconds. No, no, journalists are freaking out about how well Walker's doing in Atlanta. Look at the video. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so this is now an R plus fourteen before the panhandle even. They're goes. freaking out about Walker. They're freaking out about DeSantis. The, look, R I mean, plus fourteen. I mean, the fact of the matter is, it's not you know New Hampshire's only, the only bright spot for Democrats right now. The rest is just terrible. Like we, like I said, we should have nominated Chuck Morris for Senate. And yep. New I, I think it's gonna be a lot closer than this. I mean, they have Sununu down by seven right now. Do I think that's going to hold? I doubt it. I hope Baldick wins, because I'm not going to be an asshole and say, oh, we deserve to lose it. But all I will say is I do think Morse would have won if, oh, no. in, the event, in the event Baldick loses. Fetterman yeah. said the line. Fetterman oh. said the line. Festerman. I, post, I posted it. Not only did he say the line, he posted. He made like a graphic of the line. Stay in line. That's like the double whammy. All right, Oz plus ten. That's it. <laughs> well, I mean, my uh, prediction has always has been Oz plus six for the past two weeks or so. Reasonable. I don't, I just don't think I just don't see Fetterman winning at this point. Oh, the Pope has finally admitted. All right, and votes are. Well, I mean, I actually, the I actually district. never, I actually never thought Fetterman was going to win. I thought always that going to pick up steam. I just thought it was going to be Oz plus two at Fetterman's peak. Yeah, I never thought Fetterman would win either. Um, I, from the moment that I knew that Kathy Barnett had lost a primary and that it was going to be McCormick or Oz, I knew that Republicans were going to hold on to that seat in spite of the brutal primary. People are saying predict that just flipped on uh, Pennsylvania flipped on predicted. Oh, check. Oh, yeah, of course. They always flip on freaking... And we're getting new poll closings in the states of Pennsylvania. That's a big one. Alabama. There's one in Missouri, Kansas, Rhode Island. Rhode Island. That's a big one. Fung Mentum. Yeah. And yes. Illinois. Alex. That's going to be the one I'm fascinated about. No. And Pennsylvania also, don't forget Michigan. Tudor Dixon. Oh, that's right, Dixon. It's Tudor Tuesday. That's a lame joke. Anyways. Polls closed officially it's in Pennsylvania. Come on, Mastriano. I borrowed oh. the Tudor Tuesday line from Redline Politics. Come on, we need Mastriano. Come on, we need some me magic here. What if what if the Amish vote for Fetterman because Oz is a Muslim, but Oz's margins in Philadelphia are enough to <laughs> carry him to victory? Meanwhile, oh. the Amish vote for Mastriano <laughs> because he's a real Christian patriot. <laughs> oh man! Predict the crash. The entire, the entire, the entire, like Amish community is just the definition of the Fetterman Mastriano voter. Doesn't Mastriano like represent the Amish country in the Senate, uh, State Senate? There's parts he is. He's, uh, yep. The Oz chance the Amish, the Amish on their way to not vote for a Jew or for a Muslim for statewide <laughs> office. Oh my Oop. God! Things are chaotic right now. Okay. Shit. Connecticut and Maryland have come in. They did? Where? Well, On I mean, NYT for course. Senate. Oh, they called it. Oh, yeah. Boom! Yeah, they called it from Blumenthal and Van Hollen. So we could call... Called Maryland for more. Can we call I Alabama? Yeah, they called Alabama and Oklahoma. Okay, these are the Both races Oklahoma's. we could call. The, these were what we could oh, call. They also called uh, Illinois. 
I'm not calling Illinois Connecticut just yet because there's been some movement that I just want to see some stuff. Bro, Al Lawson is losing without the panhandle being in. That is <laughs> CNN just so called it for Rubio. This is not a drill. CNN Woo! called it for Rubio. Woo! Hooray! Yeah! Illinois hasn't been called by Fox yet, so... I'm waiting. Yeah. Just yeah, cope not... and seethe. Cope and seethe. Yeah, Florida has just been called by CNN for Ooh. Rubio. Also, Florida's now at R plus 14 and a half. We're getting pretty close that's, with R plus 15, Florida. That's an asker right there. I mean, Paris is saying Virginia second and Virginia seventh look good for Republicans. Yeah, it does. Virginia second, Kiggins up by 16 with 34% in. That's pretty good. Um... Virginia 7th is going to come down to Princeville and County turnout because there's like a county called Cul Culpeper, which is like 90, 95% in. And Spanberger is mashing Biden's margin. So that's not very good. Let's see here. Tech but, let's see here. Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go on. It looks like Republicans have won the county government in Pinellas County. Wow. They have flipped it. I mean, wow. Okay, we're going to a bunch of results now. Okay. Shit's about to hit the fan. <laughs> this is where things get. Ge this is where things get beefy when it comes to the results. All right, so there's been results in Texas. Um, I want to so, see. So uh, Florida twenty third. That Democrats are now down to eleven, and there's still like thirty percent of the vote left. Where? So it's Florida twenty third. The Moskowitz. Yeah. So CNN calls Florida governor for Ron DeSantis Woo! by fifteen points. Woo. Uh, everybody got called it. Everybody called it. Palm Beach also flipped. Some, tex some Texas Beach? house races are in. Palm no, Beach County is flipped. Yep. Palm, Palm Beach, Beach flipped. Wow. Flipped. I'm not seeing okay, it. Okay, I feel, I feel like Moskowitz is going to lose now. Palm Beach oh, County bad. has flipped. It's officially flipped. Oh my gosh. If that's the case. Wow. It it's over for them. It's, it's over for the gone. Democrats. Look at this map, though. Who would ever thought that Orange County would have voted to the right of Seminole? What is this universe we live in? Uh, let's see here. Palm Beach, that Rubio is- and, Rubio and DeSantis are like the perfect Cuban energization ticket. I'm utterly sure. shocked right now. What's and, happening and also the suburb- like you, I mean, you also can't forget the suburban stuff in like Hillsborough. Oh, we got results in Pennsylvania! Allegheny County, 15% for Mehmet Oz. Let's wait, fifteen percent. But this is like fifteen. Wait, wait. Allegheny. Fifteen. Fifteen percent for Allega in Allegheny. Twenty-seven percent in, and it's fifteen percent for Oz. But this is early vote. It's a okay. The oh. Monday will come. Actually, wait a minute. This is Alleg. Ooh. Remember, Oz was supposed to win the early vote by twenty statewide, or lose. He was only supposed to win twenty percent statewide. He's at fifteen Allegheny. Hmm, intriguing, I may say. Also, Texas has some results in uh, da Dallas County. Of, uh, um, Greg Abbott's leading in Tarrant County with 59% of the vote in, wow. and Greg Abbott's leading by a safe margin in Denton with 69%, and it's a nice. lead margin in Tarrant. Um, Travis County, Beto O'Rourke is up 75-24 with 61%. Don't mention his name vote. around me. Robert Francis O'Rourke. Yes, yeah, say his name the right way, please. Let everyone Francis. know who the Irish Holden is gaining in each name person. Name the Irishman. He's not Hispanic. Name the Irishman. I have Hispanic friends in Pennsylvania, New York, and California who hate Beto. <laughs> okay, yeah. this is... I'm looking at some results. Okay, so we're looking at some results from Ohio. This is from northeastern Ohio. This is blue-collar part of the state. This is this is the Obama-Trump voter. As Chipola went to Trump by 23, currently, with just early vote, Ryan is up by 7. And this is his part of the state. Ooh. Uh, Boldick. I don't, Boldick's not it's looking It's real. Too Boldick's not looking too Red hard. Cleveland, Vance up 14 in Cleveland. Okay, we got results from Allegheny for the uh, governorship. Mastran was at 10.5%. Oof. There are going to be a lot, and that's in the early vote, yeah. so if, there's going to be a lot of Aw Shapiro voters. Yeah, there's going to be a, that's, I can't believe it was that much. Okay, this is funny. Voter is all in Chester County. That's what the makeup is, basically. 
Mike Doyle is doing better than Schaffer in Pittsburgh. I'm That's not surprised. Funny. The twelfth is voting to the right of the, the seventeenth. Um. Yeah, it's looking like it's a pretty good night. Now we're getting some results from Southern Texas slowly. We're gonna get some results. Yeah. Also. Okay. Who said my name? I don't know who you are. I don't who the know. hell? I'll, also, I? also, I said uh, I was saying also. Uh, Jennifer Wexton's only up by four with um half of the vote. In. That's gonna be a close one. It is. I think like it's Wexton is the favorite, but it's not. She's not. And the also, overwhelmingly uh, favorite. Darren Soto is only up 53 to 47. Um, and, oh, wait, um, Jared Moskovitz is only up by 11 right now with 71% in. Where? Uh, Florida's 23rd. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right, yeah. And also Lois Philadelphia has come in. Philadelphia? Ohio was just called for Tim Ryan. What? Shut up. Philadelphia. <laughs> Mem- <laughs> Mehmet Oz at 6% of the early vote of Phil. I'm not shocked. <laughs> Kansas is coming in. Kansas, wow! Like, like seriously. Well, Kansas. the governor's race is important. Yeah, I know. I mean, just I can't believe that's even talked about. But uh, okay. and there's also Sharice Davis this year. So we're looking pretty good in Ohio. We're looking pretty good in North Carolina. Georgia. That's not. Uh, I mean, this is an early vote right now, and. Not that good. Not that good for Democrats. Now for the governor's race, uh, let's see here. Oklahoma has some votes, I would think. Okay. CNN we're... has just called Georgia's 14th for Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> they just All called that it. Money wasted on that is surprising. Jover. Yeah. Wait, it's... wait. Look at a New York. Wait. Look at New York Times' numbers. It's 57-43. <laughs> it's a Jover. NYT Marcus has Howard the House at 76% chance of Republicans now. That's it? Okay, we're looking... Yeah, we're looking decent. We're looking pretty decent. Pretty decent. Wexon is up by 600 votes. Wait, what? Okay. It, it looks like it's only 4,200. Apparently, Wexon... Philadelphia... Uh, what? Hold on. Time out. We, we lost connection at... We lost connection, everybody. There we go. We're back. Yeah? What? Where? Philco. Philly County. Philly, Philly County. County. Yeah, I'm looking. Philadelphia what? County, Pennsylvania. What? You don't see it? I, I see it. Mehmet Oz at 6%. What? 92% veteran. Yeah, that's it's early over. vote. It's over. Mehmet Med- <laughs> Oss has lost. It's over. It's Jover. Brian Lewis has been dethroned as king of election where Mehmet Monday is now... Anyone who has ever celebrated Mehmet Monday will be executed by Red Eagle Tribunal. We are now forced to celebrate Fetterman Fridays at gunpoint. Oh, boy. <laughs> Fetterman Fridays. Let's see here. Um, yeah, this is an early vote. We're here to so. celebrate Fetterman Fridays. We saw some game getting a free helicopter ride. And don't forget Shapiro Saturdays. <laughs> I swear to God. Maestriano Mondays, Mehmet. Maestriano Mondays. I, I'm playing VR chat and everyone's a furry. Please help. The second district of Maine is coming. Crap! What we do? Ooh, it's, Maine. It's fun. Oh, what about Maine? Uh, Golden is up way, by thirty. The page, the page wins. By the way. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Oh, oh. What? What? What was that? Like, oh, what? I was yawning. Sorry about that. Oh, bro. Abbott is outperforming hugely. I'm a little bit worried about Vega. She's not doing that well in rural Virginia. But... It looks like it looks like both. Okay, so based off of numbers right now, which is kind of meaningless, it looks like New Hampshire might have both its congressional districts and Senate seat remain blue. Ah. I do think New Hampshire's second is going to flip though with Liv. they not uh, first. First, yeah. I think New Hampshire's first is likely to flip. In 20 minutes, we'll get to see the John White wave. Oh, gosh. So true. Uh, oh, I don't need John White to do a white wave. I mean, we can already do that. It's, we're going to blind the Democrats. I just, at, 
You we're know, I, going to blind the Democrats with really bright LED lights. They will not know who to vote for. <laughs> uh, hold on, wait a minute. I just realized Cleveland is is fifty five percent Vance, but all the surrounding Burb counties are like fifty five percent Ryan. Don't what? question the realignment, my friend. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> It doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's one percent, I guess. That you know, whatever. You know what it is makes no sense. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the panhandle's starting to report. Well, that's gonna just be a massacre now. That's just. Yeah. I cannot believe. And also, yeah, Florida governor's now at R plus fifteen point five, meaning rounding it, it's R plus sixteen. Uh, Do we think DeSantis gets a sixty percent? So. Yeah, we're just getting the panhandle win. And it's 15 already. Okay, it looks it's gonna be like so funny if he gets the 60%. So with a few candidates, still like. Oh, okay. Escambia County still isn't counted. The Walker, I think, so. Walker is. It looks like Kemp's about to take the lead, and Walker's about to take the lead. Uh, is, is on pace for the lead, too. Uncal is narrowing the margins now down to 3.5%, with 71% of the vote in. Okay, we're doing. Okay. So we got some results from Cumberland County. This is towards where Mastriano is. He's at 20% with the early vote. Oz is at 23%. Okay. Uh, Viga up by six. People are saying, there's a lot of numbers people are saying. I don't see it. Hmm. It's Yeah, we're looking pretty good in a lot of these districts, though. Indiana's first is beginning to report. Oh, it is? Okay. Mr. Van. Oh, sick. Okay, we're getting results from can uh, Missouri. Nothing big. Florida's deep red. Yeah, Florida's gone. People are saying decision desk. Well, I'm not going to get decision desk up. It failed me earlier. It broke. Okay, there are counties that Mosh was not underperforming uh, Oz that much in. Like Warren County is only down by three points compared to Oz. So there is some counties where Mosh is doing better than expected right now. But Moshiana will win Philadelphia County in Shalah. It's gonna be a long it's gonna be a long one in PA, I think. They're gonna have a big legal fight over that. Michael Guest. Uh, in the words of Shank, Florida's gone, gone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, people are saying, look at Michigan. We have results in Michigan. It is from Oakland County. Dixon's at 20%. Uh, yeah, they're reporting Slotkin's district. Slotkin's She's at, at 62. I, I wonder if this is early vote. Now I think it about probably it. It's 1% then. It's 1%. Yeah. So it's not, a, it's not anything big. Uh, Luna's called. That's not a surprise. Vega's running 14% ahead of Trump in Spotsylvania and Stafford, and is 5% ahead in Prince William. Good sign for her. Wait, wait, wait. In Spotsylvania and Stafford? And how much yeah. of the vote is in? I'm not sure, but I, I that is good signs. I thought even with Trump. That's weird. That's why everyone was doing on, on the TL. Well, I'm don't not... trust people on timeline, because they're freaking bums at the time. Uh... Okay. So yeah, we're looking, I mean, it's looking pretty good for Republicans. I mean, it is looking decent, but it's the not... The blood moon rises. Yeah, I mean, it just, it's sort of tell because a lot of these states, it's just early vote. You know, it's, that's kind of the problem here. A lot of it's just early vote, and we really don't know. <laughs> we're trying for something more. Come on. Come on, we want something more, chat. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe this guy. I can't believe that DeSantis won um, Duval County by a safe margin. Okay, Oklahoma, there's some results in, and sits down by five. Nice. It's 10% I, votes in. I'm not a fan and of... Did actually lose? No. No, it's only 10%. I'm not making any calls in that race yet. But, you know, it's just so hard because you don't know exactly what's, you know, early vote or not. That's the problem with our current system. You don't know. Oh, no, bro. Now, we're getting results from Rhode Island. Um, Fun momentum. 
she's down by 25, the Republican. Callus. Yeah, Callus, my bad. Politico has just projected Westmore will win Maryland. It's a dark day. Sad day. Sad day. Sad day for society. Okay, we're, we're just waiting. I mean, I don't get what's taking so long in some of these states. It looks like Palm Beach will flip to Rubio. Uh, libertarian. People are saying Libertarian is up. No, she... No. Just no. Uh, Miami-Dade, Tampa, Palm Beach, Seminole, Osco, and Jacksonville have all flipped. Yeah, Florida's... I mean, just show somebody this map 10 years ago of Florida. <laughs> Friggin' Miami, it's... Miami is in its, you know, seven points for DeSantis. Hmm, who predicted that? Somebody of sort of real American politics did. But nobody will give credit. On New York Times, it's DeSantis plus nine. Oh, it's actually DeSantis plus 11 now. Save far Miami, Dade. Wow. So, yeah, there are count. I'm looking at counties here in the sense that the T... Moscato's not performing that much worse than Oz in a lot of these counties so far. It's really only Philly and Allegheny so far. People also, saying... DeSantis. DeSantis is now at um R plus 16 in the, like, 16 points ahead oh, of Chris. How, oh! Oh, we got breaking news! What? Hunt Cow what? has just taken the lead. Apparently. You took it again? Apparently. I gotta pull this up. I don't, I can't trust everybody. I'm sorry, but I have to check myself. If that is the case, no, it isn't. You're so full of it. People are full of it. He's still we, down by four. What are they saying? He's How down by. Th to me? He's down by three right now. He's down by three. Ah, uh, close enough. With seventy-one percent, and oh my gosh, he can pull it off. He can pull it off. He can actually pull this off. Why are they leading in Richmond? This is funny. Uh, Kiggins looks like she's gonna prevail. Vigo, look, ooh, what's left of, v of uh, Virginia 7th? Anybody know? What parts? Oh, uh, what'd you say? What? 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 Look, look. <laughs> what happened? Five ways to soothe election stress. Try five <laughs> finger. Oh, my God. No. Wait, what, is wait where is it? Oh my god. Some evidence based strategies that can help you cope with the electoral Oh my laws. god. Oh my god. Hold on, folks, I gotta get the decision desk going. Plunge your face. Here's a sixth way, it's called ice. alcohol. Plunge, plunge your face into a bowl of ice water for 15 to 30 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, step one, I, cover I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get a, I gotta get a bowl of ice water. Put my face in. Okay, NYT has finally called it for Rubio. I don't know why it took them so long. Okay, folks, I have to get my um, I have to get my thing up. Sorry about this, folks. I have to quickly uh, get my map up. So yeah, it's official. Hunt Cow has just taken the lead in the in Virginia tenth. Didn't people oh, some some people oh. called it for, for Wexton already, which is Rap. something. What? This uh, early the voting data for Texas is so sexy. Shit. Yeah. So Abbott 70... might actually won by 18 points. Okay, so the issue is for Hunt Cow, there a lot of the votes left in Fairfax, it looks like, and Loudoun. That's the problem for Hunt Cow. That's going to be his problem. Well, the part of um, Fairfax that is in the district is pretty is red, actually. Okay, it is. Let's see here. Um, see, uh, Seahawks, Brandon Nelson, member for three months. Cow took the lead. Yeah, I just saw... Thank you very Hold much. Hold on, let me check it. I'm gonna have to pull up the district stats. <laughs> so it's looking decent for Republicans right now. I'm gonna have to make a copy of this file. I Bolduc went from minus tw uh, minus thirty to minus twenty in in, in only ten percent in. So he's closing. He in. has a shot. I mean, it's not yeah, he's not done. Based Hun Cow, yeah. If Hun Cow pulls it off, that'll be a big one. I mean, Hun Cow is in a seat that not even Youngkin won, so if it's within five, it's a good night for Republicans. Yeah, yeah it's like a McAuliffe plus three seat, right? If... I think so. It was McAuliffe plus five, I thought. And it was like Biden plus 18. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it was uh, McAuliffe plus two, I think. Who knows? Um, where, well, it's, we know a single-digit McAuliffe, so... 
We're, okay, we gotta find DeSantis my upset. Is, we gotta find my upset DeSantis night. Is about to, DeSantis is about to crack 58%. He's at 57.9. Oh, what are the odds that DeSantis gets 60% of the vote? Um, okay, so wait, Rap, you said Fairfax is the only part left reporting the 10th? There's part of- I, I, from what I can see, a lot of it's Fairfax or Loudoun. Okay, so the Fairfax part voted for Yunkin by about a percentage, so that should be good for Cal, actually. So he has a shot there. He has a serious mm. shot. Oh yeah, it's the Centerville area, which means it's like pretty Korean and Asian, Ooh. so that- I think those should like- uh, go for Cal. Let's see here. Seahawks, Brennan Nelson for two. Prediction for margin of uh, Washington Senate. I'm not making a prediction on that right now. It's too early. I'm copying out. I'm sorry. All right. Hold on. So Republicans have already gained two House seats according to the decision desk. Also, and uh, also some more votes in Texas have come in. Collin County is um, a nine-point lead for Abbott, um, and uh, Williamson County um, is uh, is a three-point lead for O'Rourke. Noted. Let's see here. Top dog obedience for five. Kansas governor and attorney general. We just got to see. We do got to see. Big, big, big news. Um. Cameron County in Texas, Texas is 34th district. This is the early vote. Vincente Gonzalez is up in Cameron County's early vote by three points. Mm, seriously? Yeah, that's really bad for Vincente, if true. Also, All right, your body is in striking distance in North Carolina. Henry Clare is losing. Yeah, he's losing uh, but with 13%. But what's in, though? It may If it's part of... Hold uh, on, hold on. Excuse me. How much is this something that's always losing money? 34 points? It's San Mark. It's, uh, or no, it's Guadalupe County. That's in it, Cuellar's district. Bro, this is a bloodbath. Let's, let's see here. Um, oh, wait. Blue Connecticut's... Uh, Blumfeld was only up by 2 right now, but it's only 2%. So, I'm not going to... Make that be with assumption. Late Levy is up in New Haven County. Interesting. Okay. I don't think that's, that holds them. Who who lives where? Washington County. Where's that? Well, you're a nutmegger. I didn't even know that. I thought you were from Massachusetts. No, I'm from I like that's not even I thought everyone knew that. So Delaware County, that's looking Democrat, not surprising. But again, it's it's early. It's very early, so we can't say much. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. North Carolina's taking their sweet time. I mean, Florida's pretty much a win. At this point, it's a matter of how much they win by. Uh, yeah. I mean, imagine if it's like the Santa's plus 20. <sighs> Whoa! Whoa! What, what the what? fuck? The Republican is in the lead in Cook County right now. What? In Illinois. I'm it's, not kidding. Go it's look. under 1%. I know. Fucking <laughs> funny. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for that information. It's like less than 1%. Big news, everybody. Looks like Republicans <laughs> flip a seat in the Texas state legislature. Wow. Shocking. <laughs> Lopez know. leads 53 to 47. Okay, so we're... Things are just... Things are slowing down now. We're getting a lot of... A lot of slowdown. Oh my gosh, it's real. What? Alan Fung up by 15. What? Alan Fung is up by 15. Oh my goodness. It's happening. He is. Fungmentum. Fungmentum. And that's why... Ooh, Rhode Island first is only a 14-point lead for Democrats. Huh. And also Red not Island all, imminent. Not all, uh, Let's see. Red Island is indicated. that are reporting in Rhode Island are favorable to Fung. So. Okay, so... Uh, we'll, are, um, the, I guess you could say that the, uh, he is the Fung among us. Boo! That was not a very functional work. joke. Hey, hey, Publi, go Fung yourself. <laughs> Can they just call it Indiana already? What is this? Alright, alright, public, public, I have a question for you. How much of the Asian vote would a, would a Fung Hung uh, ticket look like? 
most of them. Asian. Most of them over the age of 35. Okay, so we're we're taking their sweet time with uh, lottery results. Uh, let's look at uh, Michigan. Uh, Barrett is up by 16 over Slotkin. Ooh. It's going to be interesting to see uh, uh, District 3, Schulten versus Gibbs. Yeah, I, I want to see that one. There's certain people... We need to see the Gibbs momentum kick in. I want to see certain people... Uh, takes on that anyways oh hey look polikin is leading golden in the second the in main state we seem in genuine danger of losing is new uh, losing in is new hampshire that might be the only light for the democrats oh wow look at uh tom melanowski he's up on tom g on tom keen right now All 69 right. to 31 rap i just had a funny thing. idea what are you ready to hear it what so imagine if you will Maggie Hassan runs for president. Oh in gosh! Stop! Stop right there! Please. <sighs> I'm okay. the only Democrat who survived the red wave. Okay, we got results from Lake County. So this is a county that, you know, Trump lost by 24. This is a, a north Lake of Chicago, county, Illinois? No, north okay. of Chicago. Uh, Selfie, the Republican, is going down by 20. So she's doing four points better than Trump in this county. Pritzker's also underperforming, it looks like, in this county. He is. By t he's at he's winning by 22. <laughs> is Republican Senator going to do better than Bailey? <laughs> uh, if you were saying New Hampshire's closing in. Um, Look at the is. difference. There's such a massive difference between Ohio Senate and Ohio Governor. I mean, it's, it's Ohio. What do you expect? Ohio? Yeah. Red Wave in Chicago with 0.1% of voting. <laughs> Bugs it real? Bailey, Bailey's elected governor day one of him being governor. He's the place in the National Guard to Chirac. So, where do we have any election day votes in like any of these important states? Um, hey, they yeah. finally called Indiana. Yeah, is there any election day votes? North Carolina is 53% in, and Beasley is ahead by nine points. That is actually kind of... Seven. She's up by seven. Oh, sorry. Biden was up in North Carolina until like 75% of the vote came in, so don't worry. Bro, imagine if we lose North Carolina Senate. We're not... Don't say that. It's not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. Rubio. I'm just saying, imagine the funny theoretical. Marco Rubio was so close to flipping Palm Beach County. It's 49.6 Biden dumps Harris for Beasley as his running mate. Does it look good for Vega? That's the race I'm really, really concerned about. Because I know that uh, Kiggins is going to win. I don't know. Is it? Uh, Brian Kemp out to take the lead, it looks like. That's not a surprise. Yeah, Kemp is officially taking the lead. Let's see here. And Walker's only down by six. I mean, he's doing damn better than I thought. Looks like Kemp is about to take the lead. Yeah. He just did on CNN. So we're, yep. lo we're looking good. We're looking... Look, when the election day vote comes in, no more bullshit with oh one one percent of the vote in. Okay, they're saying Fung is hoping a bunch of blue cities right now. Is he? Yeah, that makes sense. He's he pretty strong. And he's about like R plus 12 in Cranston and R plus 23 in Coventry. He's doing way yeah. better than even I thought. Yeah, Cranston, it was the city he was the mayor yeah. of, and that's like a deep blue city. And even Dan McKee, I think, is All suffering right. electorally. 38% of it. the vote, majority early vote, Kemp has taken the lead. I'm calling Georgia's governor yep. for Brian We Kemp. can now project Brian Kemp will win re-election. Hooray for Brian Kemp. Time for um, an RPD alert. So polls just closed in Arkansas. There's really... The only one is the Arkansas 4, I think it is. That's the interesting one. Alan Fung. They have called Arkansas... Oh, yeah, Arkansas has just dropped, actually, yeah. John White won. I know. We're going to we... see if John White has real. So, so we have a... Okay, we we have our first um, 
national exit poll. All right. It's saying that independence broke for Democrats by two. Wait, drop the link to the exit poll. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. They're claiming independence went to Democrats by two. Yeah, no. Yeah, you know, one of my friends just told me his mother's saying she hopes Herschel losers because he raped us someone. First off, not only is that just really more to your accusations, are we ignoring the fact Warnock shot and ran over his wife? <laughs> yes, we're just ignoring it. We're ignoring it for political purposes. Okay, yeah, some of these exit polls are just on crack right now. Post the link to the exit poll, my It's guy. on CNN, just look it up. Okay. It has Latinos breaking 40% Republican. Whites, 59%. Black men at almost 20%. Huh. Neat. So I, I think there's a lot of... There's going to be a, a big uh, exit poll miss, I think. Okay, we have results from Maine. LePage is up by 18 right now. Huh? <gasps> But it's one percent in. One percent in. LePage Mentum. Uh, let's see here. Texas fifteen has votes. Texas fifteen. Eight percent in Monica de la Cruz is up by a lot. <laughs> Neat. Uh John White takes the lead at sixty nine percent reporting. I know that's a meme. I know that's a meme. Thirteen percent of voters approve of Biden's handling of crime. DeSantis is up by sixteen now. Hmm. They have called Delaware. Not surprising. Yeah, some of these. Oh, eggs... oh my bad. DeSantis is up by seventeen point three percent now. So I'm um, looking at the Fox voter analysis. That's going to be more accurate, I would assume. Because okay, you... well. What? Maestriano's only behind two, uh, only behind Oz by two points. She is. Golden's at thirty nine percent right now. That's that's fascinating. Yeah, he's not doing that bad. Masato's not doing as bad as I thought. Majewski is doing really badly, apparently. Who is? Majewski. Majewski. Yeah, I mean that. Well, look, Vance right. is down. It's just early vote. Don't worry about that one. I am confused yeah, what's even happening. Down by a pretty big margin. They're also, saying Dan that Kelly Matt DiPerno is the best performer Crystal in Michigan Matthews right now. deleted her Twitter account. Who? Tim Scott's Crystal. opponent. <laughs> <laughs> they called like, it immediately and she deleted her Twitter account. Yeah. That's like um, uh, Josh Mandel. He, he deleted all of his tweets and set his Twitter account to private after he okay. lost. Okay. According to the Fox egg, Fox exit polls, they're claiming Josh Shapiro is going to win by like fifteen to sixteen points. Yeah, so Maestriano is winning by two to three points. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, the exit polls are not trustworthy right now. They're they're having crack right now. Like it's also, not even being biased. It's like it's not that's not going to happen. Fox said also, that well, Democrats will gain this. ten House seats in twenty twenty. Remember that. Yeah. So I'm not also. I've just been awesome. alerted. One of my friends is watching the stream. You know who you are. Hey, buddy. Let's see here. Dustin Carter for two. Updates on Georgia. Updates on Georgia. Uh, well, like like we said, uh, we can call it for Kemp. Walker's going to – we're going to have to call it for Walker a bit later. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's in the lead. What about GAO2? What about Georgia's second? Now, I'm interested. Sanford up by, like, eight. Burke County. People are saying Pete, Trump. Burke that, County. Where's no, that's Burke? six. I can't count. Where's Burke at, I wonder? <laughs> Public cannot count. So Union that's County. Asians were good at counting. I want to see how Union County voted. So, bit yeah. under performance. We just got to see. Also, uh, Florida's 23rd is now, is now within 10 with 78% of the vote left. So, nothing's really happening right now. Nothing... Nothing yet. Virginia 7th is so weird right now. It's like, you know what I think happened with some of these, you know, exit polls? Like, you look at some of them, it's like, okay. They're claiming that independents are breaking that much Democrat. 
It's like, mm, I doubt it. And plus, they claim oh, that... Oh, 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 what? oh, oh. CNN just um, CNN has um, Republicans leading Kansas for the governor's race. Okay, that's it a big one. Let's yeah, go. No, they, they just yep, 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 yep. Okay, um, gonna... Schmidt is a Schmidt is ahead by four point four. We're gonna a lot uh, of stuff. How much of the vote is this? It's not saying one percent of the vote. Okay, that's good. The fact that Schmidt's in the lead with one percent of the vote is telling me that we might because um, you know. If Kelly were in the lead right now, that would be a bit scary. Okay, I want to see some of these um, exit polls, because I'm having some serious, how do I say this, problems with them. For one, they claim that the voters that said the economy, the national's economy is not so good, are claiming 61% broke for the Democrats. Those that said the economy was not good. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> this is definitely on... Uh, how do I put this nicely? Some uh, snort. Snort and crack. That's the best way to describe it. I mean, you cannot seriously believe that those that said not, the economy was not so good broke that Democrat. Connecticut Senate is closing. Um, it's... 10% lead for the Democrat. It's not going to be It's a 9% close. lead. Or whatever, James. It's close enough. Uh, yeah, it's 9% lead on the Senate level, and Lamont has a, um, I think, it's 53 to 45 on the governor level. I'm going to get a bit ballsy. I'm going to say Vance is going to win by at least 14 points now, seeing the margins that he's eating from Ryan in the early vote of the cities. I think it's entirely possible that could yeah, be I mean, reality. Th I mean, he's doing way worse than Trump at this point. I mean, he's not that good. I mean, compared to what Trump was at. Mark's, I don't care what Predicted says. Uh, people are saying... So is, are, is Vegas still up by nine? Walker is down by six points in Georgia now as well. Uh, let's see here. People are saying look at Burke. So this is a county that Walker... It's not all in, so I'm not going to really look at that. It's not. It's not fair to look at counties that are like two percent in. I mean, you really can't. Really can't do that. People are saying, look at Alabama also, first. Also, DeSantis is now leading by seventeen. See, so, yeah. I mean, we're not really seeing that much of a. The and o the only house races that we have that are fully in, it's around a twelve to fifteen point shift. So I want to know where they're getting this Democrats up by one in the generic ballot from. I really want to see this. My sources, I made it the fuck up. Yeah, I mean, they're claiming that it's okay, Democrats. More of the vote just came in. Three percent of the vote came in. Where? Kelly has taken uh, CNN. From where? Kelly from what state? Head. Kansas! I just mm. said Kansas. That's your fault. You're stupid. Shut up. I hate you. Anyway. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Abbott is ahead by five points in uh, Tarrant County. Let's see here. So, Hun Cow is winning. People are, yeah, it's Hun Cow is picking up serious steam. Hun Cow. Hun Cow. I, yeah, Hun Cow is winning. Please I, stop. Hun Cow is winning. So, yeah, Kiggins lost. That's That race is done. I mean... And it looks like Vega's gonna win. Vega is gonna win that race. If she is, look. If Vega wins, I don't care what freaking CNN eggs a poll said. This is a red wave. The fact that Vega's up by around five with eighty nine percent in. My pork chops. I mean, I made pork chops earlier for lunch, and they all looked like you a got my five. I, sent a, I sent a picture to JD Vance, and he laughed at it. Uh, so Illinois has some more results. It's mostly from Chicago land. Not a surprise. Chicago. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Um, let's see. Shift from twenty twenty. Nothing yet. So again, it's so weird. I mean, mo. Todd Howard, or not Todd Howard, Todd Young just took the lead in Gary. Yeah, he did? 
No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Gosh. Stop. Like misinformation. Yeah. I'm doing my part, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, Gary's actually a pretty big margin for the Democrat. Yeah, I'm, you know, I have a question, everybody. Oh, is my math correct? We've, so far in every race that's fully in, we've seen a 12 to 13 point shift to the Republicans. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah I'd agree. It, then how are we getting freaking eggs of polls, CNN, independents go to Democrats by a point? It's like, no. Maybe they're just doing it wrong. They're claiming it's an R plus three electorate, but we only win uh, independence just, by one. They just, the New York Times just called it for Jared Moskowitz. Okay, so we're looking, Oklahoma, that's, I think, sealed at this point. The Senate races in the state of Oklahoma. Um, Arkansas, that's, you know, done. And I'll wait on North Carolina. That's, okay, Bud's going down by four now. I guarantee you the second this flips, er, all the shit happens. So, let's see here. Seahawks, Brendan Nelson for two. Big Penguin projects Hunt Cow wins. I think it's a bit too early. Big Penguin politics. I think it's a bit too early to say. In, in Florida, it's more like a 12-point shift. Yeah, so... I really want to see where those exit polls are coming from. You notice they haven't released the exit poll from Florida yet. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, well, the um, Sanford Bishop versus uh, Chris Chris West race is um, getting a little bit tighter. It's within four now. Yeah, but I don't know what's left there. I think it's mostly... It's most, it's a, I think it's the redder areas that are left. Because Columbus see. is counted. Red wave actually, there are, actually, there is... Um, do hurt county, which yeah, it will be blue, but there are some there are some red So Moss Channel is only doing two points worse than Oz in the early vote. Huh. Neat. Moss Channel only uh yeah, there's something happening, PA. Also, Oz is winning Montgomery County right now. He's looking yeah, well it's under one percent, so you can't really yeah. Sure. So Allegheny's twenty seven percent in. We should be getting results out of Wisconsin. I'm, ha I'm soon. having multiple. I'm having multiple people contact me about this already uh, for Ohio. Um, I will say this: Dewine, um, Dewine was going to do better with early votes because he's more of a suburban Republican type. Um, Vance is underperforming because I mean. It's, it's, People are saying there's there's ticket splitting right now. Vance isn't underperforming. Most of his electorate is election. Oh day. wait a minute! Oh my God! Whites winning Arkansas fourth <laughs> with only one percent the vote in. It's white mentum. Oh my gosh! Um, people are saying look at George. Does John White outperform? Oh, he's gonna do a lot better than I think people give him credit for. Um, yeah, Walker's picking it up now. G store for ten. Thank you very much. Call it for Vigo. What's left of? Um, does anybody know what's left of Virginia seventh? Yeah, I have. A, I think I have Virginia seventh up on this. It's tab. only ten percent. And okay, her lead's expanding. Her lead expanded a little bit. Yeah, it's. Um, I mean, there's still a lot of uh, Prince William left. Vega's lead expanded. It expanded by like a couple hundred votes. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea to call it yet. Cause I'm only not half calling of it. Prince William, yeah, only. Yeah, I don't know if someone said call it, but I thought someone did. But um, uh, Prince William is still only fifty percent in, and that's the Lewis County. So, okay, Walker cut the cut the cut the margin down to two. He's about to take the lead. We're about to have Herschel Walker take the lead. And he may not give it up for the rest of the night. North Dakota is now reporting. Like anybody cares about North Dakota. So true. Is John Hoeven going to lose? Oh, wow. John James is up by 21%. His, the district voted for Trump by like 1%. Hmm. That's all. He's outperforming by 20. Well, it's so early that. Um, let's see here. Moss Channel. Oh, wait, what? Oh, 2% in. Erie is going red right now. Oz is also. Uh, Moss Channel is also winning it. But it's so early that you can't really say anything. 
But we don't know what's left. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Hold on. Just, just hold on. Let me let me post this. Probably pay those zoomer. Look at look at the text chat in here. Holy oh my S word. Hung cow just flew over my house. <laughs> Hung cow just flew like over my house. <laughs> so if Walker Three takes when Walker takes the lead, I don't think he gives it up. No, Walker is winning. Yeah. He's on pace for it. So it's looking pretty good for. Her. So we're gonna at eight o'clock. We're gonna get some real, you know, states in Wisconsin. We're gonna count votes in like five seconds. Why is Hoffmeister up by two right now? She's the Democrat. That was Republican. Oh yeah. In uh, fifteen minutes, we're gonna get Colorado. You know, Joe Dia versus Michael Bennett. Who is Joe? Joe. Joe Dia. I have no idea who you're talking all, about. All right. So we're also, gonna, we're also gonna get New York and Wisconsin. Yeah, we got momentum. Let's go. Let's see how long it takes Wisconsin to count. We'll, we're going to show the country how to really count votes. None of this bullshit of waiting five minutes or five hours to count two votes. We're going to show. We're going to be how real men count votes. They finally Which, called it Wisconsin for Matt Gates. Wisconsin takes five years. See here. Did you vote? Yes, I did. I did vote today. I took my civic duty oh, seriously. All right, so Bud is about to take the lead in North Carolina. Um. He's going to take the lead. So the path to two the path to 51 is getting clear. What is that sound in the background? What is that? I think someone I think someone has a TV on in the background. Yeah, some Oh god, I'm sorry. Because I can hear it 5 miles away. I'm sorry about that. You heard Marco Rubio talking in Spanish. I don't speak French. People are saying, look at Maryland. Why? There's nothing there. I don't see any results for Maryland yet. Um, Republicans are actually winning the Senate race, but yeah, the when the votes come in, it's going to be a massacre. Yeah, it's just that the Republican counties are being counted first. It looks yeah, like. that's what it's looking like. Now, how's the House race looking in Maryland? Nothing yet. Okay. So Virginia tenth, that's gonna that's coming out on the wire. Looks like it's eighty one percent in. Uh, yeah, Kiggins won. I think I'm gonna call it here. It's not looking. Kiggins won. Yeah, it's not even competitive anymore. It's it's so far. Uh, RPD election alert. Jen Kiggins has officially won. It, it looks like she's gonna win. From what I can see, what's left is more Republican parts. So, Even then, it's so far at this point. It's a 12-point lead. So how how Republican was this seat? How much did Trump win this seat by? I think he lost it by two. Yeah, he lost it by exactly two. So this would probably be another 10-point shift to the right. We're seeing this a trend. A 14, this is a 14-point shift to the right. We're seeing a constant trend nationally. Constant. We're not seeing... Okay. Okay, this is funny. Kiggins is winning Chesapeake by 63%, and that was a county that voted for Biden. Hmm. That's so, insane. So, so, yeah, it's looking like we're going to win Virginia 7. That's coming down the wire. Um, is losing right now. Well, that's early, isn't it? Yeah, it's early. I'm not making any... I, my, I made my first call for the House, though. Jen Kiggins has won. It's at this point. There's no. I just don't think there's enough to really overcome that. You you would need to win the vast majority. Apparently, according uh, to uh, certain uh, people, like uh, Vegas, it's a, Virginia seventh is at ninety nine percent, and Vegas still up by like three. I hope that holds. Yeah, I want to see. I'm gonna get the sitting desk back up because freaking this crappy. Um, NBC has that Viga, 99%. Vega uh, has uh, Vega's at it looks like Vega won. It look it looks like Vega's going to win. She's up by 3 and it's 99% in. 
Yeah, almost like um, they were dooming on for nothing. Even I was a little freaked out, bud. Yeah, now it's when the election day votes. It's well, Virginia. I think it's election day votes are first in some areas. It's stupid, but I would imagine for Nova, which has uh, which is you know obviously Virginia Seven has some of Nova in it. I would imagine that the election day votes come in more early. Okay, so I want to see how did Virginia one vote? Uh, no, Virginia fifth. That's actually a good one. It's closer, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, 162 to 38 right now. Okay. Virginia 5th, for example, it voted for Trump by 8. Bob Good won it by 23. Wow. Let's see here. Uh, wholesome DJ Aftershock for 2. Spanberger uh, outperformed Biden in certain areas. Yeah, there are parts that she will do better in. She is a stronger candidate, so... Yeah, Spanberger is a way better candidate than Lurian. Yeah. That's like, I even... will... I, I want to shoot myself in the head because hey! I kept getting those, like... No. Like, those Loria January 6 ads, like, nonstop on oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. It was, like, so annoying. So, we're getting, res we're getting results from Erie. And Oz is up right now. He's doing really good right now. I mean, this is early vote, so... God knows how accurate this is, but... We gotta see. We do. Oh, yeah, some. Go on. I was just gonna. Um, some numbers have come out of uh, Texas is thirty fourth, and um, Vicente Gonzalez is up by twenty. With twenty. But what's of the, in? Twenty seven percent. It depends. Twenty seven percent of the vote in. Yeah, but what's in, James? Remember, Dan Sanchez was up in the special election until like uh, ninety percent in when Flores took the lead. Yeah, that's why so. I'm just gonna wait. Because that's that Southern Texas with a lot of votes left. So yeah, we had our first major flip in Virginia um, second. That's kind of the first major one. But Virginia, I think Virginia 7th is going to flip. I think it just flipped. Um, I was right about Virginia, uh, Illinois 5th. People are saying Illinois 5th. <laughs> What's going on there? I think Virginia 7th is going to be like a nail-biter either way. I don't know who to trust. Um, there are some people that say that there's a lot of Election Day vote left. Who However, the Election Day vote is from Prince William County, but we don't know how it will go either so way. So that, that's going to cancel. It's going to be, like, it's be really close then. DeSantis is up now by 18. Uh, let's see here. George Logan's up by 15, but it is very early. How is Stefanowski doing? How is my... F oh, yeah. He's not doing so good. Let's see. How yeah, is Bob he's doing? Not, he's losing by nine. Yeah, well, it's not... It is very early, so... I, I have to give... I'm not going to say anything yet. It is very early, but it's not good. What? Stefanowski race is not good? Yeah, it's That not, was to be expected. Yeah, I mean... Republicans. Carolyn Borisenko. People are saying Boldick is climbing. Yeah, he is. Very slowly, but he is. Um, I don't know. I'm hear I'm hearing a lot of people on. doing about like um the Bolduc and Leave It races, but it seems I hear a lot of contradictory stuff. I'm hearing, and I don't know I'm hearing a lot of crap too. I don't know what to believe. Why is Oz only leaving in Chester County? Okay, my my thing's acting up. I don't know why this is happening, but. Private issues trying to get to the decision desk. It's not working. I don't know why. Oh, Vance has just closed the lead. Or Vance has closed the gap. Yeah, he he's did. now within ten. Yep, he's within ten now. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try to get this up. The election day vote is still coming in. And Vance is now within nine. The early vote. Wow. Apparently, in the Harris County, um, the judge race, it's a between one point between the Democrat and Republican. Okay, sorry, everybody. I gotta, I gotta quickly... Um, yeah, the this. Democrat is really controversial. Epic. Controversial Democrat. Okay, everybody, we, we're back. Um, I just had to quickly fix this. We're gonna use decision desks. They seem to be more accurate now. I don't know what... New, New York Times on something right now. I don't know what they're on. They're being lazy. So, according to Decision Desk, Vega's up by around 8, 
seven with around 29 percent of the vote to be counted and it looks like Huncow lost wait a minute if the democrats yeah, only up by lost. one in houston in an early vote this is probably gonna go red yeah it's looking it's not looking too good for um it's not looking too good for Huncow. looks like he's gonna lose Unless I'm mistaken. It looks oh, like... Uh, yeah, so... People are saying look at Warnock in here. Oh, Warnock's under 50. Here we go. Herschel's within a point. Here we go. And so far, the only counties that are basically in... Trump is doing... Or Walker's doing significantly better than Trump. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Early vote is fully in in Texas, and Beto has won Harris County by one point. Um, it's fluffy. Houston is about to go <laughs> fucking hard. Houston, we have a red wave. Boo. Harris County's going to swing hard right. So, yeah, we're looking. Okay. So. From what I can see, we're going to. We're looking pretty good. From what, everything I could see, we're not looking bad. Not looking bad. Don't down Hunt Cal. I, I think it's just... Um, Bud's in the lead. Bud's in the lead. Bud's he is? In the lead. We have, oh. Bud's in the lead. Holy yep. shit, he's in yes. the lead by... He's in the lead two. by two points at 62% of the... Where? Point. Where is this? New North York Times. Times. New York Times? Yeah. I don't see him on New York I Times. Why is Cox in the lead? Oh, it's 5% of the early... Huh? Yeah, I have to go for a second over here. Uh, it, it clearly I says Bud's down by two. Hold. I don't see Bud up. I don't see Bud up anywhere. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Okay, Georgia, that's gone. That's Kemp won that. That's. By the way, if Harris goes completely red, I can explain why. <laughs> can you explain? Yes, I can explain why. It's a Don't. mixture of angry sub angry suburbanites and the Vietnamese bothering to go vote. Don't explain. Remember, George Bush won Houston because of all of the Vietnamese that went out to vote for him. All this is telling me is that the Republicans in Texas should have just drawn another Vega was called, Houston seat. Where, it was Vega just called? Where? What, probably? They should have drawn Fletcher out if Houston is voting red right now. People are saying big redistricting miss from them. People are saying that Fox just called it. People are saying Fox just called it for Vigo. They should have drawn Fletcher out. Did Fox call it? Check the Fox, Fox website. It. I'll check right now. I'm checking right now. Because Fox is usually outside of their Arizona stuff. They're pretty accurate when they make a call. Um. They did not call it. Freaking some people. I swear, some of these people are just like, no. No. Okay, Warnick's below 50%. Yeah, Here we go. A, he, at this point, he's going to lose the lead. So, I'm looking here, and Hun Cow and, they have, and Vega have a chance. Let's be close. Beasley's under 50. My local news... Yeah. Beasley's yeah, under Beasley's 50. under 50 right for They have right said that five. Mr. Brian Kemp has won. That's not a surprise. Brian Kemp has won. It's Brian, crazy to say that. Yeah, so, and we're, polls about to close in the great state of Wisconsin, New York, Iowa, Louisiana, I think? And I, North Carolina, I, I mean, New York. <laughs> here we go, New York. Come on. Come on, Harley. We'll see if New York being closed is actually, like, real or a meme. We will see both? if... Trafalgar was real. Zeldin winning. Yes, uh, local called it. It looks like the local Fox affiliate called it for Vega in Virginia. I don't know if I can believe that. Wait, who called it for Vega? The, uh, the local Fox affiliate. That's interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm still not calling it. I'm going to be very cautious because yeah, it is a. Yeah, it's, it's one of those races where it could go. It's one of those where. Um, <clears throat> it's, like one of those, it's like one of those California races in 2020. You know what oh I mean? My, yeah. Oh my god, Neil Dunn beat Al Lawson by 20. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my wow. gosh. Uh, let's see here. 
Yeah, so... Well, you know there are two L's in Al Lawson. So, Al Lawson lost by 20. How much Lawson of a Trump... Lost. How much of a Trump seat was this? 11. So, that's about a 9, 10 point shift. And it's also super elastic, because it's got Tallahassee in it. Actually, Florida second was Trump plus 7.5. Hey, hey Raph. A... What? Look at the chat. Look at the, look at the Discord chat. What? <laughs> So, uh, everybody, we have breaking news. The Florida 13 or Florida second seat has won 13 points Republican from 2020. Walker lead. Walker lead. Apparently, let's go. Walker's if down by point one. He's about to take the lead. This is this is amazing. God darn it! Why would you send that? Walker's officially taking the lead on CNN. Breaking oh, news. polls have closed in Arizona. They did? Yeah. Oh, neat. Here we go, Here we everybody. Go. See. Asses are clenched. Here we go. They have called North Dakota and South Dakota and Kansas. Senate. So we could start calling a lot of these Senate races, I think. These are all well, off the table. They called it for Chuck Liberty. Schumer. No, really? Oh, shit, they just called it for Bozeman. Yeah, well, that's not a surprise. They called it from Bozeman like two hours ago. No, they didn't. Shut your mouth. Shut the heck your mouth, you Philly. So silly. Walker All takes their... the lead. So Walker, at this point, I don't think he's going to take up the lead. At this point, will he get above 50? That's going to be the question. Yep, they officially got it. He officially above 50. Bud's about to take the lead. Looking very good for Republicans. More votes are coming in. You realize we're picking it up slowly. Slowly but surely. Dude, if Walker wins this outright, I will fucking like jump. I will I will celebrate. Like I thought you were like a demo oh wait, no, I'm talking about Tubbs, not James, my man. I thought you were I don't know why I confused you two, I'm just very sorry. <laughs> it's not like we sound similar. Okay, like, you, I've no. you guys are reckless with the jokes. Oh please. It's We're over. It's Jover. It's Jover. Walker, okay, it's... Walker's surging. Let's Walker's fucking go. He's about to Let's crack 50. Go. He's about to Let's crack 50. Go. So much for these exit polls. Oh, Biden's approval is actually in the mid to high 40s. So true. George okay. Floyd. New York results. What do we got? We got New York results, apparently. New York City. It's all of New York City. Okay. So Hochul right now is leading in the boroughs except for Manhattan. Lee Zelda is 61 to 39. Whoa! Um, the Bronx is 86 to 14. Hold on, oh, I, gotta, I gotta Manhattan. pull this up. Manhattan is 86 to 14. The Bronx is 82 to 18. Queens is 70 to 30. And Brooklyn is 75 to 25. And this is all early vote, Wait a minute. Correct? If it's only New York, I hold on. So. Sliwa got like 17% in New York and Zelda's at 25. That's actually pretty good. Republicans up in... So yeah, it looks like we got... It's going to be a long night for New York. That's going to be a Hold long on. one. 25% of the vote in New York City is pretty good. Yeah. Well, he's at like 30 in Queens. He's... Mm. I'm hearing mixed stuff on New Hampshire. Some people tell me that Bolduck is closing in. Other people say he's done for. It's it's I'm hearing both too. I, I can't tell which one's bullshit or not. Same thing with Virginia 7th. I have North, no clue what happens. Yeah, Bud's about to... Okay. Bud and Walker t have taken the lead. They're not giving it up. Yep. Lights out for them. For the Dems. Uh, so, how much did Hunk Cow lose by? Like, five? It's not over yet. It's not wow. over yet. That's he's insane. Hung like, he's not going down without a fight. <laughs> Hung Cow. Hung Cow will win soon. I, I, wish, I wish that Virginia, like, Selvers weren't so far gone, honestly. <laughs> And, but yeah, it, it, the fact that he got, he should be like in charge of like the GOP's 2024 campaign. People like him. Hey, like, Rap, can you post all the links you're using? I'm too lazy to find them from myself. No. Please? No. Would you consider doing it? Let's see here. North Carolina hey, flipped, yep. Yeah. So North Carolina yep. is officially Seth Magaziner is ahead. It looks like Seth Magaziner might win. Oz is yeah. closing the right gap now. right now. All right, um, it Memet looks, Barrett just Mentum. called it for Hassan. Darn. 
Wait, well, Bears called it for Hassan? I don't know if that's true or not. Sometimes there's some people in Cheddar to Cheddar to Total bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people that I trust that say that it looks pretty much over for Bolduc. Um I, I don't know. There, there was a huge polling error in New Hampshire. In favor of Republicans? Yeah, look, it, maybe that might have been the case. This is, like, this is this is a very interesting case, but it's still very early. So, who knows? No. Seth Magaziner took the lead from Fung. So sad. Yeah, Fung down like by, Fung like, three. Did. I don't know if Fung's going to be able to recover from that. It's okay, there's still like 11% and we still have hope for Fung. Come on, Fung, come on. Come on, Fung, come on, Vinny. Come on, Fung. Come on, Fung. Oh. The, seat might, the seat just might be too blue to... I don't know, it's you know. just... So how are we feeling on everything so far? It's so far but a mixed CNN night. CNN just called Missouri for Valentine. You're Is sorry. that a... You're full of... Get out of here. <laughs> Stop yanking our chains, uh, man. The New Mexico House seats are starting to report. But there's not a lot of numbers in yet. Okay, we're getting results from Iowa. Um, I I, I call the uh, governorships in a lot of these states. I I don't think I gotta say much. Um, Yeah. So Bud's expanding his lead. Vance is about to take over. It's it's Vance time. Hold on. It is Vance time. Wyoming has been called for the governorship. Ooh boy. Congratulations. So everything's looking pretty good. Feeling cautiously excited. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I mean, there's some disappointment. Bud flip Nash County. That's a tr- that's a Biden County. Well, it's 82% in. Let's see, what other? Yeah, Florida is like all red. Um, yeah, Herscher lost his lead by quite a bit now. He's down by four. Coping. Oh, Coping. yeah, he is. No, NYT turned off their needle. <laughs> I wonder why. It probably sucks. Can you send me the link? Your stream, or not your stream, your poll board. Yeah, people are saying okay. there's something going on, like results wise in Georgia, Pennsylvania. I wonder what they mean. Okay. Anson County is Bud plus six. The Anson County voted for Biden by four, so it's pretty the good. Oh, the call came in, that's why. Okay. I had to say, so yeah, to call this pretty much in then. That's okay. Okay. Oh. The Jenna series will soon close the gap in Pennsylvania and she'll... Oh, 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 oh! New York Times has results coming in for Odea. Odea, 78 votes. Oh, Bennett, also, Bennett's killing oh, him Wisconsin in Denver. Wisconsin's coming, Wisconsin's coming in now. Wisconsin is coming. Ron Johnson, also Fond du Lac, also, yep. Also, San, Sanford Bishop versus Chris West was, is now within two. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty oh, no. good. Oh, it's over for Nebraska. <laughs> is it over for Fung? It's to be close. I think he lost. Fung is... Yeah, oh, like no. Over. Fung is down by, like, five. He's down by it's five, yeah. over. It's over. He's down by five with 90% Darn. of the vote. And that sucks. It's That's... really dumb that New York Times doesn't have a, go- have a governor's. Uh, let's see here. People are saying Missouri. It's... What percent of the votes in Missouri? Six percent. And it's all from St. Louis. Congratulations. What, do you want a trophy? Uh, NC1, Smith is down by a lot. So is Bo Hines. Uh, Vance only down by like oh. two and a half. Oh. What? CNN, Ohio just flipped to Vance. It did? Let's go. It has on my screen. Not yet, not for me. No, it just went back to Ryan. You suck. You got to be kidding me. Come on. Right as I was being honest for once. Uh, I can't believe Haston won. It looks, yeah, it looks like Haston won. Warnock is back up. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Hassan won? Yeah. People are saying they called. I. It's only 26%. I'm not going to call it just yet, but. Pretty sure Warnock took the lead because it was done. It was the call. It was the call that came in. Same, like same, same thing. Uh, Connecticut, yeah, there's that. 
It looks like Iowa bad, Senate bad. reporting. Let's go. In New England. Oh, Mike Lawler's linking on Sean Patrick Maloney. What is this? Eric Allen the leading in the first in the seventh district of Colorado. Yeah, yeah. but a uh, Bud's lead is expanding. I don't know. It's a matter of how. Like All this right, is I'm what... calling Maryland governor right now. Wait, also what's the, thir- what the, what's the 37 votes in Cecil County counted? We can now predict Dan Cox will win Maryland by 10 points. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Hochul is winning Dutchess County, and Zeldin is yeah, winning Pete, Ulster County. It's not over. No, here's the thing, though, everybody. This is why I'm saying I don't know what to say, because there no state really has pushed Election Day votes except Florida, and that was just blood red. I'm sorry. Every state should use how Florida counts their elections. Yeah, they should. And the elections we've seen that are basically all in, there's been a 12 to 13 point shift on average. So what does that tell you? Um, that tells me R plus 10 generic ballot. I'm not saying that, but... So, it looks like we're going to lose... You asked what it tells me. What? You asked what it tells me, and I told you what I thought it tells me. I don't know who you are. Who the hell are you? What the fuck am I? Uh, Florida's servantly red, yeah. Uh, okay, so, I'm just skeptical that that's all that's the best way to describe it right now yeah i don't really see is underperforming a call by one in loudon huh and rap no rap what rap check cnn check cnn on what see i'm on cnn florida what about florida governor florida governor what happened oh my he's about to win by 20 oh he's about to win by 20 wow Um, let's see here. How are we looking in... People are saying we're looking good in New York. I want to see it first. I need to see it to believe it. In New York, you can uh, Okay, so we're doing, new um... Man. Queens. Zeldin's at 31% in Queens. That's good. That is really good. Totally New York good. reports oh, uh, the first, right? Niagara County just came in, and Hochul's leading there with sixteen percent. Hmm. Yeah, I'm again. I'm just going to wait. Fung is done. Niagara County is a Trump plus nine county. You know, I, I'm not going to call for uh, the Democrat yet, but we just got to see. Okay, this is going to be. Doug Mastriano. So Bud is one. I I think we can call that for Bud at this point. Dixon's within ten. Barris, oh look, John Gibbs is leading by nineteen. Okay. People are saying that Barris is um, it's not looking good for uh, Dixon. John Gibbs um, is up by he, nineteen. Barris, it's real. Barris hasn't said literally anything. The last thing Barris has said was an hour ago saying Hung Cow has taken the lead in Virginia's 10th. Wow. Well, apparently he's streaming. I don't know. Um, go Philly Street for five for five dollars. Forgot uh, how how many concern trolls there are during these, their elections. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Check George a second. Bishop lead is narrowing. Uh, let's see. George a second. Yeah, so... Bishop's only up by three. If these results are so weird. Again, places we've seen that are fully done. It's a basically a 12-point shift. He did shift. it! He did it! Huh? No, wait. No, I can't count. I'm retarded. Never mind. <laughs> 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 My bad. I'm sorry, everybody. Right. Also, also... Oh, hey, look. Uh, Kill D is losing know. right now. I'm feeling optimistic about also, Michigan. Also, in Ohio's first district with 40% of the vote, and Greg Landsman has a 20-point lead on Steve Chabot. Oh no! Trust the plan. What? Also, to Dom Bacon's losing by um, a safe margin right now with forty-two percent in, oh, fifty-seven for forty-three, sake. and with twenty-seven percent of the vote in, Mike Flood is losing to Patty Pants and Brooks, also Trust by a safe the margin. Plan. This is not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good. Where? In place like Nebraska, second Nebraska first. Yeah, for Nebraska is looking good for Republicans right now. It might just be early vote, but um, that's what I think. Both, okay, okay, okay. Both James, Flood and Bacon are losing. James, 
I am only seeing 10% of the vote, and this is all entirely early vote. I don't oh, see Oh, no, I, I see... No, on New York Times, it's 42% and then 27%. Oh, New York Times is like dog crap when it comes to freaking reporting. Uh, let's see okay. here. It, no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at... Um... Vance is taking the lead in Ohio. Yes. Oh, uh, Sean Kasten's district is exactly even. Both her candidates are 50%. So the question is, what's left in Georgia? That's about it. Hassan under 60. Okay. okay. So, so the Boldick next is picking it up. I mean. Is Nevada. I know. Again, I understand this is just early votes. But it is, you know, some places I'm not a big fan of some of these results that are coming in. That's all. Not dooming. I'm just being kind of realistic. Uh, Waukesha is um, 1% in. Michael's at 60. Good. Ohio Republicans have swept the Supreme Court. They've won every seat. Where? In Ohio. The Supreme Court of Ohio. Good. Okay, that means they'll probably overturn the redistricting laws and then they'll just make a they'll make a stronger gerrymander. Okay. Yep. Dixon down by eight. Um how's she do Grand Rapids is important for this election. I mean if she's up there. I good. mean, Gibbs is up in Grand Rapids, which means his Grant's Grand Rapids is probably going to be really red. Yeah, that's going to be the thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, Dixon's up 18 in Kent County. And that's a good sign. 39 look in look Ottawa. Up. Look at Wayne County. It's only 1% in, but it's it's just funny. It's 52 to 46. I, did, I can't see it. So, Dixon down by 4, yeah. So, this is what's going to happen, though. This is a majority of its early vote. So I'm just waiting. That's all I can really say. I mean, there some of these states are just taking their sweet time on the vote count. Okay. Do you think people are dooming too early again? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I have mixed feelings. R Rhode Island Republicans have gained about two seats in the state house. Uh, yeah, this is not. Let's see here. How is uh, JR losing? Hmm. Yeah, Bo Hines. He's down by eight with sixty-one percent in. I think he's gonna pull it off. Bo Hines will. I think the real question is if Pat Harrigan can pull it off, but that's not looking likely right now. Yeah, we're currently in a situation where I don't know what the hell is happening. That's Schumer is down. What's going on in the twenty third district? Florida. Of Texas. Look at the twenty third district of Texas. What, what's this? Where is it? Where's the border. Twenty third. Twenty third. Uh, it looks like the third party has a lot of support. Twenty third. Yeah, no, the third part. Yeah, the 23rd district. It's Tony Gonzalez. Plus 11. I see plus 11. Uh, well, it's uh, like the third party has 29% of the vote. Tony Gonzalez himself only has 39% of the vote, but the Democrat only has 31, and then there's a third party with 29. Yeah, Fox called Texas. Not surprised. That race is gone. So, yeah, we gotta figure this out. We gotta figure out what the hell's happening. Stitt's winning by a lot, like I expected. <clears throat> like, anybody with a brain would realize. This just in, Ted Budd has flipped Pascatank County. Okay. Pauling okay. County is. Yeah, been Bud's, pick it. Bud's gonna win by a lot. So, look, we, got, we are finally getting the election day votes, and look what's happening. But is picking up more and more and more votes. Chuck Grassley up by 18 points. That's it. Not competitive at all. I mean, how are we looking in Virginia? Because Virginia's seventh, it looks like we're to win. Yeah, House 10. Cal, uh, he came close, but. He just couldn't pull it off. Still have optimism for the Hung Cow. Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, Fung is done, right? I think Fung's done. Yeah, Fung is... 
Yeah, there's no way Funk can win. It's at 92% now, and it's 51 to 47. Now, on CNN, it's 87%, and then Funk's down by four. I'm not going to call it yet. Yes. I still have Hopium. Please don't crash it. I'm not going to call anything yet, because a lot of this is early vote. <laughs> That's why we can't just say, oh, you see Majewski. That's all early vote. Melly Takis up by about, like, what? 22%? Who knows? Let's see. Mike Lawler leads him. Leads Maloney. All my friends in Maryland are losing their shit over Westmore winning. Are they shocked? <laughs> no, they're just fucking angry. They now have to deal with a literal black nationalist anarchist as their governor. Wait, who? Westmore. Westmore. Oh, him, yeah. No, I'm not happy about it. Van Orden up by 30. Oh, crap. Oh. What? What? Vance is in, uh, go to see it. Go to New York Times. Um, Vance is within 10 in Cincinnati. Within 10? Where? Yeah. Uh, Cincinnati. Um, he's down by 32. What? What are you talking about? In Hamilton County. It just said he was down by 12. He's clearly down by 34 on my screen. <laughs> Are you also, looking at the right county? Also, also yeah, in New York. Okay, how we look... Also, okay. What? No, I was just going to say in New York, there's a bit of confusing results. Hopeshill seems to be doing okay upstate. Um, Suffolk County came in and Lee Zelda's winning that 57 to 43. But, like, um, but Hopeshill's winning um, Broome County, which is where um, Binghamton is by a lot. She's winning Schenectady. But, um... Like Buff, like Erie County, where Buffalo is, that's fifty-two to forty-eight for Hochul. Schenectady. Yeah, there's a lot of places not reporting yet. I am confused. Oh, and also it's... Zelda's winning Syracuse. There's or Onondaga County. It just weird. Doesn't seem like this has been a weird election night so far. You keep. Uh, why are you making up words? What? Huh? What? What does that even mean? I don't know what's happening, Texas 23rd. Also, DeSantis is up by 19. He's on pace to win by 20. Yeah, so DeSantis won by a lot. And that's what the election day voted. You know, they were up by around 9, 8 points, right? With early vote. Then when the election Kirk day Meyer is up by 18 in the 8th District of Colorado. They just swamped it after that. Yeah, I mean, all the places that we have... Full results in. It's about an 8 to 10 point shift, depending on the area. So. I might as well crack one open. So we, we need something up. How are we looking in Georgia? Down by 4. Uh, back to Florida. Yeah. Uh, Ohio's looking great. A lot of urban votes left to go. Not from what I can see. Not from what I see. Now, Hamilton, but is an election day vote. That's the key. Zeldin finally broke 30%. Where? Uh, it's statewide. I don't see it. Well, so something I noticed is Arizona's supposed to be counting, but they haven't reported anything yet. Oh, boy, this is a nightmare. Their, their polls closed at 9, and they still haven't reported anything. Well, most of the states that, that closed at 9 have reported. Okay, um... Yeah, Rhode Island second with the Magnizer. Shit. It's over. I'm crying. I'm coping. I'm seething. You know, I mean, it sucks. Not amazing. Kind of an L. Kind of an L. Yeah, so we'll... I mean, look at Queens. Zelen's 31% there. That's pretty good. Jesus, this is a freaking nightmare of election already. So Walker's down by four. So yeah, this is just complete anarchy. RRH says that Spanberger is now favored. I don't know, man. It's a total toss-up. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> kind of cringe. Che I gotta check Twitter because I, I have... don't believe this. I'm seeing some people call it for Spanberger. Uh, 
I mean, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I, I'm just confused. Is can I'm really also confused. That? Now, everybody's also confused. confused. What's going on here? What's happening? We have no clue. Okay, so VPAP has Vega up by like a percent. Ninety-five uh, percent yeah, is down by twenty points at thirty-six percent of the vote. Damn, it's so sus. I'm so so much for pandering, everybody. How is that going? Please shut up. What? What? Huh? Everyone in Connie T is now dooming. Wait, what the fuck? What? Okay, well, I guess John Kennedy's gonna win with like a thirty-point lead. You surprised? No, but like, look, go look, look at that. There's two Democrats for the yeah, because it's the, the, the primary. Yeah, it's a jungle primary, I think. Th that's stupid, Louisiana. What the hell are y'all smoking? Like, yeah, jungle primaries are honestly stupid as hell. Okay, so let's look at states that we do have most to vote in. States we do have most to vote in. Republicans swamped it. I, it just there's so much left that they're not counting. Ted Bud up by two. How is Bucks County? Bucks. We're, Pennsylvania is currently only 20% in. And let me check. I, I can check the Secretary of State website right now. I'm an optimistic. You know, I want to see here. Walker's plunging That's unpredicted. So... Shit. So, Bud is up by 2%. See, this is what I mean. But is when the election day votes came in North Carolina, he went from down from two to three to more and more and more. They just kept picking it up. So Okay, here we go. So there are places that have reported election day votes in PA. These results are just confusing. That's the best way to describe it. Um, let's see. Zelda uh -oh. leading Buffalo. Lauren Bobert down. Resistors win again. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> People are dooming when not even all of the votes are counted. That's very, very unusual. I'm not surprised. Well, I'm just saying, look at North Carolina. All right. Bud is winning by around two and a half points with 73% of the vote in. He's going to win the rest of these votes overwhelmingly. The election day votes came in, and look what's happening. They call me a doomer, but everywhere else except Florida is looking great. North Carolina looks great because he's on pace for a five, six point victory. Like anybody, everybody said. JD Vance has taken the lead in Ohio. We already said that. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. said it. What? Yeah, well, he, he already took the lead a while ago. <laughs> Judge rules close, polls. Close. Well, okay. No, shut up. Hold on. Shut up. This is important. This is important. Judge <laughs> rules polls close at 7 p.m. in Maricopa County, denying Lake Masters RNC's lawsuit to move to dead polls, a deadline to 10 p.m. following polling site Oh, issues. no. Cringe. That's not good. Vance has expanded his lead to two points over Ryan. People really think Bo Hines is going to lose. I'm done. Yeah, they have Vance called the 14th up. district for Jeff Jackson. So Vance is How is Bo up. Hines doing right now? Hines? He is down by 8 points. How much of the vote is in? 62%. Okay, I mean, that's not great, but that's not terrible. I mean, that this, the last 25% is going to be super Republican. That's what I'm saying. The amount of dooming is just insane. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, okay, some of these states, like, for example, some people say dooming about Georgia. It's 69 nice percent in. Rest of these votes are going to be Republican. I'm going to be optimistic. No more dooming. Zelda is gaining Queens. Yes, Zelda will win Queens. We're being optimistic now. 
So Walker's picking it up. Yep, it looks like Walker's picking it up. Vance is surging now. Vance up by three now. What's left? It looks like it's going to be the rural parts of the state. I'm seeing Walker down bad. I'm seeing New York Times is down by only two. Majewski is making steam. He's Chris getting West close. Huh? Majewski's getting close. That's good. Yeah, go look at Chris West's margins. Where? Georgia second. Oh, that's it's, right. That's right. Still... It looks wow. Like you know Only down by a point. Georgia Republicans should mid just mid decade it if Chris West wins. So we're look, we're picking it up right now. I mean Cassie Garcia. So this is the current map of the Senate. I think we call it Illinois at this point, uh, Connecticut. So uh Colorado. I, I think we can assume that. I mean It's over for Jody. One of my Ohio friends just said I've seen way too many early results I've seen way too many early results to take Ohio seriously anymore. Now I get to laugh my ass off as uh, Oswald like down by Oh here we go. Oz, Oz getting close. Oz, okay. There's really nothing in PA. <laughs> That's the truth. Vance is ahead four points at 49% of the vote. Okay, there we go. Donald. Vance is picking up now. This That's is good to know. This is kind of what we need. So around 50%, 50 to 55%. That's when Republicans start to make gains. That's that's when they take leads about. Denald C. Bulldog. Will he win? Let's see here. Milwaukee's 38% and Evers at 40%. Ooh, or 60%, uh, 70%. Oh, shoot. That's not as good as Biden. That is the good part. But it's all early votes, right? Yeah. That I Now, Wisconsin's weird. Sometimes it's early vote. It's like, just pick normally. But no, it has to be this complicated BS. Michael's at 61.3, not as good as I would prefer. Tim and Waltz is only up by two points in Minnesota. The oh, hell? Oh, yeah, J.D. Vance took the lead. Yeah, we that, said that, that like five times. I said that, time. I, said that oh, five times. I, I forgot. I just saw what? I just forgot all You Ohio forgot from five seconds ago? Obloquy on D. Yeah, I forgot. I just clicked on Ohio and I saw it. Okay, um, this is full Oz on is picking we. up, so... I, th I mean, it's I mean, so I early. My, I think my Oz plus six prediction is gonna... Oz, Vance is not up. losing. Okay, chat, Vance is not losing. He's winning by 4% now, and the rest of the votes will be Republican-leaning. <laughs> um, 51%, still 4%. Vance has just flipped Lake County and Goga. Insane. You think Majewski can pull it off? Yeah. Yeah, he's getting so close. How is he doing right now? 57 to 43 with only 54% in. So that's going to be election okay. day votes, we assume. Right? Yes. If we're correct, that's going to be a lot of election day votes. So So we're looking pretty good across... We're actually... Some areas it's looking pretty good. Some other areas look like a complete shit show. But... I want to see how he's doing. Uh, Zeldin is doing really good in Queens. That is really good. He's at 35%. What Trump got, I think, 27%. That's actually really good. That's really so good, that's actually. So that he needs that. He needs to get about, you know, seven, eight point shift in New York City. About. He's at 67% in Nassau County. That was like Trump by a point. No, yeah, Trump but it's lost less than it. It's less than 1% of the vote. It's less than 1% of the vote. It was a, oh. it was a Biden plus 9 county. It was, yeah, the Biden oh. plus 9 county. Oh, that, Wait, that's, Nassau that's, that's, was a Biden county? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nassau. Uh, Suffolk is a Trump county vote times. Ah, that's the Trump plus one county. Well, it's Trump plus zero county more. <laughs> Zeldin is leading in Ulster County, too. Pretty good. Everyone was dooming and on my Twitter timeline, so I just logged out. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how to feel. It. People are losing I mean, there's some good results, some, like, shit results. What is happening in Virginia at 7th? I don't freaking know. It's complete chaos. It's Nobody knows! I need Virginia 7th to flip so my house district map is accurate. Oh, I'll be right back. I need... If my map, if my prediction is not 100% accurate, I'm ending it all. Do it anyway. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. no, Bennett is gaining. Yeah, no, Bennett is gaining momentum, and more Colorado votes are coming in. So O'Day is losing. It's oh, yeah, he's losing it's over. by how much? It looks like Henry Cuellar is going to win by a safe margin. That just nothing makes sense right now. It's going to be. We can predict North Carolina. Right, I am officially back, Jackson. everybody. Thanks for cutting me off. Just like we quickly. can now predict that North Carolina will go for Dead Bud. What's the margin now? Um, the margin is two points at seventy-five percent. Yeah, it's over. Two and a half. It's over. And how yeah, much was Trump? When did Trump take the lead? When he was at like eighty percent? Yeah, eighty seventy-five, eighty percent. So Ted Bud is gonna win by a but a likely margin. Chris Nasciamento is leading the fourth district of Pennsylvania, fifty-four to forty-six. Ken Buck. I'm literally like so confused right now. Yeah, some like, of these what? results are just. I mean, you look at results that are fully done, and it's like 12, 13. All right, so Nate, Cohn, so Nate Cohn just said something. So far, Democrats are running ahead of expectations outside of Florida in places with meaningful votes, which may still be contaminated with early votes. They're way, they're way behind. They're way, they're running way behind in Florida. It's almost canceling each other out at the moment. That's interesting, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, if Virginia's 10th is within five, six points, I mean, that's not great, is it? That's terrible for Democrats. It's like a 15-point shift. Yeah, I yeah, it was mean, like I, a bind plus 18. Yeah, and like Virginia's 7th is like very inelastic, and like Spanberger is like an actually like half-decent candidate, unlike Luria or Wexton. So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I, could run, I could piss in a bucket, and we'll, get, we'll run a better campaign than Luria. True. Yeah, I mean, some of these results, I mean, it's about that... After 35, 40% of the votes counted, that's when Republicans just gain everything. Are we still hopeful about Hong Tao and Alan Fung? I think Fung, like, didn't multiple people call for magazine or already? Oh, rap. Check New York. Um, Walker's within point four now. Georgia, you mean? Russia yes. Walker's running in the great state of New York. Yes. <laughs> Big move from Herschel. There we go. Here we go. Again, it's about this time, that's when Republicans pick it up, around, you know, 40-50%. After that, it's Republican. I had an English teacher who would always talk about Herschel Walker, and this is before he even got into politics. He was just, like, a really big football fan. I have a feeling that uh, the Florida results like made everyone feel super optimistic about GOP chances. Some of these early results make people doom, and then like the and and then by the end of the night, people will feel better again. That's just my gut feel. Yeah, I think we're gonna, Republicans. We're, we're gonna be in um we're gonna be in a situation where we realize yeah we're doomed over freaking nothing. It's small results. It's like like there are parts Republicans are underperforming expectations. There are some areas absolutely, but it's not this. You know, massive. You know, fifty point underperformance. Yeah, it's more regional, and I've had this feeling for a while that this could be a more regional midterm, and it looks like it could be that way. Yeah, that's what's looking. We like. are not gonna doom. We are gonna be optimistic. We're gonna be hopeful. Zelda twenty three percent of the Bronx. Everybody's saying that's good news. That if that's the case. I, I don't know anything about the Bronx, so I can't comment. He's at 23. He's at 23. Oh my gosh, that's big. He was, Trump got 16 here. One interesting thing is that Cuellar is doing really much better. Walker's than taking the lead! Walker's taking it! It's over well, it's for yeah, Warnock. Yeah. At this point, it's either going to be a runoff or Walker wins. That's also, how I see Chris, it. Chris, Chris West is taking the lead. What? Chris West is taking oh the lead. Oh my god. That's gonna Here's be a Chris West. Win. Is that actually real? Yeah, it is. He's yeah. taking the lead. He's it, it, winning by less than a like less than a like it's like a not even, it's like a, it's like by like five votes. Okay, if Republicans are almost winning Georgia second, Virginia tenth, about to flip Virginia seventh. Okay. 
It's gonna happen. It's gonna be a red wave, guys. Are you sure? Colorado's been called. Been at one. Wow! Congratulations! I expected that. What do you want? A trophy? Not really that surprising. Um, yeah, like, is Georgia's second really about to flip, or is that it, just, it just flipped? Yeah, what? How much of the vote is there? They're leading now. In fact, they're, they've just gained a bit of ground. They're, it's now 50 points. How much of the vote is in Georgia's second? It's about 50%. Yeah, That's happened. interesting. I mean, and, if this if Georgia's Georgia. second is competitive, then yeah, this is uh, this is a very good year for Republicans. But it, here's the thing: what's let I'm looking Virginia at Virginia second's been called. We won. We won. Yes, I called it. We won. Ago. We won. Who called it? See it. Uh, who called it? Like I did. It? Who oh. did? Oh. You freaking! I did. I'm no. I'm completely serious. It looks like we're going to win Virginia second. I oh. don't see how the Democrat can make it. We came to a consensus on this five hours ago. Hey, everybody, North Hung Carolina. Cow lost ground. What? Hung Cow just lost ground. He's now it's now fifty three forty seven with eighty eight percent in. Yeah, it's over. What Cringe. I'm, but it's gonna be close. That, that's it's gonna be if it's within like ten points. That's I mean, if it's within like five six points, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's not amazing, amazing, but like it's it's a it's a it's a very blue seat, and um, I I think we'll see the final margin, but yeah, not Man. amazing, but not terrible. Okay. So Oz is only down by ten points now. Oz is down by twenty three. Twenty three. He's about ten points <laughs> underperforming. So that's like the early vote, right? Like the actual mail-ins. Who freaking knows? I mean, because Trump was leading in PA big time, but. I don't even know, man. It's very know, confusing. Everything's confused. I, I don't think anybody's going to say what's going on here. Everything is out the window. I mean, this is just... I'm confused. <laughs> I just don't know what's happening. There's a lot That's of races. they want you to be. It looks like that Spanberger's favorite in District 7. Really? Shit. What makes you think that? That's what... I don't believe that, it. That's what New York Times is saying, but... Get, their models can sometimes be, uh, how do I put this like nicely? Shit. I'm not believing it. Do you really believe it? I no, don't. I don't know. People are saying check Wisconsin. We're taking it to the end zone. Okay, Michaels is down by 12 right now, Wisconsin. Fuck. I A lot of it's from Michaels. Michaels. Most of it's from. Let's see here. What's going on in Arizona? I don't know. Arizona's not counting. I don't... I... I don't know what's happening anywhere. This is a complete nightmare of an election. I unironically thought it was pronounced Mickles. Are you... It's oh, Michaels. Probably cut it out. It's Michaels. Don't mess with him like that. Uh, yeah, I sure don't know what's happening. How about a quiet... For, how about being quiet for... Oh, you suck. What did you say, Trent Kill? No, Shut up, nerd. Oh, boy. I'm not a nerd. Yes, you are. Okay. You've got some of the thickest fucking glasses I've ever seen on them. <laughs> okay. Jensen up in Minnesota. Yeah, it's like 2% the vote in. I wouldn't use very much evidence of that. Yeah, it's 1% in. Now everyone on the timeline is saying that, um, that uh, Republicans are underperforming. I don't even know what the hell is going on. Do not believe them. They will be proven wrong. They were wrong uh, Arizona before, and they'll be at, wrong again. Uh, Arizona closed at 10. I thought they closed at 9. 9 p.m. Eastern. You know, so the like, ancient Greek playwright, Sophocles, had a problem. Oh, right. Never trust a prophet that's who right. was wrong multiple times. That's right. Arizona doesn't count ballots until an hour after. That's right. Boldick passed 40. Yeah, so Boldick is... um. He's picking up, it just, I don't think it's enough. In, uh, in 15 minutes, we'll get Nevada, Utah, and Idaho. We should we'll get be... To see Evan, we'll get to see Evan McMullen become a senator. The, oh, was, my God. We, this, this is this is just... Uh. I don't know what's happening. I really, you know... Because usually it's like, okay... We have an understanding of a midterm, but this is all over the place. This is a very weird midterm. Yeah. At the very least, it's not going to be a red tsunami, but it could still absolutely be a wave here. 
Stop doubting, stop dooming. So Walker is getting very close to avoiding a runoff. He's coming very close. The Libertarian was pretty weak this year, so it's he's still going to take. He's still going to take like two percent. <laughs> That's how things have gone. So this is the governor's map. Uh, how are we looking in Illinois? Yeah, Bailey won that race. He's uh, lost that race. Stacey Abrams detained in Atlanta. <laughs> So Rhode Island went Democrats, so did Massachusetts, Con Connecticut. Cringe. Good job, Connecticut. You did a great job. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Yeah, right now Abbott's up nine on O'Rourke with about 44%. In. Okay. People are saying Ron Johnson's only at 63%. He's only at... Oh, he's at 63% of Waukesha. That's good, right? Not really. Not for Ron Johnson. That's kind of bad. Eh. Eh, it's not great, but he's going to get great rules. It's not... Well, it does... We got to see. We really don't know. Does Monster have a chance? I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Doug Mastriano statistically has a shot at winning, and that is what we will say. Yeah, I. That's all I could say because chaos. Okay, more bots. May we please have a normal election result? No. With the Biden? No way. Find your. Okay, Oz is below 10. Is down by only 10 points now. Yep, he is. Mm -hmm. He's closing the gap. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, Virginia second. Okay, Bishop won that race easily. You mean Georgia's second? Georgia's second, yeah. How much did Bishop no. win it by? He's in a, he's up by seven now. Cringe. Okay. We need a break somewhere, and we'll see where we get it. The NYT needle is back. It is still useless, though. So, I don't know. Let's see. We're back up by 9. We're talking about with Sanford Bishop. He's only up by 0.7. I thought you said, no, I thought you said he was up by 7. He, he's down. He's up by like like 7 now. 7 uh, points or like 0.7? No, no, no. He's, 7. He, no, Sanford Bishop's only... It's 50 point... I, on CNN, he's up by a lot. Okay, what did Bear say in locals? <laughs> okay, this is funny. Mastriano is winning Amish County Oz with 61 percent, no and Oz is winning er, the Oz Amish County. Ten, Oz is no longer outside yeah. ten points. My bad. He's within eight points now. Yeah, we're seeing that. This is real. Mastriano is actually on uh, overperforming Oz in the Amish oh, County. Oh, Walker did it. Walker broke. Walker broke 50 percent. He did. New York. He, he did. did. Whoa! That's the yep, break we did. fucking need it. Let's go. If he gets above 50. The rest of the votes should be more favorable to him. So at this point, it's going to be expanding his lead. Oh, hey, look. Vance is up by five now. Yeah. I think we're getting the break we needed, boys. Okay, like, there we go. Yep, I'm calling for Vance. It's over. It's he happening. Won. He's up by six with 60% left. What's left? Uh, Bolduc is now within 20. We'll see. How much of the vote is in in New Hampshire, eh? Hey? Uh, not a lot, actually. It's only like 20%. That's insane. I mean, we'll see how the... Go ahead. Okay, 34. So we could call Vance's one, Ohio. We're at 45 Senate seats now. About to be 47 about with Utah and Idaho. Mehmet Oz. Okay, 10 minutes until Nevada closes. So we are... I think at this point we're... We're starting, like... Remember 2016... We got the break around 8.50 p.m. Or 8.30 p.m. was when things started to shift all our way. Uh, Bears saying young voters for Cleefish. Are we ready for Nevada to come in? It's yep. 10 minutes until Nevada. So, at this point... Nevada's going to take forever, just yeah. like Arizona. So, Idaho and Utah are in. We're currently at 47. All right. Alaska's going to Republican. So, we're really at 48 Senate seats. 
Yeah. I freaking hate independence. That is true. I'm getting sick of some of these people. Oh, yes, the economy is falling apart. I, I don't have a good 401k anymore. I'm still going to vote Democrat. I remember in like 2018. Certain people will literally vote for the destruction of the com of the country just because they're scared of the color red. What the heck? What the heck is this? Look what? At, look at Fayette County, Illinois. Duckworth got 69. Nice percent of the vote here. Trump won this I... in central... Uh, Central Illinois. Trump got 80% of the vote here. Where, where, it must county? be an error. That has to be an error. What county? I don't see it. It's in Central Illinois for the Senate race. Look at the shift map. Mashiano broke 40%. It's happening, folks. Well. Who joined? He's only trailing Oz by like 4%. That should be good. Oh, yeah. New York is still blue. It's going to be a... Close race, I still think. New Mastriano. York. In New York. So, New everything is going to shit. I am... I need to see if Zeldin breaks 40. I need to see... Um. So, um. yeah, Hunk Howe's lost and Alan Fung is lost. I, I'm sorry for repeating myself a thousand times, right? Cringe, Ronchetti is down by 11. Oh, but that's early vote, right? Who, do, who knows with some of these states? I mean, apparently somebody's saying Sandy Smith. How is Sandy Smith doing? Is she overperforming or underperforming? She's doing way worse than expected. I last my check. She's down by Sandy Smith is down by like eight. Yeah, she was Jesus. I don't think Bohine uh, is down by seven. He's not going to win. Are you shitting me? Oh. Um, Esther Joy Kang is above um, uh, Eric Sorensen, fifty-three to forty-seven. No, Bo Hines, is, Bo Hines is losing. Are you kidding me? He's do He was 70% in. He's down by 7. Okay, I think the last 30% should break for ours, though. By a lot. This election's been a freaking disappointment. Virginia 7th just flipped. <sighs> the election's not even over. Wait, Virginia 7th flipped a scumbag? It's a disappointment because some of these results are just... Baffling me. Wait, Virginia 7th flipped a Spanberger, are you sure? Yep, on CNN. Damn it. I see. And we're barely winning uh, Texas 15th. Barely. Okay, what the hell was this? Look at this shit from 2020. What? Oh, yeah, that... This hurts my brain. This shift map is not making much sense to me at all. Wait, where is Maestriano behind Oz on 4% at? New York Times has uh, North Carolina... Really? They haven't leaned R. They haven't leaned in R. Okay, that's a good sign. That means... What's mean? A lot of Republican votes left. Douglas Vic... What is... Hold on. Douglas Vincent Mastriano. He will win. I don't know. So, Virginia 7th is done. That's fucking terrible. <laughs> Shit! Oh, it's decision desk. Oh, oh. Oh, the decision desk had it had had it flipping, right? No, decision, CNN. Decision, oh. decision desk has Mastriano behind Oz by four percent. That doesn't. What does decision desk have Virginia seven? So we lost that race. That's fucking terrible. Inshallah, Mehmet Senji's Oz wins. Yeah, this is not good. Dr. Mehmet Senji's PhD. Oh, wow. Look at us. Uh, look at Sydney Actually's race. Iowa's third district. He is an MBA. Oh, no, he's She's 60 40 with 40% in. Look at a BA. And Malinowski's winning too? Yeah, Malinowski's up right now by a decent margin, by a safe margin. With 41 Wait a minute. In. This is actually funny. Mastriano has a PhD, but Oz doesn't. That's actually not what I expected. Mastriano has. I a wonder PhD. if Republicans get a break somewhere because this is bad. Ebbett's only up by ten right now. He's not doing that good, you know, for a Bennett? Republican Texas in this environment. Bennett said Abbott. 
Damn it. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's doing worse than DeSantis, which is surprising. Nah, not that surprising, but I'm, I'm feeling yeah, pessimistic like, right now. He's doing, like, nine points worse than DeSantis. In 2013, Mashiana completed a PhD history in history. Wow. So, uh, uh, Boldick's under 15 now. That's a good sign. That's good. Man, I, I, I hope my prediction doesn't come true. What? Mastriano loses, but Dixon wins, and then Pennsylvania stolen in 2024, but Michigan is called for Trump. Dixon's within six. Yeah, I know it's just begun. I mean, there's still a lot of votes to be counted, but it's, it just doesn't seem like it's a red wave. Even though every single indicator favored that. It's okay, Florida was red. We can... we can. We can. Give me there's some help, guys. Is, Ever, still a lot more is ever Cersei about to freaking win? Are you kidding me? You're not... Please don't say that. People are saying Zeldin just crossed the threshold. Uh, crossed the threshold. Let's see here. He is at 36% of Queens. Yes, that's what he needs. 26 it's Brooklyn. It's going to be so fucking stupid if we somehow manage to win every major race and a couple upsets, but we don't get Pennsylvania. Like, if we get New York but not Pennsylvania, I just don't know what the fuck I'll do. I mean, I won't do anything, but y'all know what I mean by that. Oz within six, it's happening. County doesn't look good for Zelda, 48% in, and Kathy Hochul has an eight point lead. Oh, wait, just got cut down to a six point lead. Mm. Walker lost the lead. So, uh, uh, what threshold did Zelda cross? He's getting the New York City numbers he needs. Why can't they count votes faster? Yes. They're counting votes with the energy of a tired snail coming back from a funeral. Uh, two minutes, the Nevada poll. Yeah, Nevada's both the and, uh, poll close. Close. Yeah. Okay. How are we looking? Wood, about the same as Trump, I, would, I think, right? Yeah, it's actually about the same as Trump, so... Herschel Walker and John Fetterman are going to start the short bus caucus in the Senate. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what I... Look. Does anybody know what's actually left to count? What's election day? What's early vote? Because I have no freaking clue. I don't know either. Because it's total anarchy. I don't understand what the fuck is happening at all. I don't either. I mean, it, it looks like every competitive seat so far is leaning Democrat. That's insane. Um, we'll see how much it changes when the uh, vo the hundred percent of the vote is in, though, right? Yeah. One minute until Nevada comes in. Uh, let's see. So Pennsylvania is starting to pick it up. So we have won North Carolina. We have won Ohio. Pennsylvania odds is within five. Question is this. Can he keep it up? Yeah, I'm not dooming. I'm just saying like some of these results I'm having some brain malfunctions about. <laughs> okay, Chabot is crawling back to a... Um, Back to a lead. He's down by only six now in Ohio first. It's... What if, like, at the end of the night, we just, like, have this huge surge? <laughs> uh, okay. So, so let's feel, face it. So, how would, we, how would we feel if we won 53 Senate seats? Pretty good. This all feel pretty good. North Carolina has the Supreme Court has flipped Republican. Good. Hooray. So it looks okay, like. About, I think in the House. Senate seats? What about 52 Senate seats? I would not be that happy. How is Man. Bucks County looking? Bucks County is only one, like 12% in. So, um, 
other than New Hampshire, what Senate seat do we think is most likely to flip blue in a 52 seat scenario? New York? Or not New York. Uh, what? Who knows? Uh, Ron Johnson with 40% is only down by two. I'm not a big fan of those Wow County. Now, Ozaki's pretty good. He's up by 10 there. Radical liberal Raphael Warnock. Um, this county is kind of surprising. It's one of those three coastal counties, and it's right by Duluth. Or Duluth, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Ron Johnson is leading there. Yeah, some of these shifts are just why. Uh, polls were just closed in the state of Nevada. So we need some good news out of some of these states. So we can call Utah and stuff for them. We need some good news out of... We need some good news out of Nevada. Gonna be Senator Evan McMullen. Uh, if Mr. Laxalt is not winning, it's over. Uh, Maricopa just dropped 800,000 ballots. Oh. Where? I don't see it. Jared Archer. Okay, okay uh, to close the call for New York... Yeah, this mm. is... Uh... This isn't very good, right? I am not happy with the results right now. Eight hundred forty-two thousand votes. Kerry Lake won forty-two percent, fifty-eight percent with the Hobbs. That's early votes. I'm coping so hard right now. Shit. It's fine. It's fine. Everything it's fine. is going to not according to plan. That's the best way to describe it. Yes. <laughs> Not okay. Kate Kaku at all. Okay, do we know how much of this is early vote and how much of it's this all early is... vote? It's all yeah. early vote. So why are we dooming this? I'm not because it's much larger than we expected. We need to stop dooming. We need to be hopeful. I'm being schizo right now. I'm going between like dooming and coping between every five seconds. So yeah, I'm. I am liking the number Zeldin is getting in New York. That is a really good sign. No, I'm just not. I'm so just. Do you think? Okay, New New Hampshire is only twenty six percent, and Baldick is only behind by twenty thousand. Yeah, I know votes. it's way too early. There's absolutely there's a lot of things that could happen. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying there's not. It's you know not going to happen. I'm, I'm more concerned. I'm most concerned about Georgia right now. Walker's only ahead by one by point one, and Brian Kemp's only up by three. According to the decision, I'm just extremely confused right now. Uh, I'm going to wait until every vote is counted. But I think what's happening is that Republicans are not doing that well right now. But I do think they're going to surge by the end of the night. So Oz, right? is, yeah. So Oz is down by only four now. This is my prediction of Oz plus six is going to hold pretty well. So it's looking Soon like we... may the Fetterman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. Oh, please stop. I'm sorry. Yeah, it... Oz being behind, Oz being behind by four at 39 percent is really. Yeah, crazy. that is a good sign. I mean, that is one. Of the, that is one of the big red pills right now. It's not that big of a crush. It's Fetterman's not up by that much. So, now the thing I'm confused is how Grassley down by 12. You know? Yeah, I don't know how Chip Grassley's down by 12. It's like, I, like I don't, I don't get what people like. I don't get why people would like be angry with Chuck Grassley. He's just. I mean, he's like 80, so you know. Yeah, he's well. He's Chuck Grassley. Yeah, well, he's 80. Who cares if he's 80? He's Chuck Grassley. Look at New Mexico governor. Um, Ryan Keddy's down by seven. That's not too bad. No, I, I think I think people are overreacting early, oh, and I think like here, Ron. Jo okay, yeah. Here's the thing. You look at a place like, for example, Ozaki uh -huh. County. It's forty-two percent, and Ron Johnson win by ten. This is a count. Well, that's actually underperforming to Trump. Hmm. Oh, uh, people are saying Black Masters. What happened in Arizona? Did we have Blake results? Masters oh, Masters will is win. up. Masters is up in Arizona. Oh, oh, oh. Masters is up in Arizona? Hold but on. That's with Alex. Oh, are... He's up by... Ghost or sweep. 22,000, oh. but that's without Maricopa. 
It'll happen. It'll happen. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. That's really hopium, good. Hopium, hopium, hopium. Red wave imminent. This is going to happen. If my center predictions are right, I will I will go to bed happy. That is a really good sign right there. Blake takes a big lead early, but again, that's without Maricopa, so. What what are we what what are, where are we using here? I'm CNN. using CNN. New York Times um Okay, New York Times. Whoa, wait, what? New York Times doesn't have Arizona reporting yet. Now they do. Okay, this oh. is this is broken. What what the heck? Yeah, it, it it's not in. Mer so, Masters is down by one hundred thirty thousand votes, according to the New York Times. Masters will win. Total Blake Master at winning. Anarchy. Walker's up by point one. Just saw someone say Ron DeSantis is only one due to gerrymandering. <laughs> it's the GQP gerrymandering. Okay, this is good news. So Maricopa County, Mark Kelly's up by 170,000. Okay. Uh, go Phillies 3 for 5 for $5. We gotta stop giving Democrats weeks to bank votes. Oh my gosh, it's, uh, it's 9 p.m. I need to go get something to you. I'll okay, so we're looking... Okay. All right. Oz is only down by 3.6 now, looks like. He's doing way I better think, now. He's picking it up. I think my, I think my prediction of possible picks is going to be pretty accurate. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't see it. I think there's something weird going on. Like, how can we be doing so well in certain states, but like be underperforming in Virginia seventh by so much? Something's off. I'm telling you. Like, look at Florida. I, I understand Florida is a different animal, but every single county shift with Republican. By almost double digits in most cases. Uh, Clark County is now reporting mail-ins. Why am I not surprised? I seriously am questioning what's going on. <laughs> because there's just so much like... Uh, Mash up 12... Grisham underperforming in Santa Fe. She is. Good. So there is, like, you look between the lines, there are good indicators. So Kerry Lake is down by 115,000 votes. Maricopa, she's down by 140. Okay. <sighs> okay. Schweikart's, Schweikart's down by 14. Wow, 14. Yo voy a votar por Yesli Vega. What the hell is going on? Chaos. Uh, Wyoming, it's happening. It's the Liz Cheney effect. Harriet Hageman is down. <laughs> Connecticut's within 10, but that's only with 23% voted. It's... Never be blackpilled. This is currently like a wet fart of a midterm. <laughs> Based on what we got. Stop blackpilling yourself. This is a good midterm. Yeah, this is bad. Um, if if <laughs> nothing changes by twelve, then um, if nothing. Oh God. I mean, if nothing changes by twelve o'clock, then I'm just. <laughs> Damn. It's Jover for this country. Are there any white pills right now? Florida. That That's about it. And North Carolina. North Carolina, he keeps expanding his lead. And Hines is picking it up. He's only down by six now. So... It's happening, folks. It's happening. You're going to win. Good will prevail over evil. Mastriano Fetterman voters. <laughs> Seize. That hurts my brain, just thinking about that. Yeah. 
How are we doing so good in Flor New York, Florida? Yeah. So a state like Ohio, for example, Vance is going to win this race probably by like 10, 12 points. Ted Bud, probably closer to like six, like my prediction. Florida, Ruby will run by 20 almost. New York, Zellins are pretty good up there so far. So it's just a matter of what. And New Hampshire. What the hell is that? Sununo's only up by 10. I'm kind of surprised by that. Shoo, go, go. You would think you'd be up by a lot more than that. So Hassan's down uh, up by 14. So the polls were, cool, cool, cool. you know, the polling was off in many states. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was definitely off in Florida. Oh, yeah, just by a little bit, that's all. Just a tiny, tiny margin. Slide them out. So, hmm. Maricopa County, yeah, Mar everybody knows Maricopa came in. 52% in Masters down by 20. It is, again, it is still, got plenty of hours ago. Isn't there a ton of, like, uh, how much uh, um, election day vote was in Arizona? I think it was, uh, I honestly don't know. It'll be real. Let's see here. Abbott's winning by round eight. Gregory Abbott. By round eight. Um, and how much of the vote is in? It's okay. It's For mostly what? early vote. People are overreacting to a lot of early voting. Only D plus six. Indiana first is getting closer. Okay, so Indiana first. Ruth Green's only down by six. Okay, there is some, you know, red pills. Yeah, half of it. Half of it's still open. So, like, there's potential for Ruth Green to win. Like there, there's a bunch of indicators that say Republicans are doing phenomenal. You know, for example, like Indiana first. Let's see. Mason Lawrence for five. New York Times gives Walker sixty-two percent chance of winning right now. Yeah. So Oz taking lead. People are giving on PA for some reason. Mashiano Oz will win. Yeah, I don't know. We will never be black pilled, okay? So we got. I mean, for sure, we got a couple flips already. Now, how are we looking in? Bo Hines, I think, is on pace to win. Is be close, but he's going to win. NYT has called Colorado for the Bennett. How is Bo Hines' district close? That's just weird. Uh, Colorado has been called. Cringe. Bo Hines is, I mean, it is a Biden this year. Good one, huh? Yeah, but it's not going to be that. How much do you think he wins by five? Who knows? So we're looking. We're gonna flip a bunch in Arizona. That, that Arizona looked pretty good so far for the house race, at least. Yeah, we flipped the Crane District and we flipped the Cisco Monty District. Yeah. What did um, you put pull off a victory? Stan District is left outstanding. Everything. We don't know about that one. Everything about to go right in Mas for Mastriano. He is down by 15 right now. So, what's left? I don't know. Bobert's losing. Is she? Uh, Early oh, vote. Bur Bobert's losing with 71% in. She's down by oh. four. Wait till all the votes are counted. Yeah, that's one of those where she, I think she'll win. Don Bacon is about to take the lead. Axney's up by seven in Iowa third. <sighs> Some of these numbers I am not liking whatsoever. Not at all. We need to wait for some good numbers. Aka. Uh, 
Oh. Okay, what the hell is going on? Like, are we actually fucked? I don't even think we take the house at this point. L. How, uh, Republicans aren't going to take the house. I don't think they will. Really? <laughs> it's going to be such a bad night if we lose the house, but we're not going to lose the house. We're going to win it. We're going to win it. It just, I mean, some of these results... We're going to get at least 220 look, seats. We're going to have at least look, 220 what I'm seats. Is I cannot explain a lot of these results. That's all I can say. That's... Temper. <sighs> Not good whatsoever. Gibbs is losing. Of course he is. Losing by 10. 33%. I'm gonna leave until um until better news comes. Or probably yeah, we need that. something to turn this line around. We need something. I mean, it just uh, can people understand for a second what seriously people are claiming? We're talking about only some states, states like Florida, Ohio, you know, state like even New York are indicating a Republican wave. But the rest of the states is like nothing, nothing. It's so weird. It is so weird. Okay, I should have said that, you know, Republican Decision the Desk house. has called it for Josh Shapiro. Well, there goes that. Like, the results so far has just been weird. But I, I think we're going to keep... Okay, I should clear my mind. We're going to take back the house. It just, it's not going to be as much as we need it to. It will be a functional majority. Barely. Here's the thing, though. The House will get right in 2024 because we have taken back the North Carolina and Ohio Supreme Court, which means redistricting is in our ball court. So, um, what would Rep say? So they keep slowing down. Walker's holding in Georgia. Like, there are good points. Like, Walker's holding on. Bud and Vance are going to blow it out of the water. I think a lot also depends on uh, how California goes. You yeah. know, the house race is there. Oh, we want no for like a, <laughs> a year. Well, because there's like Mike we Garcia and Dave, count. David Good. Belladale. Uh, wholesome DJ Aftershock for five for Virginia 7. Spanberger outran Biden rules. Good amount of Trump sp spook slash young can spook voters who buy into the blue dog slash moderate grift. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to be 250, yeah. Yeah, it's just not looking good right now. That's the... What else am I supposed to say? Like, I can't How come just... Nevada hasn't come in yet? Yes, that's why. Nevada should have come in by now. Uh, do the polls make Republicans complacent? That's probably what happened. But even then, the election eternal is ridiculous. Yeah. But it's just, I'm having some problems with some of these places. They're not counting votes. Whatsoever. They're not counting any election day votes. Like, look at like look at North Carolina. Look at this. It's all Republican shifts. <sighs> I can kick his ass. What? Okay, so... Mastriano Fetterman voters can cause Fetterman to win. I mean... Who knows? I mean, this is not at all what we expected. I mean, this swing map just hurts. <laughs> I should have listened. We should have listened. Like, for example, like, Ohio, it's looking like that Vance will crack, you know, a 10-point victory, bud, 5-6. Just, it's not as good as we originally wanted to. I'm going to wait until all the votes are counted. We are going to wait until every vote is counted. Let's see here. Be patient. I will be patient. I'm, I'm going to stay here for a while. I'm not going to go around and be like, oh, 
we lost the house. Like, I shouldn't have said that. That's my mistake. I admit that was stupid. But, not looking good. Like, we need, in my opinion, we need something major to happen. We need something, like, some good luck to change. But so far, we're not having luck at all. When Nevada comes in, the luck will shift. It will, yes, that's what I'm saying, Brendan. Yeah, well, Rap is dooming. I am kind of dooming. That's... I will admit I'm kind of dooming. I think we still get the house, but... Better Namo? Doitsu. Okay. No, it's Vash, though. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Fetterman... Okay. So Fetterman's up by around five points or so. RCP says seven pl uh, plus seven I house took, flips. I, okay, I kicked him out. Uh, I'm getting ticked off. Yeah, this is. I mean, this kind of proves the point of the R the GOP being useless. Why Brad Pfaff has taken the lead from Derek Van Orden? Okay, what? Wait, what? That's what it says yeah, in MIT. Brad, Brad Pfaff is leading. Is that how you say his name? It's I don't yeah. know. So, bad. you know what? We need to just calm down. I think what we need is just something good to go our way. Because we had Pennsylvania. Or I should say Florida looked good. Georgia's looking good for us. North Carolina's looking great. So is Ohio. Vance's foot to Montgomery County. That county voted for Biden. Okay, so Erie County, New York. That's about Olin. Trump lost by round 15. Zelda lost by round 5. Chuck Schumer is underperforming what he did in 2016. Was well, that kind of a surprise, though? I mean... It's true. But it's a good news, right? It's good news. Take the good news. Okay, so Grassley's winning now. Okay, there we go. Zelda is now at 37 in Queens. Okay, Wisconsin, please count votes. Don't just sit on your ass and do nothing. Date results, Michigan. <gasps> Dixon is now within, like, four. So Dixon's is picking up. I mean, they're, but Detroit's not in. Up. But Grand Rapids, 38%, and Whitmer's up by 13 Half of, like, the Upper Peninsula and the northern half of Michigan is not in either, so, you know. It's it's happening. I think people are overreacting, um, as usual. I I I think the Republicans are going to do worse in some places they were expected to do better in, and better in places they were expected to do worse in. How is the lake doing? Yeah, this is kind of just a this is kind of a black pill tonight. Paul Gosar has won the election. Just, uh, decision desk just called it for Shapiro. Yeah, we saw that. I haven't eaten yet. I've been too focused on my fucking polls here, man. So, I, what is there any silver lining tonight? <laughs> we flipped Palm Beach. Hooray! I mean... So, we're, so Van Orden's taking the lead. That's a good thing. I don't think it's over in Pennsylvania, frankly. I don't think it is either. I'm no, like, it's fifty-four percent with twelve in, and most of the most of the votes that are coming in are still Republican. Most of the called votes are like Philly and Pittsburgh. So let's see here. Philly is yeah. You know, okay. Majewski still gaining ground. Cold. Zeldin winning, yeah. Zeldin will win. Yeah, I, I just need to stop doing it. That's my problem. I'm just kind of Zeldin has flipped Rockland County. He did? It's a suburb of New York. 
Where is it? Okay, here we go. Rockland County. He's also flipped in Dutchess County. Okay, there we go. We got some good news now. We got some great news. Putman County, Trump won by round eight. Currently zone no, 20. He won that by two. He no, won. Biden won that by two. He, no, Putman went to Trump by eight. Oh, Putnam. I thought you were talking about. Hold on. Is this a disaster or is it just me? Who knows? Oh, yes. Zeldin also was leading in Renessler, which voted for Biden. Okay, these results in New York are actually really good. How many Biden counties has he flipped so far? He's one, flipped at two, least a couple. three, four. About like one. About like five Biden counties have flipped. I don't know. Most of them are suburban. Hold on. How how did he do in Queens actually compared to Trump? Three seven. I'm saying it right now. It is way too early to call New Hampshire, Arizona, Wait a minute. Pennsylvania, or Georgia. Trump ha Trump got twenty six percent in Queens. Zeldin's at thirty seven. This is actually yeah. pretty good. Remember, this is still like early vote. It's gonna be real. It's total chaos. They've called Nicole Maliotakis as the winner. Whoa, Zeldin's almost at 70% in Staten Island. That's exactly what he needs. That's exactly what he needs right there. Staten Island, is he at, at, almost at that? Yep, oh, he's almost at, he's at 67%. So the county Trump got 57% in. Hold on. Oh, what, Zeldin's which, at what 37. are we using for this? Are we using CNN or... I'm using both. I'm NYT. just everything. I've been using the New York Times. So, okay. The good news is, from what I can see, there... I mean, there's We're absolutely... New Times for governor? What? Yeah. Okay. I have the governor numbers. You just have to go into the statewide results. Decision desk is on crack right now. What the fuck's going on? Let me have hopium. Yeah, Nebraska first. Uh, it looks like what's left is very Republican. So, what closes at ten thirty? Nothing closes at ten thirty. We have thirty minutes until Oregon, Washington, California at eleven. It's gonna be so weird if we flip New York governor, but we only get like fifty-two or fifty-three Senate seats. Bro, there's a guy named J Mac. <laughs> Yeah, this has so far been a very just. <sighs> so far, this is so really early into the night with the vote counting. We should not be calling anything. At Guys, all. look at I'm Utah. Sorry. Hold on, Bubbly. Hold on, Bubbly. I'm sorry, Ramp, but like we should not be calling anything right now. I'm sorry, we shouldn't. We just should not be doing that. It's too early. The only one that's actually close to being called is Georgia. Oz continues to get within the like he, like fifty like fifty at fifty percent he was within six points. Now he's within four points at fifty four percent. Republicans Republican numbers are trickling in. Ron Johnson is now within a point at fifty percent of the vote being counted. Baldick is within ten points and now thirty four percent of the vote is being counted. Um, Bud might actually crack five points. Arizona, it's too early. Nevada, we're not even seeing anything. We're not even seeing anything for Washington right now. I am imploring everyone here to please calm down and not jump to assumptions because early votes are only going to start trickling in soon from Arizona and Nevada. We're going to have to wait a couple or three hours for election day votes to come in with the Western states. And by then... I think it will be pretty confident with saying Pennsylvania and Georgia will be safe because Walker is only increasing right now, and Oz is really looking like he's gonna he's gonna pull it off. I mean, Tubbs, do you disagree with me here? I agree with you. Um, you know, early you votes think? had Biden leading Kentucky back in twenty twenty. Uh, James, what do you think? Like, come on, I need people to help me out here. Uh, yeah, I agree with I, you. I, I was, I mean, I've been, I, I mean, I, have, I haven't really, like, I, you know, I'm, I don't think that, I, I never really expected Republicans to do that bad. This, 
you know, I still, I still kind of think they're gonna like pull ahead at some point. Fifty-two to forty-eight. I'm kind of, I'm kind of obviously worried right now, but I do think people are overreacting in a way. I don't know. I just feel like people are overreacting a little bit. Like this isn't as good for the GOP as I expected, but it's not. It. I don't know. I think something, something's off. Like some people are overreacting a bit, just a something little bit. Off, yeah. We will win. We will be right. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, folks. I muted. But here's what I think did happened. Not, did you not hear anything I just said? No, I was no, I heard it. I was just muted. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure. Okay, now I'm going to actually leave and go get dinner. I will be back in like half an hour. Okay, so, so I'm starving. Bobert's lose now. Bobert's not gonna lose. She's about to pull it. So what I think hap is happening right now is, for example, look at counties that are basically all in. And you realize, Republicans, well, they're winning. That's simple. They're doing way better. So, yeah, New York is looking much better for us. I mean, um, let's see. Brooklyn is at 27. Queens, 37. But, again, it is absolutely very early. The election, we're gonna win. I'm hoping. Okay, so we're looking good at flipping most of the Arizona House stuff. That's a good sign. Mike Flores took the lead in Nebraska's first stock doing that in Nebraska. There we go. Bacon's Finally. about to take the lead. He's like, so that's what we need. Point away. Um, Zach Nunn appears to be on pace for victory. Yeah, Colorado's being really strange. That one I will admit. I mean, Bobert's Oz is three. now within five of Fetterman. It's going to happen. He is. Good. Uh, Ron like, Johnson's... half of rural Pennsylvania is not reporting at all, uh, also. So, Ron yep. Johnson's about to take the lead. Ron Johnson's about to flip it. Um, Iowa, that's gone. Ohio, that's Republican. So, Georgia, that's leaning Republican right now. Nichols close the gap yep it looks like Michael okay here we go this is what we needed we just needed some good positive thinking because what's left it's early vote or election day vote in most places. Zeldin's up about to forty percent. Okay. Yep, he's. Once Zeldin hits forty percent, it's gonna be it. Okay, so yeah, he's. How is Zeldin doing it? And uh, how is Zeldin doing it? NYC. He's he's cracking the numbers he needs. He, he's doing. He's this. outering Trump by like twenty right now. Yeah. In like NYC. Has to fifty three. Oh, he just flipped orange. Orange. Where's that? Uh, suburb of New York, like just north of Rockland. Ah. Orange. It's, it's very early. I uh, look at uh, yeah. look at Kansas governor. Well, now look at the rules. He's not even maxed out in some of the rules. This is yeah, going to be a good. This will be a close one. Very close. Trafalgar will be proven right. <gasps> yeah, Zimmerman's. Zelda's, I mean, Zelda is cracking forty percent. And remember, Nassau's not in. Neither is Suffolk. That is a really good sign for Zeldin, then. Oh, look. Um, the GOP is about to crack 40% in the Attorney General race. So all the results from New York are mostly early votes, right? So yes, that's they're all mail-in yeah. votes. Mail-in or early votes. Let's see here. It's 61 to 39 for the Attorney General race. It looks like that might be... An interesting race. Letitia James. Yeah, Tish James. Yeah, people are, I'm starting to... I'm believing in Bulldick now. I think I'm going to start believing. 
How is Voldig doing? Isn't he down by a lot? He's down by 11, but it's only 35% of the votes in. And how much is he down by? He's down by 11. Wasn't he down by 20? Yes, he's making a comeback. Okay, Bulldog. okay, we'll we'll Bulldog. wait and see. I mean, I I do know that Bulldog apparently did badly in a lot of towns, so I don't know. So Virginia's... We're going to be bold and say a Bulldog win. So, for example, Virginia 7th, that's so far, like, our biggest L of the night. Like, that's, like, the only... That's, so far, Virginia 7th, like, the only big L tonight. And also, I would say phone losing, because that had a lot of, uh, and, like, you know, a lot of people were excited. He's not out that. of it yet, but it's unlikely. He's not out of it. And Ron Johnson's only down by 2,000 votes. He's hitting the I wonder, he needs. There's there's obviously no votes left to count in Funk's district, right? I don't know. And there's none in Spanberger's district unless something has changed. Isn't Virginia 7th Nova? Yeah, this is a more... Uh, Zeldin's closing on, on 80 or 40%. You gotta get that. If he cracks 40 before Nass and stuff comes in, look out. That's a race. Like, here's my thing, though. I, is Axne losing? Axne, um, she's not losing now, but she is. She's going to, I think. She's she went up by a, two points in the rest of the election day votes. Yeah, she's gonna lose then. So that's a flip right there. So I think we already got the House majority. <laughs> Oh, wow, Raffensperger is winning by 11. Ugh, cringe. There's mean. 8%. Yeah, there is hope for fun. There absolutely is hope. It's just not likely. What happened in Indiana? Mervan's only up by 3 now. Oh, he is? That, that could be a potential flip for Republicans. Potential, yes. Hold on. It's, it's only oh, 70, it's uh, 80, oh, 85 percent of the vote is in. That might be a bit hard to do. Would Chabot lost? Kansas, Kentucky. Wow. Not yet. I don't think so. 92 percent, he's down by two. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty it much over. Like Chabot. No, I mean, the votes left in Ohio are election day. Remember that. But here's the thing, though. He's down by it's 90 a lot. He's, he's done. Yeah, I don't see Chabot winning at this point. I think he will win. Cincinnati's just too blue. I, I think that no, I think that you need to wait until every vote is counted. Um, he yes, was down by until three every vote is counted. He yeah, was down by it just, three. With it, just doesn't look good right now. I don't think he's favorite. Uh, Bear said Oz is done. Shit. Is he serious? Bear said that. Bear did not say that. Okay, some people need to stop with this crap that they're pushing because it's it's not funny. Hold on a minute. It looks like Dixon is outperforming the abortion vote right now, which is interesting. In Michigan. The Bears say Odd is a screwed shit. Oh, no, he didn't say that. They're <laughs> fucking with you. Hold on. What's going on in Delaware? Yeah, it's not. It just... Ugh. So, Van Orden just took the lead. Yeah, he's going to win that race. Bro. The Republicans are within 10 for the Delaware statewide races. This election is so... I, what I is just, going on? I can't put my finger on it. I just can't. I feel like one of them at least has to win in Delaware. <laughs> it's close. Only Delaware and... Everything. Yeah, the attorney general race looks kind of close. So does the treasury race. Wait, oh, yeah. how is how is Minnesota going? We haven't talked about Minnesota that much. Uh, only St. Paul and the, you know the George Floyd cities are reporting. So you know the rolls are not coming in at all right now. So it's kind so of like you're stop dooming. Um, you know, <sighs> George Floyd is Minneapolis. Now, what I'm saying is I'm just not liking these results whatsoever. I'm just not too happy about it. Yeah, is how much is 
Oz down by and how much of the vote is counted? So Oz is down by about 4% and only 59% is in. Stop doing yeah, that's that, not Oz. Terrible. That's not bad. And, like, the rules are still in. Even if he underperforms Trump in some of the rules, he's still going to win them. Johnson, like, no. Bedford, Potter, and Montour are now reporting. Those Johnson are, like, Trump by, like, 50. Ron Johnson just yes. took Wisconsin. Okay. Ron that's Johnson big. is leading. That's huge. That is yeah. huge. Republicans will lose zero Senate seats. The question is, how many do they win? Oh, yeah. It's reporting Mike Lee's up at 81% in Utah. Utah's up. Utah's up? Utah's up. Where? On NYT, Utah's oh. up. Evan McMullen is not doing well. Okay, no, McMullen's not. leaving. So, okay, good news is Allegheny. Mehmet Oz is down, is, um... Currently at 34% in Allegheny. It's almost all in. That's a pretty big underperformance of Trump. Wait, is it is all of Allegheny in? 90% in. Well, we'll see how um, the other votes go, but that's actually really terrible. Let's see here. Go Phillies 3 for 5 for $5. If Bear said Oz is screwed, maybe he'll stop running his mouth about other pulses being terrible. Yeah. Texas. People are saying... Walker added to his lead. Yeah, Walker's adding to his lead. Oh, hey, they called literally every Florida district now. That's 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 interesting. Well, how are the statewide races in Florida doing? DeSantis is up by almost 20, 59 to 39. You guys still, ask, still think Austin right. can win? Because he's not doing super well in Allegheny. He's not doing good anywhere. Bro. Charlie Chris is at 39%. That's embarrassing these, these, for him. These Festerman voters, these Festerman Shapiro, uh, Festerman Mastriano voters. Ah, man. Hold on a minute. Wow. Patronus and Moody have cracked 60% of Florida. That's great. Um, yeah, so Fetterman v. Chris is right now R plus 19.7, which you can round to R plus 20. Wilton Simpson is underperforming DeSantis in the Agricultural Commissioner race. That's kind of expected, though, because he's kind of meh. Okay, so we got another one. Kansas third. The Democrat won by 13. This was supposed the to be hell? a flip. I think there was a New York Times poll that said that it was that the Democrat was going to win by, like, 6. This is just, wow, I can't get... Is all the vo are all the votes in Kansas yeah, the third? Yeah, it's over. It's over. They won it. In Kansas? What happened to Kansas? Kansas, Kansas is third. That was a gerrymandered district to be more favorable to Republicans. This is bad. Well, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say until wait until until uh, you guys have to Bro, wait until what? all the votes are counted. Chris Colback is down in the attorney general race. What? That's not surprising. No. So good. He's getting demolished in Joko. That's that. That's okay. That's sad. I'm gonna go back to New York. I'm gonna be hopeful about New York. How was? Oh, okay. Michael Henry has cracked forty percent of the New York Attorney General race. This is a race. He's underperforming Zeldin in New York City and Long Island, but he's doing better upstate. That's interesting. I'm just super confused right now. Um, he cracked 60% in Putnam County. You know, I, I just... Uh, I mean, there's still a lot of vote left, I mean... Yeah, a lot of vote left, so just, wait this, until all the votes this are feels counted. Like a, but Kansas third is gone. How did we lose that one? Guys... Do we think that the attorney general race is a race? Look at um look at it. Look at it. And we're looking good in New York somewhat, but New York and Florida would be like Red Wave, while the other thing is other states are like Yeah, blah. every other state, freaking Florida, well, not really Ohio, Florida, North Carolina, freaking Georgia.
New Mexico, please say something. I mean, we need some. We need something big. What's Texas doing? I need to see what Texas is doing. Ronchetti is down by eleven with half the vote. In. Half the vote. So yeah, stint one, exactly. that was a big pulling miss right there. Looks yep. like Democrats going to hold on to the. Okay. Interestingly, it looks like Beto, Beto or Robert Francis O'Rourke is the best performing Texas Dem. Okay, let's see here. Go Philly. No! Go Philly. Shut up. Uh, go Philly's 3 4 5 for 2. Republican response bias in the polls. I guess that's what happened. I, I don't get how you can have every single indicator. The economy's falling apart. Biden's approval's in the low, you know, 40s. And the number one issue is inflation. New I York just, Times called it for Vega. Or, no, I mean Spanberger. This is yeah. sad. It's over. It's, can't believe they called it for Spanberger. Yeah, it's it's not looking great. I mean, we're going to get the house, but... It's not going to be 250. I want it to be... I, I had it's it at 250. It's going to be like 230. I might, yeah. Give me between two twenty and two thirty. It's not ideal, but you know, it's it's uh, at least we take the house. Our house margin could have been bigger if we were a little more like ballsy with redistricting, but you know, whatever. Nassau is going to Zeldin by three. That's exactly again another good sign for Zeldin. Isn't that early vote? I. I think so. I, I've given up trying to guess what's early vote Joe or not. Pinion. Is freaking Tony Evers going to mm -hmm. run? Oh my God. I wonder if this is the only hope for Republicans is if, is if this is the opposite of 2020. That's and the it only looks, way. Yeah. And Mandela which, Barnes just took the lead again. Oh my God. This is just... Something's weird. Republicans. Why is Nevada not reporting anything? Blake Masters. I mean, it just. Uh, Rye Guy for 12 18 for 5. Are we serious having a blue wave? No, but it's just not what we needed. This is just a disaster on all fronts. Ohio is at Vance plus 8 Chuck Grassley has taken back the lead um, so yeah it looks like Ron Johnson is going to win that's the only good thing so far I don't get what's going on in freaking Connecticut what how is okay, the okay. what have I missed uh, everything's getting worse. Kansas thirteenth, which uh, third, which is a Biden, which is a Biden plus two seat, with a Democrat by twelve. Jesus Christ! This I don't know what the fuck is happening. Let's see. Here, what is happening this midterm? Let's see. Here, Why is it? Oh, excuse me. Meta seventeen for five dollars. The base is not coming up from Connell led Senate and McCarthy led House. It's that simple. It just I don't know. I am just trying to figure out what the hell is this. <laughs> I will be right back. Went under fifty percent. This country screwed. This country is beyond saving at this point. So, uh, Beta Rourke loss, yeah. Oz within two. How's the page doing? Okay, I doubt he's winning. The page is getting freaking annihilated. <sighs> Where's Michael's gonna find the votes? I have no clue. 
Michael's down by four. That's not bad. Michael's being down by four is not terrible. With most of Madison in, good chunk of Milwaukee in. That's not bad. Not bad. Like, what if this is the complete opposite of 2020? If that if that's actually unironic. Let's see here. Rye guy, 12, 18 for 5. There's too many degenerates who care so much about killing their unborn children. Yeah. But, I mean, even then. Okay, so... So the, what does what does anybody everybody thinks happening? Anybody have a clue? I, mean, I really don't know. But in ten minutes, we're gonna get California, Oregon, and Washington. I just love when Nevada has nothing. Arizona treasurer just got called for the Republicans. Don't doom. <laughs> That's that was expected. So, uh, okay, Bud won. That's a good sign. Vance won easily. Rod Johnson's going to win. So, at this point, we're at, like, 49 Senate seats. That, that's where we're at right now. And it looks like Walker's going to win Georgia. Now, this somebody did bring up an interesting super chat or comment. There is apparently a bunch of r rural precincts refusing to post their votes. The house is not looking good right now. No. What the fuck is happening with the house? I mean, we may lose the District 2 in New Mexico. Yeah, Harold's not doing that well. The gerrymander may have worked. No, I just don't get who these voters are. I, I... Fraud. <laughs> Hey, don't say that. Don't. Can't say that here. I'm sorry, but. Funny business. The good news is thing. we're going to win. Uh, let's see here. Ron Johnson back in the league. They're, again, the Senate's looking actually kind of good for us. The Senate's looking actually good for us. It's looking like we're getting like 52, maybe 53 in the Senate. Uh, oh, Georgia. Ah, oh, shit. A lot of it's left in freaking Fulton. Shit. I don't want to know who votes jo uh, Johnson Evers either. I, I don't know who you are. You're nuts. You suck. Oh my gosh. Michael Henry is now 41% at the New York Attorney General race. It's getting closer. He's at 60% in Putnam. I mean, I don't get how Trafalgar could be this wrong. I can't... That's the thing that I'm most bothered about. Trafalgar and People's Pundit. Or Richard Maris. Wait a minute. Okay, this is important. Henry's at 41% and Suffolk hasn't even dropped for the New York Attorney General race. Is... Okay, so which Senate seats do we pick up? I think we're going to pick up Georgia at the end of the day. Um, Pennsylvania, I don't freaking know what's happening there. But Vance, well, again. How, how, what? how bad does it look? For what? Like, is it still bad? Or Oz is white, within though? two. Oz, Oz is within, within two. two. We have a 48% right now. Okay, that's good. Anything else? Uh, Oz should overtake any other white belt? Uh, Fetterman by like what eleven oh five? I th that's my estimate. I mean, when Chris and Nuno's only winning by twelve, like come on. Chris and Nuno. Uh, Lloyd Caster's only at sixty four percent reporting. Okay, cool. Uh, I know George is not a certainty. I'm just saying it's looking like it's going to be... Okay, how is Nebraska... Okay. How is Nebraska's governorship within 10? Real? Which day is Nebraska? Uh, go yeah. Phillies 3 4 5 for 2. I like Trafalgar more when they were unknown. Yeah. I'm getting concerned. 
So yeah, people are saying that there may be a blue mirage happening. I mean, that could be. Why true. is Connecticut Senate within ten? What is this? What the hell is this? Is there any pollster trusted? No, polling. What is the dead. hell is it? What is? What? what NYT the fuck? is called Louisiana for Kennedy. What are you saying there, guy? Wait, I guys, just, have you seen what do you Connecticut? Mean a blue mirage? What if, like, these rural precincts are not reporting, but when they do, it's just a dump, a vote dump? Like, just, like, half the vote? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do we think Lamont could pull it off? He's within we're six. We're losing Ohio 13th now. I mean, no, That's Stefanowski. Gone. He's within six. So, we're, we're not going to win a single one of the Ohio competitive Ohio seats, and we're going to lose District 1. Oh, some good news is that with 66, I mean, at least for Republicans, it's with 66% of the vote in, Mike Lawler is beating Sean Patrick Maloney by a uh, 10 point margin. Hmm. Well, uh, the 18th District of New York and the 19th District of New York are within two points. They should flip soon. Oh my gosh, the 25th District is within a point. The Republicans are leading right now. Where? In the 25th district of New York. Uh, where that's, oh, that's... Oh, wait. La, La Round Singletary is leading right now. Hold on. How did this okay, district vote? what? Bro, it voted for Biden by, like, 20. Okay, yeah. this election's occurred in my brain. Okay, so we're, like... We're being hopium on New York right now. <laughs> Everything into New York. A red wave localized entirely in Florida, New York. And George Santo seems to be doing pretty bad. Layron Singletary momentum. Single momentum. Okay, yeah, I. This seems like just a bad night. It doesn't seem like just a just a complete unmitigated nightmare. Wow. <laughs> Fayette I'm County, Alan Georgia Alan just really flipped holding what? to Warnock. Fayette County, Georgia just flipped to Warnock. Oh. Also, um, Tom Malinowski's really holding his lead. 60% of the vote is in, and he ha he's still leading by a leg. Why haven't they called the race for Jeff Van Drew? So we're looking actually... Okay, let's see here. Matt Haddon, let's see how you're looking. That's about... It's 82% in. Zelda got 17% there. How did we do here? So, big improvement. Well, Scott Perry's not doing the greatest. With 63% of the vote, and he's losing by four. Okay, so... John Fetterman is now under 50%. Yeah, I said that a couple minutes ago. I swear, oh, okay. if we lose that race because a freaking third-party candidate... Oh, Neil Perry. Mastriano is within 12 now. 55 to 43. So, I mean, we got a couple... I mean, so far we've had a couple flips, but... Why have they not called the 10th district, but they called the 7th district in Virginia? That's weird. Oh, also, it looks like District 13 in Ohio is going to go to Amelia. I just Sykes. said I that! Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. I didn't. Are I you deaf? I think I am so deaf. Over. That was shocking, because I just sort of expected Gizioto Gilbert. Ron Johnson took back the lead. Did we say that already? Yeah, he's going to win. He's up by two. We need some good news. I mean... Um, let's see. What is good news? Lairon Singletary is still holding on to the lead in New York. Oh, guys, oh. polls have closed in California, Oregon, Ooh, Washington. We're going to get crushed there everywhere. Eric Sorensen uh, just took back the lead from Ed, um, Esther Joy King. 
What kind of what the hell kind of a last name is Sorensen? Yes. Uh, he, that's uh Illinois seventeenth district. That's the one that's like Rockland to like uh to like Peoria. Okay, it's so the weird snake thing, right? Yeah, it's one of it's one of the two weird snakes. Check out Mississippi second. <sighs> oh uh, Pennsylvania, seventy percent Oz is behind two points. Yeah, we that. saw that. It's, it's not. Fine. We're we gonna... still accept you. Have Republicans won a surprise victory? No. But we. I no, guess... they called it for a captor. Yeah. Majewski has Majewski lost. lost by us so much. God fucking damn it. This is McCarthy's fault for taking all the money away from him. They were like, they saw one little opposition story and were like, no more money for you, Mr. Majewski. And it looks like we're going to lose New Mexico second, we're going to lose New Ohio first. You gotta be. It's... It's okay, we're leading in New York. It's 25th so district. So, what do I think happened tonight? Like, the Senate, all the Senate candidates, I outside of maybe Ron Johnson, they're doing as good as expected. Arizona, that's just all the early vote. Hold on. Also, Marionette Miller, Miller Meeks is still down. Are you serious? Not quite a lot, but she's still down. Yeah. She's they still have up. called California for Alex Padilla. I swear, we're gonna get the house. Like, we're gonna get the house. I. It just. We're gonna get the. This is look, 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 look. This election is depressing. Yeah. But. Not because Republicans underperformed. We're probably going to win both chambers of the House, even if we are at 52 and 230 seats. Yeah. This is depressing because it's proof that the country, as our parents and grandparents knew it, is completely over, and we're not going back on that. This country is going to permanently change. Kiss America of the past no. goodbye. We're going into uncharted waters. We don't know what the fuck's going on. I mean, look. This is it. This... No, no, no. No, Brad, Brad. This is it. This is the point of no return. Both sides have been disappointed. This is mm -hmm. only going to fuel extremism. This is only going to fuel um, the fire on both sides' narratives. Every yeah, I think up, Vox Day's so thesis hard. is kind of going to be proven right. By around 2033, so, I mean, our system will die and collapse it on itself. I mean, we're going to get, like, again, we're going to gain a bunch of seats. All right, we're going to gain a bunch. Soon everybody will be fed up. It's inevitable. Schweikert is down a lot with 57% of the vote. Oh, for fuck's sake. I will laugh, my, I will piss myself laughing if we, actually, I'll shit myself laughing even if we lose Arizona but win, uh, win New York. Oh, no, they called it for Wexton Magaziner. Hung and Fung have lost. Oregon is in. People are saying Oregon's in. It's over. Republicans are down right now by half point. So, okay. Republicans are going to win. Yeah, it's not looking too good in Pennsylvania. It's not looking good at all. Ohio is 90% in. I mean, I... I... Like, hey, uh, look, Alex Scarlatos is leading in the 4th District of okay. Oregon. Look, I'm being negative because I'm just trying to be realistic here. There, there's nice. basically no positives tonight. It looks like we might flip the 4th District of Oregon. If we get carried to the house because of freaking Oregon and California... It's going to be so funny. I'll... Sanford Bishop's now leading points. Oz is within a point. Ray Perkins. Look at Ohio 13th. Yeah, we're going to lose Ohio 13th. Freaking Gilbert's going to lose. Oh no, Tina Kotek is F is leading by ten in Oregon. Is she actually? Yeah. 
It's okay, only 30% is in. We still have Hopium. This is early vote. I mean, if it's early vote, that's recoverable. Scarlatos might win. Oh, wow. Have you looked at a Mississippi 2nd District? Benny Thompson's leading only by a tilt margin right now. Um, I don't know what to say about Oregon. Looks like the Second Amendment uh, ballot measure in Oregon is going to be close. It's outperforming Drazen by a lot. If we're going to lose New Mexico second. I'm uh, I'm just baffled. Tubbs, you got anything to say here? Does Tubbs have what do you think of Oregon? Does anybody got to say anything? Do we think that, do we think Grayson can still pull it off? Scarlatos is still leading. Okay, cool. We need, we need Oz to win bad. We need him to win. He's down by point seven now. Come on, Oz. Come on, Ozerland. Why is so, Nevada not showing? I don't know. They, they, I think they just given up. Please check North Carolina. It's over. North Carolina with the bud. Bud won it. North Carolina is 95% in, so, yeah, I'm calling the bag and bringing the cat is what they say. Real damn shame. Bro, why is the treasurer race in Rhode Island a toss-up? Who freaking knows? Bo Hines. Is Bo Hines about to lose? He's in a, uh, Bull Hines. 89% of the vote is 89% of the vote in. Bull Hines is 51 to 49. Could ha He's like close. But you know, you know what they say. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. We ain't touching hand grenades right now. Yeah, they also called it for magazine. Uh, like, go no. Phillies 3 4 5 for 5. Republicans can't win without a strong man at top tick, a Trump or DeSantis. Yeah, true. And again, I'm Tiffany just... Smiley is leading in Washington. Okay. Oh, yes. If we win, I swear to God, freaking Washington goes Republican, but like we lose, like I don't know. Uh, Arizona. It's fifty-one to forty-nine for Smiley. <laughs> People said Hass got called. Yeah. Why are we doing well in all the blue states? This makes no sense. I don't get it. Like, does anybody? Can anybody explain to me how the election day turned out with this good? Oh my game. god, Zeldin, Zeldin's at 41%. Is he actually? Yeah, he's at 41% now. Okay, he's He's got a chance. Okay, the Attorney General race, Henry's at 43%, and it looks like Abram's Stuber's about conceded. to fall under 60. Abram's just conceded. Georgia's governor's safe now. Nice. Uh, Walker's probably in trouble. This'll be funny. Chuck Schumer might fall under 50, 60%. I could yeah, be Yeah, pollsters need to just go away. I'm done with pollsters. I'm done with it. Unmitigated disaster. So Oz is under one, only down by one. Z, uh, Zeppelin LZ99 for two. Everyone move to Florida. We may have, I may have to do that if freaking Schumer. Evers wins. Schumer is literally about to go under 60. This has never happened before in like several years. Okay, nothing out of Arizona. Freaking Tiffany Smiley's. I can't get over that. How is Smiley winning? Oh my gosh. Marionette Smiley's up by 18. What? Also, it looks like um, Axney might win by, like, a tilt margin. Oh, my. 95. 
uh, more than 95% of the vote is in it. She's still up. Moiser's at 41%. Yeah, we can call, I think we call Ron Johnson one. Ron Hold Johnson on. One. Mark Moiser is currently outrunning Trump by like 8% in California, which is okay. Which is. Oh, the wow. Republican and Angie Craig's district just took the lead. This is probably one of the better performances. So it's looked and like, okay, there are some good news happening. So we're currently, this is currently the state of the Senate. We're at 49, right? Democrats are at, you know, whatever, that. Oh, Robert is still down. I don't get We've some of these votes. Some of these freaking vote. voters, I don't know. They vote like, you know, they ticket split. Oh, I'm going to vote for Johnson, but Evers. <laughs> Also, Why is like Tiffany Parker's Smiley at sixty two percent now? <laughs> also, there's a good chance there's a good chance Cartwright wins now because it's fifty four forty six with sixty five percent in. Layron Singletary is holding the line in New York. Something interesting is that Pennsylvania's 6th district, based around some, uh, Chester County is competitive. Mashiano looks like he might get within 10 soon. Ugh, Bobert is losing. Let's see here. Gamer Max for 5. Cities under high misery next voted. The rest uh, heard big wave. Uh, big red wave and blew off voting went to party. That's how this happened. <laughs> Not really. We saw some pretty high turnout. A lot of places. Yeah, John yeah, John Gibbs took back the lead, but there's only 9%. John Gibbs, let's go. Give me he's some hope. He has a 17-point lead. Oh my gosh, it happened. Schumer is now at 59%. This is a legendary. Okay, so... This is the worst performance for Chuck in decades. So Ron Johnson, we're good there. So, Bobert is losing still. Yeah, she's still down. By four. With 16 right in. And also, uh, Kevin Kiley's down right now to Fermate Jones. California reports Millen's first. Don't worry about that. So, here, here's what I gotta say, though. There is one thing I, got, I do gotta say. This better wake up the frickin' Republican Party. How bad is it? John, um, John Duarte is up. Rhino Hunter for two, thank you. How bad is it? This is a just... It's n nothing but a disaster. Okay, John Duarte never... is up. Okay, it's a disaster. Good to know. Wait, John Duarte is up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah. actually funny. 54 oh to 46. And also, Mike Levin is up by a lot. And so is KD Porter. I'm going to actually lose my shit if we get 53 seats, but... It's from freaking Washington. Washington. No, yeah. Joe Kent is losing. Are you okay? No. He, oh my frick. Joe Kent is down by a decent margin. Okay, Scott. Seattle came in and Tiffany Smiley is now losing again. Sad. Black pilled yet again. Wait. Okay, this is funny. Why is why is Marilyn Strickland within ten? This is a safe DC. You know, we this is just depressing. It's utterly depressing what's happening. There needs to be new why? leadership. Hold on. Because... Okay. This is a hopeful thing. Strickland is only up eight in the seat that voted for Biden by eighteen. So we can hope about that. Also, New York's first district has not reported anything at all. That's good for Zeldin because that's like Zeldin territory. No, but they haven't reported anything. No vote. No votes. Yeah, that 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 should help Patty's margin. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but there, like there's votes, they just haven't been reported. Bro, Layron Singletary's increases the lead over Joe Morrell. This is it's a Biden she plus 18 seats. Guys, uh, just tell me, I'm going to leave this right now, but just tell me or uh, t message me when it gets better and probably won't. I know. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not paying attention to any of the recent results. I just know let's things see. are bad. Uh, let's see here. Zeppelin LZ99 for five. Will you quit politics? Republicans lose the House and Senate. Not doing it. Wait, we're single Terry. You want percent of the polls? Okay. So we're gonna win the House. It's not. It's just gonna be by freaking like two seats or something like that. Folks. Are we later on single Terry truthers? I don't know, but the point is, I may I, look. I may have to reconsider my future. I don't know what I may do. Ben B. The, for, uh, ben B. For five. Ron Johnson is a lock. Walker's likely, which would give us fifty-one Senate seats. New York Times got us seventy-five percent chance to win the House right now. Why are we worried? Because it's not. When you have an economy and situation this bad, you know. So Zeldin's at okay. Zeldin's cracked forty. It's it's a uh, it's an eleven point race. Yeah, we said that like okay, years ago. I'm, I'm blind. I'm deaf. Zeldin's at forty four. It's within ten. Oh my god. Okay, that's actually big news. Let me go to New York. Where are you at? New York. It's about to be within ten. Oh my gosh. Bro, Suffolk County yeah, just wow. dropped. He's at like almost seventy percent Suffolk. This is this is wonderful. So Zeldin, Zeldin is, is still if, gaining. If Zeldin's really about to frickin' win this, we're gonna live in an election where frickin' PA may vote Democrat, but... Josh Shapiro is... would leave Zeldin as governor. No, I think... Zel I hold think... on, Zeldin's winning Rochester, too. It looks like Oz is about to lose Pennsylvania. No, he's not. It's... Look what's left. It's mostly stuff from Delaware County. It's mostly Delaware and Chester County, it seems like, and also uh, Montgomery County, Bucks County, a um, bit of Northampton, uh, Monroe. This dude, I'm not, I'm not gonna freaking cry. You I can't wow. believe that Zelda is doing better than Mastriano. This isn't real. <sighs> Looks like this is the party of Youngkin now, boys. It's the party of Youngkin. Oh yeah, Hillary Schulten took back her lead over John Gibbs. Tony Evers is about to win. <sighs> Crying. I'm just in shock of how how this went. Like I'm know. surprised. I mean, like it looks like Tom Malinowski is gonna win too. How? Okay. How in God's name? Okay. You're talking about... Okay, he's only up by half point, a point. This is actually funny. Malinowski? No, he's up by... Um, uh, it's 53 points. Actually funny. No, I'm, there's uh, more... Mark Mullen, no, Mark Mark Mullen, uh, CNN has more votes. And they have Keen down by only, like, a point. Oh, yeah, um, George Santos took back... Is now leading. George Santos? I had him written off. Oh... We're gonna get all. We're gonna win off the back of freaking Zeldin. Z uh, Zeppelin LZ for a nine nine for five. Politics will be fun in, in the U.S. if in the USA is if stuff like this is now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Actually, Dustin, Dustin Carter for five. I'm so confused about tonight. Like I'm glad to see Georgia swing back right like it is. But what is tonight? I don't know. Fifty seven to forty three. That's not real. I mean, you cannot do this much. I, I just don't get it. As uh, long George as Santos is taking Marvel the lead. Move, as long as people have their Marvel movies and fast food, nothing is going to change. Okay, Mark Molinero is taking the lead in the 19th district of New York. Another R gain, probably. Yeah, I. It looks like we're get, okay. We're about to get the house now. Are we? Uh, Montana. Well, at least. Currently, Republicans are leading in 260 enough seats, so Republicans don't need that many producers to win. Why is Nevada still outstanding? Uh, because they just haven't done anything. I'm going to hurt people of Nevada. I want to know how the Senate race is going there. You know, I I'm going to praise Zeldin a lot because he may single-handedly save this night from being, you know, a complete disaster. Hey, look. Newsom is underperforming his recall margin. I swear, if we get we get carried off the backs of freaking California, New York... Well, I mean, Duarte is leading by nine, so, you know, it could happen. Up 
prominent Republican for working for Michael says that he doesn't see a path for Michaels to win. Yeah, I'm starting to, I'm, I mean, it's, he's only down by two. And Milwaukee, there's still not, there's still some votes left. And what's some left? Some people are starting to call it for Fetterman. Like, you know, some of them I want to really call, call for it. Fetterman yet. It's close. It's within a point. Yeah, I know. I, I wouldn't call it yet either. I'm just saying people are. I saw some people on Twitter calling it. Yeah, I wouldn't call it just yet. So this is the current state of the Senate. Uh, the governor's map is like oh, this. Um, yeah, this was a bad night. New York is a little. She's just gonna save the night, honestly. Yeah, if we get, we're gonna probably. What if we crack two forty because of California, New York, and Connecticut? <laughs> Connecticut. Well, Connecticut's not going well for Republicans. Just I mean, no. Well, Logan's only down by four. Hold on, let me check Connecticut actually. What's really weird is that. Um, Bro, District Three and District One, which are safe Democratic districts, are competitive. But it looks like it's because not a lot of the vote has been counted there. Stefanowski is still within ten. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Warnock just took the lead in Georgia again. NYT finally called Ohio for Vance. Georgia just flipped the Warnock. They called Ohio for Vance. JD Vance, Mister. I think I think they're gonna call um, D District One and District Thirteen in Ohio soon because greater than ninety five percent of both have over a two percent lead. Coping and seething at the House results. The Senate results are still good. Muy buenos. Yeah, it's not been, uh... Okay, let's see here. Zeppelin, um, LZ99 for five. What happened tonight is just like what happened in Brazil. Yeah, today's just a gut punch. Are people seriously Zeldin. this gullible with this abortion Zeldin. stuff? I don't know. Mark Walker, Patrick no gonna be Walker's. like, this is why Roe v. Wade, or something, I don't know. Walker's back up again on New York Times. It looks like Susan Wilde might go down, though. Ooh. Cringe. Move it on. Oh, and also the Chrissy Houlihan race is tightening. Would you say that? Say that Chrissy again? Houlihan, for Chrissy Houlihan and um, Susan Wilde, the race is tightening. Hmm. Joe Pinion is now a 40%. It's so weird seeing the um, Democrat in, um, beating Mike Simpson in, in Idaho. Let's see here. Not real. Fuck this. I'm getting drunk. Where's my model? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that too. Okay, actually. let's see here. Um, Hex and Happy for five. The <laughs> hey, 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 quiet. I'm trying to read this. Uh, did COVID and bad dumb politics make dumb blue spots shed people the red and uh, purple areas? Yeah, but it wouldn't really matter. It really wouldn't matter that much. I don't, yeah, I don't think enough people moved in the span of two years to really affect that. I mean, look, Oz Wait is at, a minute, wow. Oz is at 47% in Chester. I mean, Trump Republicans are on track to gain two seats in Oregon now. Okay, the Oregon for The fourth and the fifth. What if Oregon, California, and, like, New York saved the day? Hold on. The 6th District of Oregon is also within 5. The Republicans could win that and, like, have a clean sweep of Oregon. We see, like, the... Yeah, this Red country Oregon is... Red Oregon is real. This country is in deep trouble, I think. Hold on. How is the governor's race in Oregon going? Oh, my gosh. The governor's race in Oregon is now within a percent. Drazen Trail, it's fifty, it's forty-five to forty-four. Red Oregon, let's go. The dream is real. Are we ready for Red Oregon? How is Mike Garcia doing? 
Race has not been no data yet. Okay. Yeah, no data. Looks Are like we ready for Red Oregon? David Valadao is winning. That's one cool. good thing. He's leading by 12. Oh. And also the the Republican against Jim Costa is leading. Oh, I don't think that lasts. Wait, the Costa district's leading? That's like, hold on. Co um, The 21st is going red by like 8 points. This seat voted for Biden by 20 points. 20. Yeah. Okay, wow. California, please save us. Dixon's within five. Um, a lot of votes from Detroit. Yeah, it's another race down the frickin' tubes. Joe Kent is still trailing. He will lead one day. There's gonna be heads rolling after this election. Yeah. Zach Nunn took the lead over Cindy Axney, although it's not a big lead, and Cindy Axney could take it back. So we're gonna so. get okay. That's that's a good thing. It looked like Don Let me Bacon, check New York again. Don Bacon's gonna win. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna okay. That's good. That's good. Looks like Republicans are on track to gain four seats in New York, maybe six. Freaking New York is like the only ones that like actually woke up. <laughs> They're the only ones that are like, yeah, what the what is this? Yeah, they just called it for Sharice Davids. Singletary may win. Yeah, Singletary wow. could win, potentially. I'm not giving up on Zelda, and he's our only hope right now. New York had what, had, like, what, five months of a woman governor was like, nah, we're voting red. <laughs> I just love how, okay, you get these voters in, you know, Pennsylvania, which I'm not, I'm not confident we're going to win. I am <sighs> Oregon is so close right now. If Evers We're wins, gonna... it's over. If this state's gone, if Evers wins. I, I I don't get it. Well done. Oh, All well, right. Ken Calvert, Ken Calvert is losing right now by a pretty big margin. Uh, Young Kim and Michelle Steele are still are winning too, so it's kind of a mixed bag right now. Yeah, but yeah, Ken Calvert. Oh, look, Kevin Kiley took the lead too. Costa District is still voting Republican. Valadao's district is okay. still red. Let's see what else is interesting. There's probably some Let's see, other Keegan fun Lau things. for two, so Perfect. everyone bought the January 6th and November nerd. I guess. I guess people are this stupid. Wait. The 38th District is within 10. That's see, Riley interesting. Moore, Riley, the 35th District is a lean margin right Riley now. Moore for two. I don't think Monster and Dr. Oz are going to win. Bro, the 38th district voted for Biden by 30, and it's currently going blue by 10. What is Although California it doing? Be, it might just be in redder areas. You don't know yet. You don't know where they're getting the both. I mean, uh, the 35th district's also underperforming. That's like a Hispanic area. It's going red. It's going blue by four, and that's a Biden plus 26 district. Zach Nunn took the back took back the lead in Iowa's third. Yeah, we saw. I'm that. buying the hopium in California. Wait, is freaking Idaho within two? No, that was bullshit. Well, Idaho has a house race that's leading what the to the Democrats right Idaho's okay, now. that's nothing. Zeppelin LZ. I don't say it will change. LZ nine nine for two. Is this country doomed? It's over. This country's fucked. That's the best way to describe it. I'm buying the hopium. Joe Ken might be able to win. He's starting to get some momentum. He's gonna get the late votes. That's why he's gonna be saved. Yeah. Herschel Walker is leading. It looks in like Henry Fayar is going to win by a safe margin. And it looks like Vicente Gonzalez is also going to win, either by a lean. This is what we get for running. I don't know. I'm not going to say it. I was going to say it. If if Fetterman wins, I'm just done. How can people be this stupid? The guy can't speak properly. He's obviously has mental issues. Republicans are leading the second district of Minnesota by four points. That's some good news. That that is. Uh, some... the second district of Minnesota voted for Biden by seven, and so this would be another gain. So there again, there is some good news. I mean, it's just not everywhere, bro. 
a bunch of Biden plus ten districts in like Chicagoland are like within five right now. Like yeah, Lauren Caston Underwood might lose, there. Sean Caston and Bill Foster might lose. There's potential, yeah. People I don't saying, know why they call, haven't called the 16th yet. It's like literally 32 for Stefan Elsie did hood. way better than expected. He only down by four. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about how Stefanowski's campaign was dead. I don't know why. Because he Maybe just wasn't he wasn't campaigning that well. But I'm kind of surprised of how well he did, but I guess it makes sense because, you know. But. Also, the, uh, yeah, Mississippi 2nd District is still competitive. For some reason. Hold on, 22. That's a D plus 22 in the Jacobs District. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah, they also called on Captor's District. She won it by a pretty large margin. So sad. So why can't they count votes in New York's 1st District? I want to know how that's going. <laughs> okay, this is sad. John Duarte has lost the lead. The California Dream still... Well, Jim Costa is still down. California yeah, so Dream still somewhat freaking, on. At this point, we need so many miracles, it's not even... Let's send our energy to Eric Ching in the 38th district. I think I think Trafalgar did actually do a poll in the 21st district showing, like, Michael Meyer had, like, a chance. <laughs> Are they gonna, Let's like... send our energy to Mike Cargyle, who's within four in this Biden plus 20 district right now. Let's send our energy to Brian Merritt and Scott Bow. I mean, yeah, we're. I mean, we're gaining house seats. I mean, we're gonna gain quite a bit more than even I thought. Or, well, how would I say this? The we're gonna be picking up, you know, a bit more than it looks like, but it's not the house races we expected. Oh, hey, they finally called the second district. NYT has called the second district of Virginia. I, uh, let's see here, Zeppelin LZ. The most important thing. Okay, here's the thing. The most important thing to take away from tonight is that the state Republican parties who put up an honest fight against Democratic bullshit and successfully got away, uh, like, for example, Texas is GOP, Florida is GOP, Ohio, North Carolina, New York. You can very clearly say, see those are the Republican parties that are actually winning right now. Meanwhile, like they were the ones who made the heavy inroads tonight. And to a certain extent, you could say Ohio and Washington... Uh, but other state parties who put up barely any fight or none at all, like Arizona, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, they're losing hard tonight. It really feels like to me that this lack of turnout, like the lack of energy stems from the stems from a state by state basis and voters in states with Republican parties that didn't do much weren't as enthused to vote for the parties because Wait, they did nothing. Sorry, it's just more, more came in. Jay Olberno and Mike Garcia are down. No. That does not look good. It looks like Mark Mike Garcia could lose. You know, I cannot believe we live in a world where the freaking New York GOP is more competent than some of these clowns. I mean, they're about to flip how many seats? They're like about five, and like one of them is the Biden plus 20 seat, too. And Connecticut's looking pretty good. Rhode Island, they still haven't called that. I don't know. Zeldin is doing better than Masciano, and that's like... <laughs> um, nothing on Nevada yet. I, I don't get it. They're oh, wow. saying oh, Maricopa but... is reporting more. Oh, um... Oh, there it is. Just... New York's I'm... within 10 now. New York's within I'm... 10. I'm just... Tom Keene just took the lead in his seat against Tom Malinowski. Good. Okay, that's some good news. That is that is good news. We're getting, you know, we're get, I mean, I freaking, I think the voters in Northeastern, uh, you know, the, in the Northeast, they're truly pissed off what's happening. But then you get these clowns and freaking, oh, yeah, yeah, we need to vote Democrat because, meh. M January 6th. I love how New York is where the January 6th stuff did not work. Or abortion. But apparently where else it does. New York is within 10. This is fascinating. Right now, my map has two House re like Republicans leading and 215 districts and Democrats and 211. So, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm just checking all the House, race, house races and updating it as I go. 
Bo Hines is about to lose, okay. How? Honestly. Yeah, it looks like Bo Hines is gonna lose. <laughs> Although Summer Lee underperformed because of the, I think the Mike Doyle thing. Yeah. So we're gonna Summer Lee is like freaking... only up by twelve. Dude, this is just. I'm surprised. Um, Guy Chiarochi is doing better than Jim Bonet in Pennsylvania. Uh, Mike, Sim yeah, Mike Simpson just took the lead. Dixon's yeah. within four. You get your dicks in. in. Well, okay, let's see what's... You know, Detroit's not even in. That's not good. Freaking Michaels. Is well, Michaels about to... Doing. Is Michaels seriously about to lose to freaking Tony Evers? Because no, they've de they've declared um, Walls as one in Minnesota. But it looks like Keith Ellison might lose. He's ABC's doing pretty badly. For Hassan. We're not getting 54. 53, okay. That's We're settling for 53. I don't think we're going to 53 either. I, I just don't see it in not Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania will flip. Have your... Uh, Zeppelin LZ99 for 5. The GOP needs to be rebuilt in red rural states. Bro, what the hell? Evan McMullen just gained like 10%. There is also... There is currently a path for Democrats to retain the House. It's not likely, but there is a path right now. They have I not mean, called the John White race yet. I mean, we're going to get the House, but this is just a freaking wet fart. Uh, that's the best I way mean, to describe it. There, I mean, looking at the state of the races right now, there is potential for Democrats to hold on to the House. They're not, I don't like, think they it would be hard, but it's possible. It is, like, a, I would say, like, a 5% chance or something. But just some of these results are just... Uh, we have a hit year's worth of data... And it just, this election's just give the middle finger. We we might not even fucking hold the Senate at this point. Holy Tim shit. Michaels conceded. What? Tim, I guess Tim, Michael, Tim Michaels just conceded. Did he really? Sounds like it. Uh, uh, uh. There goes my state. Yep, he's expected to concede. Uh... I'm sorry. Like, what do you think? If Democrats don't have Please shut the fuck up. I'm, I can't I'm, do this anymore. I'm, I'm not. Man. I'm going. I'm. <laughs> God, I wonder what. I wonder what a Biden second term would look like if Dems retained the House somehow. The end of democracy as we know it. How did we lose freaking Wisconsin? How? This is not. This is not good. This is not good. How did? Okay, how did Republicans last year from, go from, like, almost winning New Jersey and winning Virginia to this? That's What did we do? Like, Kevin did, McCarthy, did, this is your fault. I'm blaming this did, on Kevin McCarthy. Where no. did Republicans go wrong? How <laughs> like, the frick they went from, Michaels... What? Oops. They went from Glenn Youngkin... They went from winning Virginia to losing this. I, I don't want to... I don't get how Michael... What? How does Michaels do worse than... 75% of the vote... It's 25% is still outstanding. Michael should not concede. What See, is he doing? Patty Murray will defeat Tiffany Smiley. We're down to no. Now. Uh, let's no. See. Zeppelin um, LZ for $9.92. $9, you don't have politics now? I don't know yet. I, I just... <sighs> Why did NYT put Pennsylvania's likely D? Oh no. Oh no. Because the remaining votes is all in chest. It's freaking over. Ooh, Zeldin is within nine. I'm just we're watching not, like the New it. York. I, I, guys, I. You guys know what this means, right? What? What? We could realistically lose seats in the, in the Senate. And if that happens, the Biden administration is going to pass Roe v. Wade as a constitutional amendment. I think I'm going to take. I think it would take winning 
I think it would take 52 to 48 to do that. I'm watching New York just get redder and redder as everything else falls apart. This is the biggest freaking disgrace ever. What's happening? That's like, um, yeah, that's it. And also, like, David Schweikart is still losing by a safe margin to Jevin Raj with 57% of the vote. And also, we need to, like, Tom kidnap Tom the Oliver. chair of the New York Democrat or Republican Party and the chair of the New- Florida Republican Party and just have them run every race, honestly. I mean, and also the and also in Arizona's second district, Eli Crane is still in the possibility of losing as there's forty six percent counted and he's only and it's only a two point gap. No J H ten is waiting. This is cringe. I mean the I mean we need freaking we need Walker to win. That that's we need absolutely him to win. If Walker loses, I'm going sicko mode. If Master loses, I'm going even sicker er mode. Oz, Oz is gaining again. Help! Hope! 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 Doctor Oz, Doctor Oz. We need frick, uh, uh, He's down by one and a half. It's over. It's over. There's not enough. No, he's only down by one. He's down by one and a half according to CNN, and they have more votes. York County is 77% in, Lancaster is 89% in. There are a lot of places for us to still gain votes. Like, Beaver County is 77% in. A lot of, like, eggs are in PA. Still has a lot of votes to count. I mean, this Believe. is just like... I, yeah, they called it for Hess, and I, I don't get it. I just don't get... Where are you... How, where are the Democrats... They got these votes from. They, like, I'm not a legend or anything. I'm just conf- baffled at how many voters in this country... And Mary Peltola will probably win in Alaska because Alaska. How did we like mess up in Alaska? That's where it all went wrong, honestly. It all went wrong in I Alaska. Mean, I would, I mean, I would say you had, you know, two. I would say two weaker candidates going up against a strong candidate. See, we were going good from Virginia, and then we reached Alaska. We got too cocky and went all downhill from there. Fetterman gained. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Stop. Stop it, John Fetterman. Yeah, he gained a bit. It's at least 1.6 ahead now. Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz, I'm sending my energy to you. Like, just look at the shift map. What is this? Can anybody explain to me what is this shift map I see? Zeltan. Please, Zeltan. Save my night. Mehmet Oz, save my night. But Oz has gained like a point, like what, like half a point or whatever. He's like, it's it's something. Oh, yeah, Bro, my, hold on. My... Look at this. Look at this. Have hope. Green County is only seventy four percent and seventy one percent for Oz. There is still votes out there for Dr. Oz. There's not enough votes and freaking Ever's gonna win. There are still enough votes for Dr. Oz. Oh uh, yeah, I'm good. my headphones just that. I'm gonna have to switch to my worst mic. First blue, uh, yeah, just... There are still votes outstanding for Dr. Oz. It's not enough though. There's just not enough. I I'm just being realistic. There's not enough votes. I'm I'm literally posting your examples of the votes that he still can get. Now the good news These is are all E Day votes outstanding. It looks like we're gonna hold on to we're gonna win Maryland six. These are all E Day votes outstanding. I'll just switch to my worst mic. I hope it's tolerable. Look at it. Green County, York County, Beaver County, Mercer County, all like strong Oz margins, lots left to report. And also uh, George is like dead even right now. Wait, how are how, Neil Parrot is leading David Trone? That's surprising. That's that's gonna be it's at least something. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm surprised and not surprised by that because David Trone is not that great of a is not that great <laughs> of a guy. So. Okay, so currently only five seats. What a freaking joke! We only picked up five. Oregon seats. is still not moved. It's still within a point. Jay Obert no put back his lead. That means that Good. Republicans need only two more to get a House majority, I think, or one more to get a House majority. Bruce Pollock quit. Frickin' I swear, New York is just carrying everybody. If it wasn't for them, the Democrats seriously have a shot at holding the House. But- Lay Ron Singletary. 
Oh wait, Jay Chen has taken the lead against Michelle Steele. No. No. He did. Stop. I'm serious. I'm I'm looking at it right now. He's taken the lead. <laughs> I'm saying this to the people who are counting the votes to stop. <laughs> You're making me suffer psychically. Well, I mean, I'm sorry. I can't I can't control how you react to the information. <laughs> Wait a minute, how is Siska Mani down by 14 and Arizona 6th? Okay, good news. Actually, Don Bacon took back his lead in Nebraska. That's good news. That's good. Miller That's Meeks good. is taking back the lead. Iowa's a clean sleep now. Kirstner leads Craig. Craig. Imagine having your last name be Craig. Paul and June Jay is up. That's a few more races got called, like Raul, Raul Gr Grijalva. Raul Grijalva. I don't Raul know how to pronounce his name. name. We made the same joke. It looks like Chris Chappas is going to win easily. Let me look at Michigan. I'm going to need Michigan to help me out. Dixon's closing the gap. Detroit is like all in and she's still is in the Nebraska game. Is Nebraska about the freaking... Wait, no, it's not in. Okay, not, not yet. No. It's only 8% in actually. Never mind. I didn't say that. Kansas? It's within four in Kansas. I feel like Derek Schmidt might lose. California, please give me hopium. No. No. David Valadao is still leading, which, yeah. That's oh, good. Jim Costa took back his his lead. I call Oregon Mike, for the Democrats. Yeah. Mike Garcia is still not doing well. He's down so by eight. So we got eight. a couple flips. It looks like Republicans, um, Mark Milano and New York 19th is about to win. That's a flip there. Yeah. Pennsylvania House District 32 race call for Tony DeLuca. DeLuca died in October, and there will be a special election to fill that seat. Wait, which one? House District 32 in Pennsylvania. They're, oh, oh, House District. I Wait, thought it was going to be a Terry. Lebron Singletary is still holding on. <laughs> it's just going to be so funny. First to have Lebron Singletary. This? And... this country is just. Look at this map. Look at this map. What? Hold on. You see what I mean? <laughs> My the head is hurting. map is just. I don't get it. There, there's no coherent pattern with the swing map. The shift map, I should say. So Zelda's picking, again, the New York GOP. They're freaking going to bail us out. Uh, I see. Okay, that's, that's something. The Senate needle is going towards the Dems on the NYT. Don't let this happen. Mehmet Oz, be my savior. It's very likely Fetterman wins, looks like. Yeah, I, I would. I would Fetterman. say that's the most likely outcome. Again, I just don't. I don't get why voters, after seeing the debate, think, hmm, hmm. Also, Andy Biggs is in a very competitive race. How? It's only he's only leading by three. Look at that! The Libertarians taking seven percent of the vote. Yep, that explains it. Who is Javier Garcia Ramos? Oregon goes to Kotek. Of course is he even it did. legally allowed to run? Oh, did, oh, is it called for... No, it's not called for Kotek. Yeah. It's still within a point. Yeah, it just... Again, I don't get how you can look at, you know, a place like Florida Second, a place like anywhere that's fully in, and it's a huge shift towards Republicans. But then you look at places like, you know, North Carolina 13th and nothing doesn't shift. <laughs> Yeah, Hawaii's gonna close in ten minutes, and I think parts of Alaska. Connecticut, it was Connecticut's fifth district is within two. Yeah, or look at the connect. You look at Connecticut's third district, and look at Connecticut's. And look Bo at Connecticut's Hines third. Conceded. What? Bo Hines conceded. No. We need that's that's bad news. It's yeah. over. That was supposed to be like a that was supposed to be like a lock for him. That wasn't supposed to be hard. How have they failed? I'm I'm not. I'm not. It just it's way too random for I don't get it. 
What is Julia Brownlee doing better than Sabu Carbajo? Democrats are now likely to control the house again. Julia Brownlee is an underperformer. How is she doing this well? I'm going to save my judgment. I'm going to save my judgment. Oh, wait. So Kermit can... Jones took back the lead against Kevin Kiley. Kevin. Never get a good candidate named Kevin. Hold on. Kevin McCarthy. Is Kevin McCarthy underperforming? Bro, he's underperforming Trump by two. Kevin McCarthy is underperforming. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Let's see here. Wait, um, wait, who's underperforming him? Huh? Kevin McCarthy. Let's see here. Wholesome DJ aftershock for two. The recession can't come soon enough. Uh, pain is needed. No, I, I just think some of these voters, they just, well, that's kind of true. They, I don't get it. I mean. Kevin McCarthy. What did he do? It's his fault. All right, looks like Sean Kasson took back the lead in Illinois 6th. Uh, Kissner is hovering around 50% of Minnesota 2nd. Is freaking Mike Lee in trouble? Mike Lee? Wait. He's up I by... remember the primary. He didn't do that well, but how much... Bro. I, I assumed it was... What? It's, it's R plus 10? What is happening? Imagine Evan McMullen becomes the next senator from Utah. John Fetterman is cringe. Lee Zeldin has gained another half point. Suffolk County is still counting votes. Yeah, so it looks like Zeldin's gonna lose. Sucks. It's a moral victory since it's under 10. He <laughs> killed for... it. I mean, look, he killed it in NASA. I mean, he ran it up. And... Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Suffolk is only 1% in and he's about 70% and he still has a fighting chance. It's Wait, not... yeah, Suffolk County is only 1% in and it. they haven't counted there yet. Uh, Pegasus, Kronike for two. That's did, literally did his the, home territory. Did the Dems plan to push MAGA candidates work? I just don't know. I mean, then you get some random establishment candidates who just hit... Oh, just... Knight is only 16% and Zeldin still has a shot. I mean... Trafalgar being right in New York, but wrong everywhere else. <laughs> Basically. Well, they had Zeldin winning, so... Trafalgar. Okay. I'm just hovering over the house results that haven't been called yet to see if anything changed. See if anything. Yeah, Vet Harrell is about to take the lead in the second district of New Mexico. Oh yeah, so she is. She's about New to York, take the lead. New York governor over. Uh, New Not York yet. governor? Uh, no, because Suffolk County hasn't been counted. Zeldin's still in it. He's still in the fight. I don't. I just. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I'm thinking of concerned industry. I'm. Right here. I'm wrap. I'm getting Wait. updates from a friend right now. Apparently, all the votes right now in Arizona are still are still early votes, and election day votes are now finally coming in. Uh, yes, we need Lake look. Masters. Give Hobbs, us hope. Hobbs, Hobbs leads Lake by 177,521, but the batch share Kerry Lake 87.9 to Katie Hobbs 12.0. There's a shot. Election man. day, huh? There's a shot. Yeah, no. Um, shit. Well, I don't think we're gonna. Keep, I don't. I think we're gonna lose the Senate. We need lax or last hope at this point. Because frick Oz is gonna lose. I think. Smiley God lost. bless Andrew Cuomo for screwing up the New York Democratic Party for us. So at this point, we need George, we need Walker and Laxalt. That's our last hope. Anthony Despacito is about to take the lead in the 4th District of New York. That's like a Biden plus 10 district, too. What is going on? Like it's Ohio, a Biden plus did, 15 district. How did Ohio freaking 13 flip? I don't get it. I don't... Bro. The 4th District was a 15, Biden plus 15, and the Republican I'm, is in a fighting I, I'm not, chance right I now. I don't have much confidence in the... I mean, this is just... Everywhere around it, I'm seeing Democrats overperform, except in New York. Bro, Fetterman is up in Erie by nine. This is not good. It's over. 
If he's up by the Doctor Oz. These freaking voters that voted. That for area him. isn't area like a bellwether county. Yes. Doctor Oz, how and could you? I think Biggs is in trouble. Biggs it's, might be. It's in not trouble. even election day vote in I Arizona. Know. Hold your, hold your, hold your, hold your concern. Oh, Mike Garcia took back the lead. He's now leading. Good, we need Good. him to win badly. That's Good. like the big one. Who's in the Hold lead? On. Yep. Garcia. Mike Garcia. Yep, he's back in the lead after some votes were counted. 33% in now. Looks like election day votes are coming in California then. Yeah, OJ okay, Chen is still in the lead though, so maybe not. Yeah, and it'll come in piecemeal. Oregon has literally just not. It's like it's been. It's stood standstill for like an hour now. Also, yes. it looks like a uh, Ryan Zinke might lose. Uh, Monica Tranel has um, has been expanding her lead. This is kind of like I feel like this will be a Mike Simpson mm -hmm. thing again. Johnson oh yeah, will Trump. Lose. What the fuck? Why yeah, couldn't we have? Yeah. Oh yeah, Trump on social media um said Joe Joe Oda lost big make um lost big make America great again. Not now, Trump. He posted that I think around an hour ago. Why couldn't we have run someone like Scott Perry or Fred Keller for Pennsylvania? Oh wait a minute, I'm having hopium again. Medvinaj just flipped loser in county, seventy two percent in. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. He, he flipped that a while ago. It's gonna seventy two percent is in. He's gonna still expand his lead. It's gonna happen. I'm having hoping again. It, it, it flipped a while ago. Oz flipped Luzerne County. That was a while ago, though. I feel like it. this is gonna be a repeat of like the primary where like McCormick was leading up until like ninety percent is in, and like I don't know, like what was it like? Bucks came in for him, and he's like Oz leads. Now, we do got a major announcement. Republicans will take back the House. Nice. Hooray. NYT wait, has finally wait, called on, North Carolina wait, for wait, Bud. Wait, wait, what's your logic here? I'm just looking... Okay. I'm looking at many of these House races. For example, you look at a place like Pennsylvania 7th. It looks like Wild's going to lose. You look at... You just start doing some basic math. New York is flipping everything. That alone. And Republicans are actually winning... Michigan 8th, winning Michigan 7th. John James, he's won Michigan 10th. He's old. Well, let's see here. Tim Pickles. You sure we took the house? I think we're going to take the house based on my math. Eric Ching at 42%. It's over. Over for Eric Ching. Like, just... I don't know. So I'm, I'm just looking. I'm just doing a vast overview. Like, how, I don't get how Levin is up that much. I don't get it. Alaska is about to come in and so is Hawaii. Are you ready for them? You ready to see Hawaii, Pultola? Yeah. Yeah, Imagine we just gain a seat out of Hawaii because of the Tulsi Gabbard party switch. <laughs> Evers is gaining, but I or uh, Michael is gaining, but I don't think it's enough. Inshallah, Joe Akana will win the Hawaii second district. I did hear some interesting things about the Hawaii governor's race. Uh, let's see. Do you think Trump lost control? No. Oh, yes, former Lieutenant Governor Duke Iona is I running mean, in Hawaii. Even some of those optimistic people on the left, they didn't even expect this to happen. Freaking Mike Levin wins by 15. Are we ready to I mean, win? Mike Levin is an underperformer, too. Is it just because Biden went down there? He's. I, mean, I guess Biden's magically popular now. Biden has He's very popular with mules. Did you know that? <laughs> Okay. Oz just gained. Oz just gained. It's happening. He's gained back his deficit. It's happening. 
it needs to not happen. Everest is starting to lose that lead slowly. It's... I just don't know if it's enough. What are they going to call the third for Van Orden? What's left, I wonder? Uh, there's still the a lot of votes Finestra. to be counted there. There's still potential for Brad Pfaff to win, even if it's not a lot. There's a lot of rural votes left in Wisconsin. Okay, so the best case is Walker seeds the runoff, Lagsold in Arizona flip, which means 53 seats. We've, um, and Oz obviously maintains Pennsylvania. Worst case, Oz loses Pennsylvania. Um, 52. Oh, Susan Wilde just flipped Lisa Scheller. So oh, now yeah. Re Republicans are currently leading in enough races to take back the House if they just win the ones they're currently leading in. Hold on, if Scheller takes the lead, that means Oz is probably going to take the lead soon, too, because, you know, um, he, the Leahy Valley has been coming in soon. Yeah. Leahy Valley, it's only, like, 87% in Northampton. Oz could probably flip that seat. Or county. <coughs> Monroe is only 88%, and I feel like Oz could also take Monroe. Both of these, Iowa. like... Congratulations. Uh, oh, Hawaii Senate came in. Let's see. They've called it for Brian Shates. Are we... We're all sending our energy to Joe Akana in Hawaii, right? I don't know. Joe Akana for Senate. Or for Congress. It'll be like a repeat of Guam. This is total anarchy. We are literally going to win the House because of New York and Oregon. And parts of California. <laughs> yeah, this election makes I mean, absolutely no sense. I, I mean... I don't. I just don't get how. Okay, for example, so let's see here. Uh, Kevin Stitt, for example, is going to win by fifteen. I think we set our expectations too high. Well, when you have a Biden approval rating in the low forties, every issue except abortion. It just. I mean, we can absolutely gain a lot of house seats still. There's still a lot out there. <laughs> Fox called NC. That's been that was a while ago. Tudor Dixon is gaining. Yeah, but will it be enough? Have hopium. Have nothing but hopium. I'm gonna look at the California congressional districts now. Fox Kermit News. Jones is still here. Fox News host said he would rather be Oz and Fetterman right now. That's intriguing. Yes, because you know I would rather be a rich doctor than a guy stroke victim. <laughs> I mean, I, That's objectively I, like... speaking. <laughs> Yeah, I think most people would take being a billionaire over being a stroke victim. Like, I don't, I don't think that's a hard decision. To, like, I don't think that's a hard decision for most people to make. I mean, maybe. Okay, how is? Let's see. Not enough for Michigan. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. This election just makes just California thirty fourth district within ten points. Okay, cool. So Ron Johnson expanded his lead by a lot. Okay, that gives me confidence. Ron Johnson. He's starting to expand that lead. That's good. That's a good sign. Let's go. We are supporting Ronald Her Harold Johnson, the proud Republican candidate. He's look. He's gonna. He's gonna carry us. I think. He's gonna carry. Are us. they gonna call it for a steal in Wisconsin's first? He's literally up by ten. That's it. So Bro, the third district is still uncalled. I feel like, okay, this is funny. Guy Chirochi could probably pull it off in the sixth district. Which sixth? Oh, in Pennsylvania. I don't yes. know. Maybe. I. There may not be enough votes left. Why are they? They should call Brian Fitzpatrick seat. So it looks like, yeah, yeah, Republicans, they've so far flipped one, two, three, 
four, five, six seats compared to Democrats, one. So, so it looks like we're going to flip a couple more. Uh, Henry Cuellar just expanded his lead. Yeah, we're not going to win that one. And, Vicente, and it looks like Vicente Gonzalez is going to win as well by a likely margin. I was wrong. Because it's, yeah, 92% in, 53 to 44, I think. How that, is I think Singletary my... winning? I don't... How is Singletary winning in Florida? Because like, um, like Zeldin is Lewis winning Street. Rochester. That's what. Apparently Zeldin, uh, hold on. How is no, it? he's losing Rochester by a he lead is? margin. Yeah. Oh, he was winning when I ch last checked. There's potential he might win Erie County, though. It's at 92%, and it's only 0.2% in favor of Hochul. Yeah. Okay, there's a shot here in Wisconsin. No. Michaels is picking up slowly. It's... Oh, yeah, there's... Yeah. When, are, when are results going to come in from Hawaii? Uh, Bacon Michaels. is now up by two. Come on, Michaels. We yeah. need you bad right now. Yeah, Utah's not looking any better for Mike Lee. He's at 54% to Evan McMullen's 43 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, look, Kim yeah, Schreier um, is, like, going down precipitously. Letterman just went back up to where his lead was before. Yeah, we're not going to win Pennsylvania. Okay, cringe. Scarlatus has lost his lead in Oregon. Oh, he has? Okay, that's another... Well, how's the governor's race doing? It's still, like, within a point. Yeah, I think it's like a, yeah, it's like a dead tie. That could I'm go to anyone. coping... My copium levels are off the charts. However, it does look like Jamie McLeod Skinner is going to lose. In fact, I it think is. Andrea Salinas has a bigger chance of losing than Val Hoyle. There, and there also is still a potential for Joe Kent to win. Not, much, not many votes have been counted there yet. So it's still... I mean, what the hell happened? Bad candidates? I... I, I just think it's... I Honestly, I have no explanation. Oh, yeah, Sean Caston was called even though he's down. He's losing by, like... He's losing to his opponent right now, but it was called in... For, the race was called for him. Keith Pacow is at 54% and Sean Caston's at 46 but it was called for Sean Caston. That makes no sense. Let's see here. Um, Fetterman and Mastrano voters. Yeah, that may have hurt us. A Fetterman Mastriano voter. That hurts. Oz's margin keeps going back and forth. Why? I just because he gains some and he loses some. Did you look at this shift map again? This shift map does not make hell any sense. Where's the fucking light? There's okay. Now, what? Where's Nevada? I don't know. I think John Ralston just ate the state out of like pure copium. There's no, basically nothing out of Arizona. They won't count anything. Uh, Darley Cynical Baptiste for two. New Jersey South is a rep pickup. Thank God. Yeah. Hooray. We want to race that freaking Biden won this, this district by like two. Susan Wilde took back her lead. Let's see. Riley Moore for five. Looks like for the state of Pennsylvania, it's Governor Wolf 2.0 when PA gets Shapiro. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Susan Weil took back her lead, so she's back ahead. So I want to see, how much of a Biden seat was this? Which one? Uh, New Jersey 7th. New Jersey 7th? How much of a shift was this? Oh, that was like a Biden plus 4 seat. But it, I think it would have stayed. So you're telling, okay, 4.5, yeah. that's around a 9 point shift towards Republicans. Although it voted so far in Governor 2021. True, but... Still. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, come on, oh, yeah. Michaels. More votes, came, more votes came in. I think more votes came in in Wisconsin third, but it looks... Yeah, more votes came in, but it's 
the margin has stayed the same. And also they called Marionette Miller Meeks' district. So Marionette Miller Meeks is going to win re-election. Good. Eric Sorensen Eric Sor- has expanded his lead in Illinois 17. So this again, this map just does just hurts me looking at. It looks like yeah, it looks like Frank Mervin's going to win. One thing that annoys me about the New York Times map this time is that they're not showing any decimals. Yeah, they're that, only showing like whole numbers. That, that's it makes stupid. it so much harder to makes it so much harder to understand where a race actually is. Monica Trinnell is holding on to her lead over Ryan Zinke. You get uh, pulling over us, everyone in every state except Florida. Well, no, it just depends on the state where we, you know. I I just lost. It looks like Pat Ryan might win because it's ninety. There's ninety four percent of the votes, and and he's at fifty, and he's still um, leading. Barely, but he's he's leading barely, but he's still leading. So there's potential for Republicans to pick this up, but I would say the odds are in Pat Ryan's favor. Yeah, George is going to a runoff. Here we freaking go again. And who knows how this runoff's going to go? Seeing this election. I mean, any polling on it could be pretty much. I, I, just I'm double polling. I. Yeah. Like, is I don't. Is it even worth it to like consider polling in any of your no, predictions anymore? Not, if this is I, how I it's going to turn out. I... Oh wait, the New York's fourth is getting really close. It's it's a it's within two. Where's the New York's fourth? Oh, it's right below there. New York's third. Yeah, I see that. That, that, that's like a Biden's plus 16 district. I, I don't know where ever I just, I'm baffled. Oh yeah. Trump's, uh, Trump made a statement on Don Bolduc's loss. I don't think I can I don't know if I, I don't, I don't, it has the, um, it has the F word in it, so I don't know if I should say it on YouTube, but I'll post it in the, um, so that you guys can see it. Yeah, so I, I'm thinking of any of the stream here, because I, it's, this is just getting freaking depressing to watch. I mean, I just want, I want to see how it goes all the way, I don't know, let me know. I mean, how is Connecticut almost within 10? It, Connecticut is just, it's a cursed state. We love ticket splitting. It's like, there will be like, there will be like Biden plus 20 districts and the Republican will be favored there. Just ticket splitting. And no, how does Tim Michael, I just can't get over this. I. Yeah. Tim Michael should have been like an easy. He was. Like pickup. Uh, Pennsylvania called for Fetterman. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, who called it for Fetterman? I guess NBC. Ah. New York Times hasn't called it yet, but I'm sure they will soon. Oh, they just called it for Quayar. What a mess. Yeah, the Democrat running against Lauren Boebert is still leading. Barbara Kirk Kirk Meyer is still losing right now. Mike Lee is getting is slowly expanding his lead, but very slowly. Cleefish would have beaten Michaels. I don't know. 
Uh, Ryan Zinke starting to get a bit more energy behind him, but he's still down by 10. So I, I just wanted to... Uh... Yeah, oh, so... David Valadeo just lost a lot of ground. He's within a... It's a two-point race now. So yeah, everybody, I am... Uh, I am deeply sorry for this mess. Um, my predictions were off by a lot. Um... I really don't know what to say. I when you have this many factors going against one part, the incumbent party. I don't know. I just don't know what to I say. I don't think anyone could have predicted a safe red Miami Dade along with um, Wisconsin governor staying blue. I don't. I don't. I don't think anyone predicted that. Yeah, I mean, like, I just don't... When you have Election Day turnout in Arizona that massive, in Pennsylvania, and in place like Ohio, etc. Yeah, it's just... Arizona votes... Yeah, no, I know, I'm deeply sorry, guys. It just... It didn't go well, the cycle. It, oh, wait. George Logan is ahead in Connecticut. Johanna Hayes is down right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... I'm Connecticut. Just, I'm just completely Connecticut. out of it right now. Yeah. I mean, you, I, I don't know how anybody could seriously say, oh yeah, the New York governor's race is, is about to, you know, potentially get within five points. The same time the Wisconsin governor's race, oh, that's going to be, you know, lean Democrat. Then you have the Senate map look like this... I mean, I don't think anybody can really predict this. I I don't get it. I don't know where I went wrong. It was not a good night. And, I mean, all the people who were predicting, like, a good environment for Democrats were predicting a lot less competitive yeah. New York and, like, and a, and a lot more competitive Florida. You know, no one who was saying that Wisconsin, that Tony Evers was going to hold on was saying that um Miami Dade like no one was saying that Tony Evers was going to hold on and Miami Dade was going to go red. I don't think anyone was saying that. It's like I half mean, half my prediction were spot on. The other half were just thrown out the window. Uh, let's see. I I can I will never financially recover from this. <sighs> JM How much JM uh, JM for $2 L N R N R C C L McCarthy L McConnell L yeah. This is one big L night. I mean, there's no. I mean, with shifts, when you see a county shift, you could see okay, a constant trend. You don't see it here. It's just whatever. Yeah. Relax as well. It's kind. Of, I. I don't know what to say. I don't know where we can get, I mean, we're going to, I mean, the fact that Mississippi second, what is this? How is Mississippi second within five? The only thing I can think of is that Benny Thompson is the head of the January 6th committee. That's the only thing he's done. But explain everything else. Yeah, I know. I'm saying like just for that district, I can't, that's the only thing I could say to explain why it's so close. Unless it's like all the, Repu it's like all the Republican votes have been counted and like none of the de it's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't. Okay, can what in what world do you have Palm Beach flip essentially, Orlando go Republican, Miami flip at the same time? You know, Ohio, which Vance did underperform. Ah, yes, the trolls are back. Like. In like in what world does does Palm the, or Palm Beach flip? And Why then, is New York voting and, to the right of Pennsylvania? I don't New York is in fact voting to the right of Pennsylvania on the, I think on the governor level. I'm just sad. Right or maybe not. I, it might not be. It is on the uh, governor level. Zeldin's like within nine, and Mashiano's like down by twelve. Wow. This is. I mean, this is. 
This is just insane. I think this is like one. This is definitely like the most illogical election night I've been through. I I never seen anything like this. Let's see here. JM for uh, $2. L Trafalgar, L Wick, L Bears, L Insider Advantage. Um, Let's see. What's the population growth in the states that trend to run this cycle? Um, New York is decaying. Florida's growing. It's so over for fucking Publi. Like, I mean, so, they can't yeah, do New this York anymore. Is, I, I don't know. This is going to be hard to recover from. This is... Wow. It's so over. It's so over. Look at this. Yeah, it so can never recover. How is Georgia Logan ahead? I don't... I mean, there was a poll that had him pretty far ahead, but, you know, it's a poll. You, I, you, can, you can't trust them at this point. I, I don't James, know. I need your help. I, I, what... Look in general. Come on, Michaels, come on. Oh, oh, jeez, that's bad. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. What did you bet on? <laughs> um, a couple house races. Dr. Oz, like, oh, majorly Dr. Oz. Come on, Michaels. <sighs> Just Blake my... Masters is literally the only thing that can save my future. <laughs> so, good news is more voters... Also, black salt. So, we got good news. It looks like Milwaukee's finally starting to come in. Michaels starting to edge up. It won't be enough to make him win. If Black Salt and Masters lose, I'm gonna have to start an OnlyFans to make back this money. <laughs> Shut up. It is. It is. It right now. It is forty nine point nine to forty nine point one. So I do it's think over. Michaels could win, but Let's see here. he's not. He's not winning by the margin I would expect him to. Let's see. Here. Andrew Adams for two. Georgia runoff win plus Nevada win is mature. I don't know what's gonna happen. Nevada. God knows. It's probably gonna have Clark County shift fifty points Republican, but the rest of the state shift thirty. It just. Washoe County's 50 billion points Democratic, and Clark County's like 10 like, points. I have this Republican. weird feeling Republicans will end up like 240 in the House, but be the most random select <laughs> amount. I have this weird feeling. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, I, you know, because, I mean, this is obviously the result that Republic. this is not the result Republicans wanted. I wonder who they're going to, like, I wonder um, who, like, Republicans are going to blame for you this. You can't blame Trump. You just can't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think some Republicans oh, will try yeah, to blame will. Trump. Although, um, I mean, I would, I would, I would assume this is the fault of the leadership, if anything. Let's see here, Jam Two for uh, Jam for two dollars. All of us on con uh, con conservative election tour hold the L tonight. No, GOP leadership is is a freaking joke. I mean, the fact of the matter is, you're having once again having New York carry the GOP. I mean. Yeah, I know that, no, the lead of the house will actually be bigger. I mean, you start looking at some results, you're like, okay, Nevada, you got Montana, that's, I doubt Neva Mo uh, Montana first. <laughs> Gibbs is not far behind. No, I'm just saying, they're, we're going to get the house. It's a matter of, you know, how much. It's just, we got to get the Senate. Bayfont. Well, McConnell is a freaking clown. He costed us, he may have cost us the Senate. Yeah, well, I mean, like, McConnell's just, he's, you know, it's just corrupt, you know? There's, well, there's no, to me, at least to me, there's nothing good about him. Okay, they, it looks like Katie Hobbs is a favorite in Arizona. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. It's over. <laughs> if that happens, this is a fucked up night. No pretty name a single person somewhat accurate to these results. Looks like I'm gonna have to tell John Ralston sorry. Oh yeah, this also means North Carolina is gonna have an even house delegation. Huh? Oh that's right. Oh god. You look at this shift map. God, it's just I'm on Michael's. We need Gothic some semi. Come on, we got some votes left, but I don't know if it's enough. Give me a non undulated one. Oh, um, Derek Van Orden expanded his lead. Oh, uh, yeah, Van good, Orden good, won. Good. I... I don't know. It just Please. Seems like everybody underperformed. They're the most random ass Republicans. Like, Brian Flowers is down by six. 
it's like run Brian Flowers in every district in the country or LaRon Singletary. LaRon Singletary, Singletary is a down. hero. He's down. He's down. Wait, who's down? LaRon Singletary. He's down. My no. night is ruined. Darn it. My night is ruined. Screw yep, this. he is down. Joe Morell is back in the lead, but not by a lot. Let's see here. JM for $2. Young can slash the Santa style uh, rep moving forward. I don't know. Also, Dan Kildy is up. I, I, you know, at this point, it's going to take... I have a lot of questions about what should we do at the party. Because this is an embarrassment. I, I, I just don't know how I didn't see it. I don't know how I didn't... I don't know. Still early for Arizona. Yeah. But let's see. I don't think Oz loses by three. That's pushing it. But he is gaining. But the rest of the votes in the Philly area, that's not a good sign. I mean, name a single poll that had this type of a freaking election. I Well, I mean I mean Trafalgar had the theme of like a crazy election, but not like this. <laughs> you know, no pollster predicted every race, right? No pollster. It would actually be interesting. It would, be, it would be interesting to go through all the pollsters and see which one actually got the closest to being right. Like, out of just all the polls they did of the 2022 election cycle. Oh, yeah, also Tom O'Halloran is up. Who? Tom O'Halloran in Arizona. Uh are you serious? How? Yeah, Tom, oh, it's only early vote. Uh, okay. He's barely up. But yeah, he is up. Uh, let's see here. Roe versus Wade. I don't. But then you look at some of these results. I just. How can you seriously just say Roe versus Wade caused this? Neil Parrott versus David Trump starting to narrow. There's potential for David Trump to take that seat back. Come on. Predict it. I am not going to recover from this. Yeah, so I think yeah, everybody Dan, I... Yeah, Dan Kildy. Yeah, Dan Kildy's back I, in the lead. I want to reevaluate a lot of stuff after this. Crazy that Sean Patrick Maloney is losing by a bigger margin than Pat Ryan is winning. Like, people... His, Sean Patrick Maloney's district really didn't like him. Yeah, so everybody, I, I gotta reconsider a lot of things the next couple days, because this is just, I... Harold, about to lose? We're about to lose New Mexico second. Who yeah, she's, she's on pace to lose. I don't get, I just, I don't know what to say. I I know I've said this a lot, but I have no clue what to say. It's a private quote tweet. Yeah, and apparently Alyssa Slotkin might hold on to her district because the blue areas of the district haven't reported yet, and he's only up by it's only fifty foot five to forty three, and the like Lansing hasn't, I guess, hasn't reported yet. Is Bobert's Bobert's probably gonna lose? It looks like Bobert's gonna Who lose. Is the private quote tweeter? And then you've also got you say so yeah, you've got a few Democratic flips this cycle. Like you've got the two in Ohio, you've got one in North Carolina. Warnock. I mean, took you have the a lead. potential. Yeah, Warnock took the lead. Yeah, I see. Although it's going to go to a runoff no matter what. Yeah. So. We'll have to see when it ha when that happens. Yeah, I just love how. Again, I don't... I'm going to have to do a lot of thinking. A lot of research to explain this. Yeah. I... I don't know. 
I, I'm th I'm seriously think of um, ending the stream right now. At this point, it's what are we waiting for? I mean, it's not looking good in PA. And plus, last time when I ended the stream, things turned around for us. Yeah. I was I remember this fondly. The second I ended the stream, things turned around. But I don't know. I I honestly may just end the stream here just for good luck because I think that's. I, I just can't explain anything. I, I'm out of words. I'm lost for words. Good news. Robert Zimmerman has conceded in the New York 3rd Congressional District, making this a Republican game. Well, we... So, I think we got the House now. Yes. Well, that's George. I, I mean, I don't... I mean, I don't know. My numbers are saying it's right now Republicans are leading in 215 seats and Democrats 212. Which means that Republicans would have to win... Um, a di you know, their Amo Day seat in Nevada, Alaska, and one of the districts in Nevada, or two districts in Nevada, here. in order uh, to get a House majority. Let's see here. Um, without flipping any currency. Last time you ended the stream in 2020, things turned around badly, but this time would be the reverse of what was happening. Things turned really good. I I I'm just gonna look. I don't care about, you know. Hold on. Wait, whoa. We got the results. I think at this point, I'm just, I think I'm going to end it. Because, I don't know. 212. Yeah, it's just. Crazy amount for Democrats, but they're doing, they're like, you know, it's, it's seats like O'Halloran, Boebert, Sykes, Landsman, um, whatever one, whatever the guy against Hines was. And also, Calvert is not doing well at all. People are saying, uh, I, I think I'm just going to call it here. Because, guys, I'm very sorry about this. I, I think for the best of everything, the hope that luck turns around, I think I'm just going to end the stream here. Because <sighs> it's not really worth me continuing. If you want to continue watching, watch the Red Eagle stream. That's about all I can say. And I am very sorry. I am... Very sorry for the predictions. I guess they were off. I don't know why. I don't know what to say. A second house district gain has hit the New York State. Another one? Which one? Is it Molinaro? Uh, well, yeah, it's Molinaro. How is Maloney going to lose? Well, it looks like Maloney will lose. Yeah. Have a good night. Yeah, I think I'm just going to recoup my thoughts because... Hopefully, there there's a shot. If I end the stream immediately, bam, Masters takes the lead. Bam, Black Salt wins. Bam, Walker takes the lead. Bam, Oz wins. I mean, it happened. Yeah. The opposite happened in 2020, so. So, anyways, guys, I thank you so much for the support. I am still sorry. I'm going to collect my thoughts, figure out what happened tonight, because this is, I, I, I don't know what to say. I... I'm lost for words, and I'm deeply sorry. And kind of ashamed for putting out my predictions. A third gain has hit. Brandon Williams took the lead in New York 22nd. Keep doing what you're doing, Rap. It's happening. It's working. You know, it's... I think I'm going to end it here. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless all of you. Let's hope we turn this around, because there is still a lot of time. This isn't freaking over. It's just not looking good right now. Anyways, folks... Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the post-mortem video tomorrow. Yes. Godspeed.